Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that everyone's enjoying the BTTV emotes. <laughs> I think I'll be uploading uh, two more. I think there's going to be some more BTTV emotes that everyone can use. You can see them. You can you can you can see them right here. <laughs> there's quite a lot. There's uh, there's new stickers and everything on the discord, too. I hope everyone's doing well today, tonight. 
<laughs> hello, hello. I'm doing well, I'm doing well. Uh, funny thing. Before, before starting stream, uh, I did get some takeout food. And... Funny thing. Uh, it got delivered to my neighbor's home. <laughs> so... I want to I want to go grab my food at my neighbor's home. <laughs> um, I'm I am fed. I I I got my food. I am good. I am fine. I am I am a fed succubus. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Um, were they? No, it was just it was my next door neighbor. But because uh, but but think about it this way. There's been a lot of snow. It's uh, it's so cold and oh my okay. Uh, Crunch and I have had to, like, shovel for, like, the past few days now. I don't think there's anywhere else that we can put the snow. There's- there's so much of it. <laughs> I- I fear- I fear if there is gonna be more snow. <laughs> what are we? Like, we're almost, like, mid-February now. Please, please no more snow. <laughs> okay, so. You may be asking- you may be asking- Tane, what what happened to your hand tracking? Why why don't why haven't you put your hand tracking on? Um I think it was last stream. Uh the the tracking necklace thing broke. <laughs> I I think I got to I got to super glue it back together. I actually I actually have an, another one, but <laughs> I think I'm going I'm going to super glue this. But it's just <laughs> I can't put it on. I can't put it on my neck. At least, at least not right now. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Just, I thought it was funny because I think, I think it was not last stream. I think it was the stream before. Uh, I think it was on the Tuesday. I, I just, I just took the necklace off and then it just went <laughs> in half, <laughs> and I was like, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, or. Whatever, whatever the last time before that was. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, okay, so... Funny thing. I think... I don't know if some people were confused about yesterday. I don't know if some people were. But yesterday I was trying to do something a little experimental. Um, yes, I, I got out of the... I got out of the back rooms. I, I did get out of the back rooms. Uh, Crunch lured me with... Um, uh, an old-fashioned plain donut, and I, I just, I, I no clipped back into reality. <laughs> that's that's all it takes to get out out of the back rooms. You just have to lure somebody out with Tim Hortons or treats. Yes, in my case, treats. <laughs> here, here, succubus. Here, have your treats. <laughs> yeah, thank God for donuts, right? Um, I think yesterday was pretty funny, though. I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I thought it was... Okay, the funny part is that my my I, my internet actually disconnected 15 minutes into the stream, and I thought that was kind of meta, and I almost kind of wanted to end stream there <laughs> after 15 minutes. But then I was like, no, 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 I have to... I, I want to see if I could fix that. <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny, like, su such a cursed game, and then, like, my internet decided to go out. <laughs> yeah, no no more back rooms. No more, no more fl fluorescent lights. Which was kind of funny, because, like, at work today, when I was, like, sitting in my office, I was thinking, like, oh, man, my workplace has, like, the fluorescent lights and, like, the yellow walls and everything. And I was just like, did I really, did I really escape the back rooms? Did I really escape the back rooms after all? <laughs> probably not, probably not. <laughs> it's true though, um, it's, it's not a yellow wallpaper, but like the walls are yellow. Which I thought was kind of, uh, kind of, kind of, kind of ironic, maybe? Maybe a little bit? <laughs> but yeah. Good evening, good evening. <laughs> but yes, I, I don't know. I just, I wanted to do something a little bit experimental. Uh, I I was able to figure out the, the plugin and everything to have like the lights and everything uh, flashing uh, like on the VTuber model and everything as well. So I was like, hell yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna try this. 
Uh, okay, so real, real talk, real talk. Um, I think I escaped three times or four times. It was, it was something like that. I think it was three times or four times. Okay, that game's actually pretty hard. You basically have to wander endlessly, and you have to like check your wall. Okay, so this 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 is the whole premise of the game, and it's a free game too. But you check your watch after every thirty seconds, which is kind of hard to do in itself. You check it every thirty seconds, so you so you remember who you are. You remember, uh, reality basically, and uh, you have to go through the back rooms and. You just you just keep going and you just have to find the exit. That's that's the only thing. And it has a high score for basically how far you traveled. Yeah. So, <laughs> so if you if you were wondering why I was checking the watch like uh, every every once in a while, it was showing like the distance that I traveled and I had to remember who I was every 30 seconds. <laughs> I thought it I thought it made for an interesting like role play scenario. <laughs> But it's okay. I I am free. I am free of the back rooms. I I am now in the front rooms. Yes, we're we're partying in the front rooms now, everyone. Ah, <laughs> uh, and uh, you know what? And I'm happy. It's it's the weekend now. It's the weekend, and the weekend is for uh, drinkies and relaxation. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're only partying in the front rooms now. <clears throat> oh my god. I need some water. <laughs> okay. Oh, I was uh I was working on some more artwork too, like off a of stream as well, so yes, yes, yes. Just gotta just gotta finish up a few more a few more things. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. So, the plan for today. Uh, plan for today... I wanted to chat for a little bit. Oh, I made myself another, like, Milkis and, like, alcoholic beverage. So I, I put vodka in a glass and I put Milkis, uh, put Milkis on top. I have, I have, um... I have ice in here, too. But yeah, it's, uh... <laughs> oh... Okay, so by the way, uh, Rosencrantz, uh, gifted me some art for my birthday, but I cannot show it on stream. It is, it is in the Discord, <laughs> but I can't show it. <laughs> oh, Delta Gems, thank you for this. Whoa, eight months. Oh my gosh, eight months. Thank you. Thank you for the eight months. What? <laughs> thank you thank you for the support yes uh if you are in the discord uh in the fan art section it is there it, it is there and i uh I, I i can't show it to you guys on twitch <laughs> there is uh there is exposed booba yes 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 <laughs> it's very gorgeous. I'm so happy with it. I'm very, I'm very, very happy. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a whoa. It's a, it's a, it's a poggies. <laughs> oh yes, I really, I really like how he does the the skin rendering. It's very, very lovely. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> you could always, uh, you could always like it on. Twitter and uh, retweet it if you would like. Uh, I I always like it when it's like the artist's um, you know handle, so we could always like retweet it from like from them, like and retweet it, like and retweet it. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, I'm trying to think of like what else. Oh, okay, I know something safe for work that I could show. <laughs> here's uh, here's something safe for work. Um here oh i need to put this behind me i think ah there we go i got i got a little guru guru animation <laughs> i i got it on scab i thought it was really cute yeah i thought i thought it was adorable <laughs> 
It's it's been a while since I've had like a skeb commission, so I was like, oh, goody goody goody. <laughs> It's so cute, so cute, so cute. <laughs> uh, I have to check the file to see if it's transparent. I'll see. I'll see if it's transparent. Maybe, maybe. It would make a good uh, sticker. I think it would be too small if it was an emote, though. <laughs> oh yeah, goody 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 goody. <laughs> it's cute. It's cute. I I I love it. I love it. There's been uh, there's been quite a bit of uh, new, I don't know, new new artwork recently. I'd say. Hey there, Lux. Hello. I hope you're doing well. Hello. 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 <laughs> um, I think some of you have seen. So there's like the sway. There's uh, let me see, the sway. For BTTV. I hope you're doing well, Lux. Hello. And I think I have dance. I think dance is on here. Yeah, dance is on here. That was from Heiwon. Oh, there's going to be some exciting things um, for the weekend. Exciting things for the weekend. Okay, so I believe it's going to be Saturday. I think that this, this is very, like last minute but uh on marina's channel uh she invited me to play some splatoon and i'm gonna be on her channel uh it's tomorrow at noon on the west coast but in my time zone it's gonna be three o'clock so that's gonna be exciting uh i actually haven't played splatoon online before so i remember i bought the game like years ago for the switch and i never played never played much of it so <laughs> i'm looking forward to playing some uh splatoon and on the Sunday, let's see here. And on the Sunday, we're going to be. Oh my gosh, I'm trying. <laughs> my mind just like blanked out. Uh, going to be on Hey Wan's channel. Okay, okay. So, so Saturday, Saturday is Marina's channel. And Sunday is Hey Wan's channel. A one the witch. Um, we're gonna be doing the the mommy milkers collab again. <laughs> it's gonna be the mommy milkers collab with um, A one now, Ava Ava lamp, uh, Milky Ways and myself. Mm -hmm. So that's that's gonna be really exciting. Um, A one has an interesting idea. She's gonna have like she's gonna have us have like a voice changer, so then people won't be able to tell like who is who. So it's going to be kind of like a blind date episode with like your VTuber mommies. <laughs> so that's, that's going to that's going to be pretty cool. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to the mommy milker collab. <laughs> oh, oat milk. Uh, I hear that oat milk is pretty good. I, I think I've had it like one time. <laughs> oat milk. I think, uh, I think you can ask for it at, like, I don't know, Starbucks and stuff like that. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, so. Oh my gosh. Uh, I, I'm feeling a little bit tonight. Um, my, my, and <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I woke up from a nap a while ago or something, or maybe I didn't get too much sleep throughout the week. But like, I feel like my energy is like a little bit down. I feel like my energy is like down this week. I don't know. Um, but I have an idea. I want to play the rest of uh, Find Love or Die Trying. And it's the visual novel that we were playing. So maybe I can explain a little bit like what was happening with the visual novel. So the premise is basically we are on uh, a television show. Uh, and if we don't get the ratings high enough, we die <laughs> we will die <laughs> so we have to make sure that we are romancing the girls i had uh, a love triangle between violet and scarlet because i thought those were like the two ones that i wanted to you know schmooze with but they wiped our memory they wipe so they wiped our memory and we're we have to date the other three girls and I was like, fuck, like at the end of like the last stream. <laughs> uh, 
And you know what? Yeah, I was kind of thinking, depending on how long the story is, I don't know how long, how much longer this story is going to be like for tonight. Maybe I would like to play some more Pokemon. I don't know. Maybe we will. We will see. <laughs> uh, this Subathon taking a. You know what? Here's here's the thing. So, uh, subathons are are pretty tiring, <laughs> especially when they're like marathon streams. They they can be. I I used to be able to do twenty four hour streams, and I don't I don't know if I could ever do another twenty four hour stream. I feel like usually like after like the fifth well. I guess like at this point it was like the 18 hour mark after the 18 hour mark i was just like i was dead tired <laughs> eight hours subathon oh eight hours is just like a regular stream day though <laughs> you know what here here's the thing i've noticed maybe this is kind of more so with like the vtuber stuff i've noticed that uncapped subathons are kind of like more the meta i don't know the meta seems to be like Oh, if we if we do this, can we make the timer go for longer, basically? And I cannot do that because I have to go to work. <laughs> you know what? I think I'll do an uncapped subathon when I quit my job. Maybe that that's when that's when I can do an uncapped subathon. <laughs> oh, cause like it's 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 a it's a lot to stay near the computer all the time i guess, I guess maybe maybe <laughs> wait pa hate to have her on stream then then she'd stream like all day but then like yeah well yeah that's yeah um people do that too like they they do like the sleepy the sleepy time yeah <laughs> then there's like the sleepy time that you have on as well mm -hmm. sometimes people even have the paid time to be on sleepy time as well you never, yeah, you never know. <laughs> Extend the timer by five. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> hey, big spender. Hey, uh, any any oil princes that will <laughs> keep keep us near the computer? I don't know. Um, I I think I would do an uncapped subathon if I if I quit my job because then I'll actually have the time to actually stay near the computer. Yeah. <laughs> crypto bros oh yeah you know what just um just sl slam me right into the blockchain yeah yeah that's that's what i want just 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 entrap me in the block in the blockchain yeah <laughs> oh i don't want to start the whole discourse on that stuff but oh my god there's so much of it <laughs> there's so there's so much of it <laughs> Do I not enjoy my? No, I I have a I have a good time at my job, but my pa my passion is to do artwork. My passion my passion is drawing anime titties, <laughs> and also and my pa my passion is talking to everyone here. <laughs> no, it's it's not that I, it's not that I don't like my job. I mean, I've made I've made the move to go part time in October, and I feel like that was like the safe thing instead of you know instead of quitting entirely. The safe thing is to go part time. <laughs> I'm gonna realize my my VTuber dreams and draw more anime titties. <laughs> okay, so let us begin with find love or die trying. The true my true passion is titties. That is where my passions lie. <laughs> My passion lies in hot anime girls. Hot anime girls make me happy. <laughs> and if I don't and if I don't have that in my life, then then I am I am big sag. <laughs> okay, let's let's start let's start with the visual novel. The girls are cute. I would say the story's pretty wholesome with the exception of uh getting kidnapped and having our memories wiped. Oh, I should switch the category. Find... See, this is... This is very suitable. This is very suitable for uh, Valentine's Day, everyone. <laughs> this is... This is peak Valentine's Day. 
Oh, by the way, I, I, I am thinking of... Okay, I have an idea for Valentine's Day, but it's probably something not, not that you would expect, though. <laughs> okay, we're continuing. So we went on a date with Tara, the gamer, the gamer girl, the streamer girl. Now, the only ones we have to date now are Allie and... I can't remember her name. The wholesome one, the childhood friend one that would probably like... Wait, not childhood friend, schoolmate? That would probably go like... The schoolmate that would probably go yandere on you. <laughs> yeah, we can spend Valentine's together, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't you love to have a succubus for a valentine? So tell us more about your dream, Tara. Oh, I don't really remember much, but I was in a video game and... I was getting hit on by a lot of pigeons. Oh, yes. She turned it into Hatafu Boyfriend. Which I feel like if if you don't, uh... If you don't know the story to Hatafu Boyfriend, it's... A pigeon dating simulator. <laughs> uh... How am I supposed to respond to that? What if it was a sign? Yes, I'll be your Valentine's date. Exactly, we'll have a fun time. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? It was a dream, nothing more. I don't see how... Wait, so here's the question. If they wiped my memory, the... they must have wiped all of their memories then. Why would they- wait, why would they fil- wait, 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 why would they film it again? Unless if, like, the audience is in on this, because if they wiped my memory and they wiped their memory, wouldn't the audience be like, oh, we've seen this happen before? Or, I don't- I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm probably overthinking it, but, you know. <laughs> it was a dream, nothing more. I don't see how- Ellie had a devilish grin on her face. Yeah, the twist is that there's no audience at all. <laughs> That's you know what? That's probably the twist after all. The uh, the audience is the guy who's gonna kill us basically. That's that's who the true audience is. I think it is a sign, Tara. It's a sign that you should try making video games. The world needs more pigeon dating sims. You're right. There's no time to waste. Tara ran off. Oh my. Are you certain that was a good idea to spur her on? Of course. Seriously, what's the worst that could happen? I feel- I felt a chill run, run down my spine. <laughs> oh, here we go. There you are, Tane. I've been looking for you! It's time to decide who's your second soulmate candidate. Cat moved in closer to Whisper. Not that you really have a choice, though. Ha! They're, they're all adorable. I, I, I like how they all look. I think they did the art really lovely. So without further ado, Tane, who's the unlucky girl? I'd like to spend some time with... Whoa! Seven months? Where does the time go? <laughs> Webster, thank you so much for the seven months. Thank you. Also, I'm happy that my Go XLR works again. I can give you reverb again. <laughs> I I can give the reverb. Uh, there was something. I think there was something weird with like the firmware update that happened, so I wasn't able to do anything on my go xlr for a few days <laughs> let's see here okay so we're spending okay um i don't know how i feel about the tomboy just yet because she doesn't look as tomboy to me not completely i um but you know what i think i would take tomboy over childhood friend though I don't- I don't know what it is about the whole childhood friend dynamic. I think it's just too easy. It's too easy of a trope. Allie. So, uh, sorry, not childhood friend. They're- they're schoolmates. <laughs> we'll make it happen. Let's get those cameras rolling, people. We're in for a bumpy ride. Now, to be- 
to now be a deer and give us a minute to set up the scene. Hmm? How I let Ellie talk me into this, I'll never know. You sure this is a good idea? There's only one way to find out, isn't there? Ellie grabbed my hand and pulled me towards the slope of the hill. Relax, Tane. What's the worst that could happen? Well, I could die. <laughs> I could die. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, oh, Scarlet. Yeah, Scarlet. I, I chose between Violet and Scarlet because those were the ones that uh, tickled my fancy. <laughs> the mature ladies. Would it be too much uh, to ask uh, to be on a TV show that didn't end up with me dead? Don't worry, I got you. <gasps> oh, she... Ellie slipped on her... Wait, on her rollerblades? She had rollerblades on? Pulling me down the hill with her. Oh, Ellie, how could you? I tried to st step back up on... Step back up on reflex. But it was all I could do to stand up with the rollerblades. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we started rolling down the hill faster and faster and faster. Ellie was rolling down the hill backwards at full speed. I could see panic in her eyes. Hey, you're supposed to, like, be good at sports. <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to stop. We were going faster and faster. <gasps> I screamed. <laughs> Ellie laughed and pointed at me. Gosh, your face is priceless. I love it. Allie turned around effortlessly and somehow gl glided next to me without ever having let go of my hand. Wait, so... She pretend fell? Is that what she did? <laughs> oh yeah, well, yeah. Th that would be like the total anime-like move. We fall on top of her booba and we squish it. Oh, I somehow I accidentally squished your booba. Our break, our wait, our breakneck pace uh, became slower and slower as she steered us back and forth repeatedly. Before I knew it, we were gliding down the roads smoothly. The wind felt so nice. Now you've got the hang of it. You've got a funny way of teaching. The best way to teach a bird to fly is throwing it off a cliff. No, oh my god. <laughs> Oof. That's definitely a way of uh, uh, looking at it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You weren't even in danger. Have you been rollerblading for a long time? Nope. I actually just learned how to today. What was that about never being in danger? Shh. You're quite the daredevil, aren't you? What gave that away? She laughed as she slapped me on the back. She laughed as she slapped me on the ass. <laughs> that that would have been better. You know, you're a pretty quick learner. You picked up rollerblading almost as fast as I did. Well, I got a pretty great teacher. It's a lot of fun hanging out with you, Allie. Shucks, I feel the same. Why'd she go goofy? <laughs> shucks. <laughs> oh, shucks. I feel the same way. It's great to be around someone willing to go on an adventure. The world's gone crazy. We're all gonna die. You might as well be around people that make life worth living. <laughs> I couldn't say it better myself. You know, I bet you can't skate backwards. Ellie reversed since started uh, skating backwards as if to taunt me. Oh, why is that? I just think it's a bit too scary for a person who screamed when they started going down a little bump. I'm taunted. I can't handle a little bump. Ah, help me. Wow. Don't you dare. <laughs> Come on, it was a hill. Okay, actually, I can rollerblade pretty decently because... This succubus used to be in figure skating when she was younger. <laughs> I know how to figure skate. I know how to rollerblade. <laughs> Game actually. Here, just a minute. We actually, we have a tier three emote for that. <laughs> just a minute. There, there it is. Actually. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. I felt a fire light up light inside me. Bring it on, Allie. Oh, are you sure? Did I stutter? There comes a time in every person's life where we know we're taking a stupid pet a stupid bet, but do it anyway. With the power of misplaced confidence and adrenaline, I jumped high into the air. And did a 360. Wow. Oh, we, okay. What's cooler? Probably a backflip is actually cooler. I want to say backflip would be cooler. And did a backflip. Wow. Amazing. Wait, am I doing a backflip or is the world flipping? I'm not sure. And then it dawned on me. Oof. <laughs> oh. See, the perfect date is that you like, I don't know. Treat somebody of when they when they hurt themselves. Like I guess <laughs> I don't know. Oh no, I won't let you kill Tom. Oh, hmm. What? Are we getting some of our memories back? You're going to wish we had. What? What just? What the hell? You're up. You're okay, Tony. Try not to move. You're a little banged up right now, but you'll be just fine in no time. Kat and I treated your injuries pretty well, if I do say so myself. What what happened? You uh, skated backwards. We're definitely <laughs> we're definitely skating quite liberally, huh? How'd I get here? I carried you here. Wow, she's so strong. She's very strong. Ooh. Oh man, my head. Take it easy. It's only been a few hours since you <laughs> KO'd yourself. Oh my god. Oh, uh, well, it's sort of my fault, but... I made you some food. It should help you get your strength back up quick. Wow, she's a tomboy and she made me food? Wife material. <laughs> Thanks, Allie. It's really nice of you. Or that's really nice of you. Don't expect something uh, that Violet would make. All I can promise is the food is probably healthier than my last suggestion before you knocked yourself out. I'll take my chances. Yeah, we need, yeah, we need some CPR. Just like, mm, get over here, honey. <laughs> I took a bite of the food cautiously. <laughs> I'm dying. Oh. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. We've offended her. For a moment, Allie was wide-eyed and shocked with shock and horror. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. The food's delicious. Oh, that's... Oh, she... She didn't like that. She... She didn't like that. Oh no. I just figured I'd get uh, a little bit of payback. I know that face. You know, no one uh, forced you to jump. She laughed and slapped me on the shoulder. Slap me on the ass, please. And then ran her hand through my hair and scratched it. She doing she doing some unintentional ASMR? Intentional ASMR? Man. Please play with my hair. I like it when people play with my hair. <laughs> I found myself smiling and admiring the blue of her eyes. I'm looking forward to our next adventure. Tane! Would promise to not be too stupid again, okay? I'll try my best, but people can't help but do stupid things to impress a pretty girl. Oh my god! Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Boo! Boo earns. <laughs> hey there, hamster. Hello. I guess impress is what we'll call it. We spent the rest of the day making fun of each other for how stupid we were being. <laughs> yeah. Somehow, some way, Ali can take the ordinary and turn it into an adventure. I was laughing so hard that I could barely feel any pain. But before I knew it, 
It was night. But it was nighttime. Why is it nighttime? Why is it nighttime? I was about to enter my room when I felt a familiar tap on my shoulder. Hey there, Tane. Got a moment? Or got a minute? <laughs> Let me just make sure Tara or Ali uh, see me, uh, wait, see me come here, fan some flames. Oh, <laughs> also, thank you for the follow. I think Stream Elements is being a little bit behind right now. Thank you for the follow. Hello. Adventure time. Sorry, what? Cat looked around, smiled, smile, then went into my room. I followed suit. First, the good news. Thanks to my plan, we got enough ratings to avoid early can- Oh, it's like, it's the same text as before. People loved it with you and Tara, were the main ship, but loved it even more after Ali uh, kicked off this competition. I'm glad to hear um, I get to live another day. Yes. So we're going to make another love triangle. That's what we're going to do, right? See, see what I mean? Yeah, stream, stream Elements is a little bit behind. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> uh, so between these two, do you have a favorite? Uh, I would take Terra because I want to go with Gamer Girl. Even though she's a little cuckoo. She's a little... yeah. I think I have a better connection with Terra right now. What about Terra? It's always exciting to be around her. Okay. I had a feeling that you would say that. Okay. Okay. That's it for today. Yeah, so this is like The Bachelor, except for if we don't get high enough ratings, we die. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna die if we don't get them high ratings, basically. Uh so they would kill me. I don't know what they would get out of that though. Oh, we're just gonna take a rando and if we don't get high enough ratings, we just kill them. There has to be, like, something else happening. Good night. Good night. She left my room, closing the door behind her. Guess it's time to turn in for the night. Sometimes the most precious moments are the most mundane. It's just the two of us spending an evening together in the games room. I'm reading a book at the same time, watching her rage against an opponent in a fighting game. It's fun to watch her savor each victory or explode with profanity when she loses. Oh no. Life is good. <laughs> oh no. It's times like these where you wish life could always be this simple. Sometimes, in the moments, people wish for more excitement, for fame, for fortune, for anything but the ordinary. But all I want is the ordinary with you! <laughs> no, that's cute. That's, that's cute. I feel like... How can I explain it? The game is just very gushy. Like, it's, it's very, it's very lovey-dovey. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you. I love this woman so much. <laughs> oh my gosh, I heard what happened yesterday. Are you okay? No worries, I'm good. Thanks, Ui. Yui. I'm so relieved. Should you not be resting after yesterday? Nah, no need. I only got a few scrapes and bruises. I'm surprised that both of you aren't dead after what you pulled. So here's the thing. They must have wiped Scarlet and like Violet's memories too, because like we fucked Violet. She was in our bed. So man, I wonder. <laughs> I'm surprised that both of you aren't dead after what you pulled. Believe me, me too. Wait, what? I mean, <clears throat> No worries, Scarlet. I've been rollerblading for longer than most people have ever. Technically, that's probably true, but... You should teach us how to rollerblade, Allie. It seems like it'd be fun. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, you sure, Tara? I feel like that might not be a good idea. What's the worst that could happen? I like your attitude, girl. Come on, let's hit the road. Ellie grabbed Tara's hand and pulled her away. 
Okay. Sometime later. <laughs> hey, Tara. How is skating? There's no words. <laughs> yeah, there's so many, so many pretty girls. I like, I like the art looks. I think Allie broke Tara. Oh, no. Scarlet waved her hands frantically in front of Tara's face, as if to check if anyone was still in there. Tara, you in there? Hey, Tara. The internet's back. I guess nobody's home. Uh, is there a medic on the island? Luckily, Tara was fine. After that was resol uh, resolved... <clears throat> We spent the rest of the morning playing video games as therapy for Tara. Oh, she still doesn't remember a thing about what happened. What did you see, Tara? I guess we'll never know. Girl, is she okay? Oh my god, I found Kat in some place and she, uh, she found me yesterday morning, Tani. It's time to decide who your last soulmate candidate. Okay, oh man, I'm gonna make a killing from today's bet with four. The poor guy, he doesn't know you've been rigging the show? What he doesn't know can't hurt him. Oh my, oh boy. Anyway, after you make your choice, it'll be just between the three soulmate candidates from here on out. Who's my number one waifu? I was going with, uh, Violet. And we fucked. <laughs> it was, like, it was an implied thing. Like, it faded to black, like, when we were, like, in the bedroom. And my second choice was Scarlet. Uh, I would have been I would have been happy with either of these two, either of those either of these two girls. Wait, just just a second. What does I thought somebody would ask? So let me explain. If you don't get chosen, we'll make the rest of the show a tropical getaway for you. You'll still be able to see the other girls and live in the mansion. So, really, it's no big deal. Tara did a little fist bump. So without further ado, Tane, who's the last unlucky girl? I'd like to spend some time today with... Well, I guess we have no choice. We have to go with uh, Yui now. I just have a feeling she's going to be so boring. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, I made a bet with Ford. You choose Yui today. Good choice, Tane. I knew I could count on you. All right, all right. Let's get the show on the road. The forest to the north of the house was as serene as it could be. With each step forward, I felt the soft... <laughs> we'll see what she's like, but she just looks boring. <laughs> I felt the soft earth give away beneath my feet and the wind caress my skin. Green as far as the eye could see, and her in a flowing white dress standing in the middle of it all. Hey there, Tane. Wait, sorry, oh, I shouldn't give her like a sultry voice. Hey there, Tane, what you doing all the way out here? <laughs> uh, I was looking for, I was looking for you. Wait, didn't we go together? I was looking Hi. for you, Hi. Yui. We're back, oh, back for the pantsu. <gasps> Naraka, thank you for the prime. Thank you. Thank you for the 15 months. Thank you. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a quick drink so I can read more for everyone. Also, Oslo, uh, cheers. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Ah, yay. Yay, drinky time. Okay. I was hoping we could spend some time together. Then consider me the luckiest girl in the world. You had the cutest giggle. <laughs> The kind- Oh, this reminds me of something. Oh, I want to show- oh, I want to show it to everyone. Okay, here. Let me save the game for a moment. <laughs> I want to show you- Okay. The cutest- <laughs> I was watching a video today where somebody was doing a Ludwig impression and it was so funny. It was so good. Oh, 
okay, but, uh, maybe we can watch it later. <laughs> this the smile the smile sorry, the smile and the laugh were just so good. Who has the actual best giggle? Um Let me think about that. <laughs> I almost made a your mom joke. <laughs> Who has the best giggle? Yeah, I almost said your mom. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Who has the best giggle? Uh, these nuts. You found me now. Care to join me for a... <laughs> Care to join me for a walk? I, I'd like that. Yeah, oh, oh, that's, oh, that's cute art. That's nice. I couldn't help but uh, be fascinated uh, by her hair flowing like, flowing like water in the wind. I doubt you remember, but. <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm from way out the country. I grew up surrounded by animals, nature, you name it. Oh, so she's a nature girl. Okay. It was just me and my grandma, my two brothers, and the alpacas, and my bunnies, bun and bun bun. And the chickens. And too an many animals to count. To answer your question for er earlier, nature takes me back home. Do you still live there? Yep. Wouldn't have it any other way, though I had moved to the city a bit way back when. You know, that's when I met you. <laughs> so she's a nature girl. She's like cabin core. Or <laughs> How do we meet? Well, you know, one thing I hated about the city is that everyone's in a rush. People just walk by each other as if obstacles get past instead of, well, people. I came to the city alone, didn't know left from- Oh, so she's a country bumpkin! <laughs> and I got lost. I swear every building looked the same. You can say that again. I tried to ask people for directions to where I would live or where the school was, but no one would- Give me the time of day. Except for you. I helped you? Yeah. You didn't even know me, but you took the time to help me figure my way around. Gosh, I'd never been so embarrassed in my life. Gosh. <laughs> Why were you embarrassed? Uh, you know. <laughs> Shy. Huh? We found out later we went to the same high school, but we never talked too much after that. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, it's not your fault, honey. I had to move back home pretty soon after. Anyway. Well, I'm happy I'm getting a second chance to get to know you better, Yui. I feel the same way, Tane. You're just like how I remember. Well, actually, the whole trying to date five girls at the same time thing came out of nowhere, but life is full of surprises, I guess. <laughs> it shouldn't take long to remove them from the equation. Uh, why did the music go ominous, ominous there for a moment? Sorry, what did you say? I, I, ah, I couldn't, I couldn't hear you over that ominous, um, you know, tone. Just a little joke. <laughs> yep, I called it, I called it childhood uh, classmate girl is yandere i called it <laughs> <laughs> just just a joke ha 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 fuck this bitch i'm out <laughs> hey it's just like shuffle all over again right i was just saying i'm so happy to see you again oh, so happy to see you again oh Here's to the future. We spent the rest of the day taking in nature and making up for lost time. She's probably a sociopath. She's probably like, I like spending time in nature because then nobody will look for the animals. <laughs> Apparently I was always ending up in trouble back then. 
I guess not much has changed. Something about Yui made it so easy to open up. I found myself almost telling her the truth about the show several times. <laughs> yeah, she skins animal. <laughs> Even though I couldn't tell the whole truth, I could just tell her just enough of what she... Wait, of what was worrying me to make me feel at home and at ease. Whatever's getting you down, I'm sure it'll be okay. See, she's like, like, it's, she's, she's basically like Higurashi, right? It's like middle of nowhere town crazy shit happened. Sorry, not even town, uh, township. I don't know. <laughs> uh, no matter what, I'm on your side, Tane. Very cool. After today's date, I went out for a short walk outside the mansion. Oh, hey, Tane. Hey, cat. what's up? Let's not waste any time. I got- I gotta get back to editing and da-da-da-da. The text is the same. So I know Tara was your favorite, or maybe Yui has shaped things up a bit. Who's your number one? Uh... I would still go with Tara, but I'm- I'm curious about Yui, but... I just figured it'd be more Yandere stuff. I want to just go with Tara. I want to go with Gamer Girl. Tara, not my number one. <laughs> I've been counting the days till I could see her again. I know, we we can't pick Scarlet or Violet. I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm so, like, unenthusiastic now. <laughs> and I know it's going to be worth the wait. Rar XD, right? <laughs> Rar is how you say I love you in dinosaur. <laughs> Uh, I I gave you a cookie, but I eated it. <laughs> Come to the dark side. We have cookies. <laughs> That's definitely going to go. Uh, it's going to go. Wait, go in the broadcast. Couldn't write that much uh, cheese if I tried. Oh, can I have cat? Uh, you could. I don't even know if she's going to be a romance option. Maybe. I keep saying she looks like a VTuber because, like, she has, like, the jacket that's, like, off her shoulders. And, like, the VTubers with exposed shoulders, you know? <laughs> and her, uh, midriff is exposed. <laughs> I got some good news for you, then. My plan was a success. Having three soulmate candidates has worked magic for our ratings. Which, of course, means the show will go on. That's awesome. So I'm safe now? Just for now. Though we're not out of the woods yet, we need to make sure the next stretch of the show rates even higher. It's time for phase two. Over the next three days, you'll go on a second date with each Tara, Ali, and Yui. Okay. Just imagine how much higher our ratings will be if the viewers go to see even more of their favorites falling in love. Just imagine that sweet ad revenue. <gasps> that sweet ad revenue. <laughs> uh, you can tell it's a dystopia. <laughs> when oh man, when pe when uh when people talk about their ad revenue. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted for a second. Sound good to you? Sounds like a plan to me. Good. That's what I like to hear. Tomorrow morning, I'll be asking you who you want to have your first second uh, first second date with. Put some thought into that. Some Sometimes the order of the content is just as important as the content itself for the ratings. Will do. Thanks, Kat. Okay. No biggie. I gotta get back to work, so I'll see, see you later. Okay. I'm doing well today. Thank you for asking, Twitch. Thank you. I waved goodbye to her as she walked away from the mansion. Guess it's time to turn in for the night. We borrowed a boat and went uh, for a cruise around the island. I love the way the wind feels. Why is that? It feels like freedom. I can't get enough of it. No cameras, no people, nothing to stop me from. <gasps> she pulled me close and kissed me on the lips. For a moment, time stopped and we were the only two people that existed. Doing what I want. I smiled. I'm pretty sure we don't need to be all the way out there just for a kiss. I guess you're right. After all, it's hotter if people are watching. Ooh, we got a little exhibitionist here. 
We laughed together as if we cruised along until su sun went down. The world was ours. The sound of waves grows louder and louder, threatening to pull me back into reality. Will I know you before I'm taken under? In the morning, the girls and I decided to hang <laughs> So we got like another like dream sequence of like our honey before we lost our memories then. Oh wow, there's all kinds of flowers here that I've never seen here before. Really? You've never seen a tulip? <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Grandma and I only grew Wait, how do you how do you pronounce that? Wet dream sequence. <laughs> How do you pronounce that? It, I've seen them at Animal Crossing. Hyacinth. 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 Okay. Hyacinth. Not even on the internet? And I thought I had to get out more. I can believe that. The only flowers I ever work with are Venus flytraps. <laughs> you sure would, Scarlet. What do you do with those? Well, we do a lot of experiments at the lab. Don't you ever find yourself thinking, wouldn't it be cool to make a Venus flytrap that could walk and talk? Literally never. Uh, I think that's cool, Scarlet. <laughs> uh, it's whatever. She ran away two years ago. Both my neighbors lost their pet cats the same day, too. Oh. I miss you, Fluffy. Oh my god! Sag? What? Oh my god. Oh. You sure they were lost? Tea's ready. Thanks, Violet. I got a cup for everybody. The aroma from the tea really worked up my appetite. I have prepared some treats for us as well. Please enjoy. We spent the rest of the morning eating delicious treats and sipping on delicious tea as if as we theorized what might have happened to Fluffy. <laughs> uh, F's in the chat for Fluffy. Sag. <laughs> Personally, my money's on the felines being the culprits. Every cat I've met has had a nasty surprise up their sleeve. Oh. Oh. Morning, Tane. Congrats, you made it to the fourth day, and you've become the first person to have not one, not two, but three soulmate candidates. Who have thought? Granted, soulmate candidates don't really exist, but hey, we'll edit that part out. You should be really, really proud of yourself. Yeah, I should be so proud of myself for forming this harem. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. I'll leave that for you to guess. Anyway, between your three <clears throat> lucky romantic interests, Tara, Ali, and Yui, who do you want to spend time with today? Uh, I want to spend time with Tara. I want more gamer girl sessions. All right, sounds like a plan to me. I think uh, she's working on something in the mansion. Lead the way. Bobby's first harem. <laughs> yeah, no, none of the... <laughs> I want Violet and Scarlet. <laughs> I don't want to spend time with... In reality, I don't want to spend time with them. <laughs> I knocked on the door to the games room. Hey, Tane, what's up? I thought I'd check in and see how you're doing with the game. Let me show you what I'm working on then. Tara handed me her game device. Not all the art's ready yet, but I'm hoping it'll be done soon. It's a farming game. Oh, a farming game. I had to ditch the pigeon dating uh, idea after, well, finding out it was already done. That's really a shame for the whole world, really. But in this game, you get to live in a village out of the country, make friends, raise crops, and... <laughs> decimate all the invaders with your giant mecha pigeon death machine. Oh, okay, okay. Animal Crossing meets, uh, Pigeon Gundam? And there's one million possible weapon combinations, and... Uh, that... Sounds different. So, oh, wow, that's so cool. 
Wow, that sounds cool. I'd love to play it. Wow. Wow. Amazing. I'm curious. How how come you decided to make a farming game? Uh, good question. They've got a special place in my heart. I used to just play these morning till night every day. I, oh yeah, I think she does. Good eye. I didn't even notice it. <laughs> how, how hipster. <laughs> Okay, so... Oh, thank you for the follow. Um, okay, so funny funny thing about the Pink Floyd thing. So I've never seen Pink Floyd's The Wall, but I watched like an hour plus review. Okay, does, okay I'm going to go on a little tangent here. Does anyone remember the content creators behind like that guy with the glasses? I didn't know that they did this, but apparently they... They did a parody of Pink Floyd's The Wall? And it's like, why? But apparently, there's so many reviews on the internet, like, uh, talking about, like, how they, uh, they did... Okay, oh, I can't do my hand tracking, like, you know, I want to do, like, the, the finger, the finger quote thing. Like, so apparently, the channel Awesome People did, like, a parody of Pink Floyd's The Wall, and it's like, it was so tone deaf. It was so tone deaf and it was... I just want to say like plain wrong. <laughs> so I was watching like a review and I was just like, oh man. Cause like... Okay, here's the thing. When, when I was... When I was younger, I watched like the people like, you know, doing like the Nostalgia Critic, Channel Awesome and like all that stuff. And I thought they were like cool content creators. And looking back, they were just awful. <laughs> they were just like, oh man. I I wanted to be YouTubers like they were. And they they were just awful. And it's really weird that like that was kind of like the standard of YouTube. Uh, like, I don't know. No, I'll, so much of their stuff did not age well at all. It's I don't, I don't know if it's just, like, growing out of, like, the type of humor or something, but, like, looking back at it, like, all of their stuff is just awful. <laughs> Anyways, sorry. So, the, the Pink Floyd shirt made me think, made me think about that. <laughs> because, like, why, why would you do a parody on the wall? <laughs> Anyway, any anyway, she reminds me. Oh, I need to watch that anime, the quintessential quintuplets. Oh, she oh, she kind of has like that that look going on. That's true. It's like the yeah, she does. <laughs> the, the best girl. <laughs> Apparently, like the guy actually chooses a girl in that manga or that that show. Oh shoot, I didn't. Uh, used to just play these morning till night every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I find it's always so bold when this when like a harem story actually picks a girl. <sighs> Whoa. Whoa, thank you for continuing the, the gifted sub. Thank you. Ellie. Thank you. That's, oh, that's so kind of you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, da, da. <laughs> Enjoy, enjoy the emotes. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> you can probably tell I'm not really a go out and party kind of person. Um, same. <laughs> I'm a I'm the stay at home and drink kind of person. <laughs> as I as I take a si sip of my alcoholic beverage. <laughs> Not, not that there's anything wrong with going out to party or anything. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know uh, enough people to go to parties anyway, but whatever. Although, although, I, I have to say, um, I feel rather happy. I, I feel like I've been getting invited to like more, more stuff recently and it makes, I don't know, it makes, it makes me feel happy. I I get to go to I get to go to VR chat parties now. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I get to I get to go out to a party and sit and drink in my house. 
<laughs> hey, it's a it's a win-win combination for like an introvert. So <laughs> plus um I feel like I'm still like kind of like that kind of person at parties anyway. I, I only like to talk to maybe like maybe two to three people or like well okay, anywhere between like maybe one to three people in the corner. <laughs> I I don't I don't like talking in like a big group of people. I I get I get a little headachey. <laughs> I li I like to uh, <laughs> I like to talk to just like a few people in the corner. <laughs> oh hey let's let's uh let's catch up and get away get away from all the noise. <laughs> uh, sometimes it's more uh fun to do things your own. Uh, it's. Uh, it's your trip. Yeah, it's it's fun to do things on like how to do your own thing. Yeah. <laughs> solo drink is uh, <laughs> that really solo big deal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sometimes it can be uh, a more f wait. It can be more fun to stay indoors and just do what you enjoy. Yeah. See, uh, protagonist gets it. <laughs> That's how I felt about it. Enough talk. Try playing it. I want to see how you feel about it. All right, here, here we go. Let's see. The title screen displayed with a click. Star Blue Valley. Oh my God. Speaking of Stardew Valley, I'm I'm excited about that uh, chocolate uh, factory game that they're making. I was a mecha pilot who got tired of life in the mecha corps and decided to move out to the country to become a farmer. I was a pretty good one at that. Every season, I learned to plant, water, and harvest new kinds of crops. Tara would give me advice for farming in every season. Her face was so close to mine, she'd watch my every move with a pensive expression. Farming and fishing felt great, but fishing was almost impossible to do at first. The mecha parts of the game felt incredible. You could even get to know the villagers and have relationships with them too. There was just one thing that was a bit weird. Wow. First wow. <clears throat> so <laughs> Sorry, I'm just gonna get us some water. Man, I feel with like, just like a lot of the reading, my voice is- or sorry, not my voice, my throat is like getting dry. Ugh. <laughs> wow. First wow. What you have so far is incredible, Tara. You think so? Yeah, really, it's incredible. I never thought you could combine farming and being a mecha pilot in the same game, but you did it just fine. Thanks, Tane. It's nice of you to say. There's just one thing. I think that was a little off. What's that? Any feedback? Wait, any feedback would be great. I feel like the relationships with the townspeople were a little weird. <laughs> oh, thank you. Here, I'll, I'll get another drink of water. Mm. <sighs> okay. The dating aspects didn't really feel right. Oh, I knew it. You'd notice that. It's kind of embarrassing, but... I never actually dated before, so I had no idea. Oh, I knew she was going to say that. I never actually, I never actually dated before. Never actually dated before, so. <laughs> and to be honest, I never really had a real friend either. Oh, she's a true gamer girl. See? <laughs> Imagine having a true friend. <laughs> It's not too much to ask. <laughs> Her voice suddenly reduced to a whisper. I could be your friend. <laughs> Maybe you and I could be friends. Oh, see, I, I knew it. I knew it. I'd be honored to be your friend. That said, please don't trap me in a video game again. Sorry, what? Anyway, watching you play uh, gave me some ideas. Want to help me with testing them? Friends? <laughs> No, no, baby. You're not my friend. We're dating now. We just skip the... <laughs> or like, or just like we, we, we skip the friend, the friend level. <laughs> sure, I'd be happy to help however I can. 
We'd both suggest the idea she implemented and we test it together and repeat. It just kept getting better and better. Oh, imagine. Wow, it's so sexy trying to discover game bugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not even friends with benefits, they're just, just fucking benefits. <laughs> Tara's smile and enthusiasm was contagious. I couldn't help but be excited for her and in awe of her drive. We spent the rest of the day working on her. Oh my God, it's so sexy to work on a game. <laughs> but it only felt like minutes. I'm just glad it wasn't another virtual reality game. <laughs> ah, I'm dying, Squirtle. I was feeling a bit restless after today's date to wait in my room, so I went downstairs to relax. Who are we gonna see? It looks like someone had the same idea I did. Kat was relaxing on the sofa with a bottle of red wine in hand. Hey there, Tane. Care for a glass of... Cla a glass or five? Oh, hell, I'll take the five. <laughs> she knows me. <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> I love I love a glass. Yeah, give me give me five. <laughs> hey, you know what? If she if she's paying, <laughs> I mean, hell, hell yeah. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> she handed me a glass and poured it till it was full. Oh, oh, she poured. Oh yeah, she didn't pour it to the halfway point. She kn she knows. Oh whoa, maybe a little too much. Uh, what's life without a few risks? Long. Much like your remaining lifespan. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Cat filled her glass to the brim and downed it in one. Oh, at least savor the flavor. Holy. <laughs> at least um, um, nurse it a, a little bit or, or pretend, pretend that you're going to nurse it. <laughs> She laughed and uh, lightly jabbed me. I felt like uh, I was finally getting to see her real smile. Cat stare st started chugging down the. Holy! Okay, I've never drank from the bottle before. I will just I will just say that I've never drank from the bottle. <laughs> uh huh. Uh <laughs> you you okay? I work on a TV show that kills innocent people for shits and giggles. How okay do you think I can- Wh Okay, why- They have to get something out of killing people, don't they? They, ha they have to get something out of- Like, do they- Do they harvest their- Oh. Maybe they harvest their organs or something. I don't know. <laughs> you, you might want to stop drinking that. You're more of a buzzkill than Damien, and I don't even know how that's possible. He kills people with buzz saws. Oh my! Oh, oh, oh! Catch! Shh, shh! I'll take, I'll take you to bed. <laughs> it's so, it's okay, sweetie. <laughs> Sexy squid game, pretty much, pretty much. Sorry, Tane, I didn't mean that. It's okay, cat. No worries. <laughs> Man, I'd be, I don't, I don't know what I would be doing in this situation. I, I just drink with her. <laughs> now that you mention it, how did we, how did you end up working here anyway? Uh, oh, you know, the old career fair down the block. She laid down on the sofa. If you're here for the daily interview where I ask you about your day, I already have enough footage for today. As strange as it might sound, Kat, I'm here because I'm worried about you. <gasps> you! Do we- is this when we get cat route? And why is that? People who chug a whole bottle of wine in one night usually aren't in the best place. True. <laughs> Worry about yourself, Tane. <laughs> if you knew s some of the things I'd done to survive, you wouldn't be trying to comfort me. From what it sounds like, no one really has any choice. You just focus on being a rating magnet on your dates. I'll be fine. Thanks, Tane. <laughs> if you don't mind, I'd like to be alone. 
Good night, cat. Uh, you gonna be okay, sweetie? I can, I can like carry you to your room. Man, <laughs> don't stay up too late. Great, the walking corpse is giving me advice on how to live now. Do I really look that bad right now? Good night, cat. I hurried along. Now hold up just a... If only I could escape this island as easily as I could from a very, very drunk cat. Oh, she wasn't that bad. She wasn't bad. I've, I've experienced, like... Worse. <laughs> Wait a minute. If cat's drunk, then who's making sure today's episode is good? Something tells me I'm not going to sleep very well tonight. The two of us were laying down in a grassy field, watching the world pass us by. Yeah, she was saying coherent scent. Exactly, Wolf, exactly. There's people who get sloshed, like, way worse. <laughs> where, would, where would you want to go when we're, out, when, when we're out of here? The countryside. Seems like it'd be the only place nowadays where you can get some peace and quiet. That does sound nice. Would you come with me? I know it's not for everybody, and I miss a lot of the... You don't even have to ask, love. Of course I'm coming with you. We're a team, right? We're a team. She moved closer. I held her tight in my arms. Mom would have loved you. I wish you would have had a chance to meet her. I know. We'll make sure our kids get a chance to meet theirs, too. <laughs> Wait, what's this about Team Four Star? Wait, wh what about Team Four Star? <laughs> Her face turned bright red. Whoa, 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 what? S say, say that after we're actually engaged. Oh, kids, haha, <laughs> children. Oh, because we're a team. Oh, we're a team. <laughs> nice. It's cute how embarrassed she gets. You mean it? Every word. You're sweet. Not as sweet as you. <laughs> I knew that. I knew that was coming. <laughs> Ugh. I'm sorry. When I get... When I get <laughs> when it gets too sappy, I roll my eyes. <laughs> I... Oh, okay. Okay. The girls and I kicked off our morning by testing Tara's game together. It was a multiplayer, so now we could play together in the same world. Uh, this came with its own fair share of se uh, sequences. Yes. Yeah. It's a, uh, too, too, much, too much romance uh, reduces my succubus meter. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> No, so, exactly, doctor, exactly. Um, uh, I don't know. Crunch and I are kind of, well, I don't know. I feel like Crunch can be lovey-dovey, I guess, but... He <laughs> hey, it's Valentine's Day. I think I, can, I think I could say that at least. I don't know. <laughs> um <laughs> sorry, I'm just I'm just thinking of something. I, I wanted to ask Crunch if this was okay because I didn't I wanted I I wanted to see if this was if this wouldn't embarrass him, but this okay, this is what he will do. He will whisper to me and be like, I love you. And I'll just I'll just say like, I love you too. <laughs> like, like not whisper it back. <laughs> I think I think it's cute. I think it's cute. <laughs> oh, oh. I don't know. I don't I don't think we get too sappy, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Crunch. The reason the reason I'm bringing it up is because like in the game they're just they're just like oh you're sweet not as sweet as you like that that kind of like sappy stuff so <laughs> <laughs> I 
I say, cover me, or you'll have to finish making dinner yourself. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. There's too many mutant vegetables attacking. <laughs> Ellie's face. Okay, I like this face. I think it's cute. <laughs> Yui, I need to, co to cover me. Where are you? <gasps> I'm sorry. It's the mayor's birthday and I can't decide which berry to give him. It can wait. <gasps> but then I won't get the bonus points. Come to think of it, I think we're running low on tomatoes and carrots. Do you need any, Violet? We have enough to survive the winter, but more supplies are always welcome. I'm on it. Well, the game's definitely got <laughs> gotten more exciting. I wanted for them to test uh, the relationship, but maybe uh, that'll have to wait a bit. I guess we'll see next time. The stream is so sad. I know. <laughs> Or God, it's it's true, it's true. <laughs> so in order for you then, Scarlet, Violet, Ellie, uh, Tara, Yui. Mm. I can see that. I, I uh, there's just something about the ch like childhood friend class classmate dynamic that I just find so boring. Maybe it's just because it's overdone in anime. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's like it's like the safe option. We spent the rest of the morning playing uh, Tara's game. Good morning, cat. I've been looking for you. Oh, not so loud, please. My head's killing me from all the wine last night. I still had to edit our broadcast after that, which didn't help. Childhood friend never wins. I agree. Um. Ah, I'm trying to find an example. Okay, wait. Example of a series that had a childhood friend winning. Can you think of some crunch? Oh, he's playing Project Zomboid again. Um. Oh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. That's true. That's true. Uh, Final Fantasy. Ah, Final Fantasy Seven. Cause you, cause Cloud gets with Tifa. True. True. Uh. Technically, Elf and Lead, where the childhood friend is also the cousin, and they get together. Ugh. Ugh. Uh. What other childhood friends win? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of. Well, te technically, the character was gonna get with Lucy, but she's like, "Go, we cannot be in a relationship." And yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Think of any other anime that had exciting I don't know childhood friends that actually get together though <laughs> something tells me that my chance of surviving goes down every opened uh, bottle of alcohol on the <laughs> oh no shuffle anime uh didn't okay I okay here's the thing I didn't finish shuffle but I know that the what was it okay uh, Kanade, I think her name was, goes Yandre, and the guy gets with the uh, elf girl for Shuffle, right? Shuffle, the anime. Well, like, doesn't the main character get with the elf girl or the, the girl that you don't expect? Because, like, I know, okay, because I never watched it, but I know that the childhood friend goes yandere okay well we gotta watch it we gotta watch it <laughs> it's probably it's probably on it's, we probably have it right on on the thing okay we should watch it ah <laughs> uh, oh maybe i can just watch it on my own time unless if uh, is it is is shuffle 12 episodes isn't there a shuffle and then there's like another season or something there's an ova or something Chi-Chi was not really go- Uh... Chi-Chi marrying Goku? Uh... Maybe. But they weren't really child- Wait, were, were Chi-Chi and Goku childhood friends? I don't think so. I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, it's 24 and 12 for Shuffle? That's not bad. Don't watch Sunshine? Okay. Oh, okay. Love Hina? Wait. I, oh yeah, because in Love Hina he gets with the childhood friend, I guess, right? That's true. 
Oh, you know what? I think it's the same for I. Okay, Ayori Yoshi, that that old harem anime too. He gets with the childhood friend. Also, uh, they are engaged. <laughs> And then hijinks ensue. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay. I guess there's some older examples of some anime too, where uh, the childhood friend actually wins. Ah, okay. Maybe I should spend a day reenacting Prohibition instead of going on a date. <laughs> You do know how Prohibition ended, right? Anyway, back to the brass tacks. Yesterday's second date with Tara went really well. Let's keep striking the iron while it's hot. Which soulmate candidate would, uh, would you go on a second date with today? Uh, I'll probably go with Allie and then I will go with Yui, I think. Allie. Really now, I'm surprised considering how you KO'd yourself last time, but that's none of my business. You Hakusho... Uh, Naruto? I, I guess Naruto technically, I guess, because Naruto gets with Hinata and then like Sasuke gets with Sakura. True, true. Uh, wait, in Yu Yu Hakusho does, uh... Does What's-His-Face actually get with, like, the girl? Because I barely remember her in the later half of you, actually. <laughs> oh my goddess? Oh. I don't know if I finished Oh my goddess, actually. Oh, yeah, he's not supposed to date the goddesses. <laughs> yeah, it's the, it's the rule. Don't date the gods. <laughs> Oh my god, I met. They named him Sasuke. <laughs> Su Sasuke. Sasuke is so sus. Sasuke. Sus. Sus. Sussy. Sussy. Sasuke. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just being silly. <laughs> See you there. Oh, we're, we're going to the beach? I will say it again. Every time I see a beach now, I just think of I just think of Death Stranding and I think of I love you, Sam Porter Bridges. I'll meet you on the beach. Because they keep saying it every time in the game. <laughs> also, Crunch, you need to finish Death Stranding. Do you wanna do you wanna play that just on your own time maybe Saturday or I don't know? Yeah. <laughs> Ten oh, Tenshi Moyo? Wait. Uh, were there any childhood friends in Tenshi Moyo, though? There's so many Tenshi Moyos, I never finished them all. <laughs> There's too many. <laughs> you ready for round two? I figured you might uh, hang out uh, somewhere with rollerblades. Wait. Oh, it didn't. Oh, yeah. Oh, I spent all night dreaming of... It made you <laughs> exact sexuality. <laughs> uh, what was like the anime that awakened your sexuality? <laughs> uh, I can think of several. <laughs> I could use those two little death ma oh death matches, huh? Then I think uh, you'll love what we've got in store today. There's no wheels where we're going, baby. Where do, what do you, wait, what do you mean? Sailor Moon? Uh, Sailor Sailor Moon with the cousins, right? Right? They they were cousins. Yes. Yes. They 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 were cousins. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or roommate or roommates. Yeah, they were they were just really, really, really good friends. <laughs> Hello there, Exhausted. Hello. <laughs> hey there, Jess. Hello, hello. And they were roommates. <laughs> You'll see. Follow me. Oh, cousins did make it worse. Why did they have to dub it like that? <laughs> yeah, they're they're just they're just gal pals. <laughs> ah, Queen's Blade. Culture taste. <laughs> 
You know what's kind of weird? I noticed that a lot. I noticed that people have been talking about Bible Black a lot recently on Twitter, and I'm just like, why all of a sudden? <laughs> At first, I'm going to need you to close your eyes. I'm not sure I like where this is going. I've been doing well. I'm, do I'm do doing good. Nothing to worry about, Tane. I'll be right back uh, next to you the whole time. Oh, I'll be next to you the whole time. I don't know. I think I think Bible Black is just an edgy joke among, like, uh, vanilla VTubers now, I think. I don't know. Because everyone's like, teehee, Bible Black, and it's like, oh, okay. Maybe, maybe everyone can meme about, like, night shift nurses and, like, the girl eating poo or something <laughs> next. <laughs> but if you don't eat her poo, how, how do you know if you love her? <laughs> or whatever the quote was, right? <laughs> uh, Bible Black, because a big VTuber didn't know what it was. Oh. How can you not know what Bible Black was, though? That's like when you get, like, initiated into hentai. <laughs> Uh, I would say Bible Black was probably a lot of people's first one. Probably. I think that's probably like... I... Mm, did someone I say night... No, I said night shift nurses. <laughs> because like... Then I, I don't know. Bible Black's not that edgy. <laughs> I just- I just think it's weird that everyone's talking about Bible Black all of a sudden. <laughs> uh, because that's always gone well. Oh yes, back to the dialogue. Oh! Whoa! Jess! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you for the five gifted! Thank Jess you! Thank you! <laughs> That's very kind of you. Jesse on Regas, 12, 21, I'll have to fix the, the thing that does the five. I don't know why it does it one at a time. I'll I'll will be sure to fix Jesse it. Regas, 12, <laughs> 12, 21, Thank you. Thank you for the support. Wait, move behind me and covered my eyes with her hands. No, Jesse let's just keep Regan's walking 12, forward, trust me. Tier one sub to age 20 goblin. I'd be lying if I said it, uh, I wasn't Regan's some 12, somewhat enjoying this. My heart skipped a beat when she wrapped her arms down. around me. I cautiously took a step um after a step forward. <laughs> oh, here let let me let me give you your <laughs> Thank you for the support. Thank you. <laughs> First I felt I felt dirt, then sand, then water. Are you trying to make me drown myself? Oh, oh no, oh no. Of course not, though I have to admit, this does look a lot like how they killed people back in the day. What? Is she gonna waterboard me? Ah, <laughs> uh, you're gonna want to take a really high step forward next. Or it's gonna hurt. I raised my right leg as high as I could, then stepped forward. Something changed. Like metal. Next, I brought over my left leg. Keep your eyes closed just for a second longer. I got to do one thing. Ellie let go of me and took a few steps forward. Brace yourself. Wait, what? What? Oh, we're gonna go sailing? I was knocked off my feet by the sudden movement and opened my eyes on reflex. Water sprayed onto my body as I struggled to regain my balance. All aboard the SS St. Alley. <laughs> when and where did you get a boat? Pretty cool, right? I found this baby in the back of the mansion this morning. You just found it? Anyway, I asked Kat if I could take it for a spin. Yeah, this art is cute. I like this. I feel like anything with like sparkly like water effects and stuff like, oh, so nice. <laughs> also, um, okay, I have a thing. I have a thing for sparkles. I like that they have some sparkles like right here and right here. <laughs> oh, 
thank you for the follow. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. She said that as long as we stay within a few clicks of the sand, we're good, or the engine will automatically shut off. Sparkles, sparkle. <laughs> I love sparkles! I feel like it... I don't know. I think it's just because of, like, the magical girl stuff. Oh, see? Look at this. I can, I can see where they took their sparkle brush. If I could, like... Okay, if I could zoom in. Where's my... Where's my mouse? Right here? That's where their sparkle brush went? Right here? They just... They have the same brush, but they just used it in a different size. <laughs> you know? Very smart. Very, very smart. <laughs> she said that as long as we stay within a few clicks of... Oh! Are we Canadian now? A few clicks of the island? <laughs> okay. There's a... Uh... Wait. I don't know if this is slang outside of Canada. But when you say clicks, it's like kilometers. Wait, does, wait, the US military uses that too? Oh, I, okay. Interesting. I did, I did not know that. Okay. We're good. Or the engine will automatically shut off. Oh, okay. So I thought, why not have a little joy ride around the island? I like the sound of that. Uh, yeah, I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that. And away we go! We cruised around the island for a while, taking note of the uh, different buildings covered uh, covering the island. The mansion seems so small uh, from way out here. Where's the camera crew? <laughs> Isn't this supposed to be filmed? <laughs> Hours flew by as we cruised around. Oh, that's nice. I I like I like that sunset. Oh, I like, oh, I like the purple, the purple and then the orange and then, oh, that's nice. That's nice. Allie took a deep breath and, uh, and sighed. You okay, Allie? You don't seem as chipper as usual. I guess I'm a little homesick. It's nothing to do with you, I promise. I'm just worried about my old man. I'm sorry. Wasn't your father? Uh, yes, he's long gone. You know, the old story about New Asia. I'm talking about Lucas. He was a good friend of my dad's and he's taking care of me um, and a whole lot of other kids. Sounds like a cool dude. You sure have a way with words, don't you, Tony? <laughs> yeah, yeah, everybody sounds like a cool dude. I don't dwell much on the past. It just slows you down. I couldn't agree more. Is that the Amnesia talking? Who knows? She laughed as she put her hand tenderly against my cheek. I'm more worried that he'll get himself into trouble if I'm not around to keep him in check. What's he like? Let's just say that... <laughs> let's just say uh, that a lot of how I act is from him, but I'm much more restrained. If you like this, I guess I wouldn't survive even a single day hanging out with him. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, oops. Oh, no, no, I didn't miss anything. Oh, nothing at all. Ellie made a sharp turn. The sudden force almost threw me uh, out of the boat. Hey, what was that for? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. I couldn't help but smile at her. She was practically shining when she had that devilish grin. I'm sure he's doing just fine, Allie. He's probably watching right now just to make you sure you're safe. You're probably right. Now that I think about it, he always uh, wastes the day watching shitty reality TV shows. <laughs> Damn, we're gonna be on a shitty reality TV show. <laughs> I'm liking, I'm liking her too. She's, she's growing on me. Mhm. Mm oh, you have to get going for now, cat. Take care. Oh, take care. Get some good rest. Have a good day. Thank you for coming by. <laughs> Which gives me an idea. What's that? With one hand on the wheel, Ali turned to me and kissed me on the lips. Oh, oh I, I, okay, I like this. A lot of the girls are very bold. 
<laughs> I, I like this. I think I've said this, everyone, but I'm, I feel like I'm the one that's usually like the more like bolder person. I, I, I like a, I like a girl who's bold <laughs> so that I don't have to. <laughs> Tomboy kiss. Let's go. Let's go. Boys, we got, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Today, the, pl the plan is we get a kiss from a tomboy. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I kissed her back. It felt like lightning was running through my veins. The boat started to rock back and forth and more and more uncontrollably, but we didn't stop. Oh, yeah, they're, ro they're rocking the boat, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they're rocking the boat. <laughs> That's got to give Lucas a heart attack. Seriously, what kind of father lets their daughter go on a trashy show like this? <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh. Eh, whatever. It's been a fun ride so far. Yeah, I'll give you something to ride on. <laughs> and here's to the next one with you, Tane. She kissed me again, sending the boat into a erratic frenzy. We spent the rest of the day together cruising on the boat till we ran out of day. Yeah, don't do it when it's going to be dark, you dum-dums. Go, go home when it's getting dark. That's dangerous. <laughs> Until we ran out of daylight. Okay. <laughs> we cruising. Seems like a nice night for a walk. Oh, hey, Tane, what are you doing out here? Just going out for a walk. Care to join? Oh, care to join me? Sure, why not? I got a few minutes. How about we do a circle around the mansion grounds? Sounds good to me. So, how's your date with Ali go? Or how'd your date with Ali go? Uh, we already got uh, back to our daily interviews. Did the island uh, run out of wine? That's uh, unholy. <laughs> Wait, oh, sorry, sorry. That's wholly unrelated. <laughs> but yes. Anyway, my date with Allie today was... Eh, it was awesome. I, it was great. Pretty great. There's never a dull moment with Allie. I'm just scratching the surface, but I'd like to see what... Uh, and I really want to get to know her more. Interesting, interesting. That's good. Allie's pretty out there as far as people go. I could see uh, why she'd have a hard time opening up. But from what I saw today, I'm sure if uh, she would open up to anyone, it'd be you. Wow! <laughs> People thought uh, she didn't have much of a chance here. I guess you two are proving them wrong. I guess so. Keep it up with what you're doing. Our ratings have only been climbing higher and higher every day. They're going to debate me. They're going to like, they're going to like wipe my memory again. I swear. Yeah, but it's not time to celebrate just yet. I know. Don't worry. I'm sticking to the plan. That's good to hear. Seriously, if you get if you got yourself killed by not following the plan at this point, you deserve it. Looks like we finished our walk. Anyway, I got to get back to work, but it was it was a nice break. Night, Tane. Night, cat. I walked back to my room and plopped on my bed. Time to get some shut eye. The scent of something delicious being baked freshly wafted through the kitchen. It's just the two of us. Looks like this batch didn't turn out well either. She frowned. Hey, on the bright side, I can at least tell it's bread this time. Oh my god. Okay, my brain. <laughs> Maybe it's just because like I worked hard. Maybe it's just because I had a I had a long day at work. I re I read this as it's breeding time. <laughs> Hey, on the bright side, I can tell it's breeding time. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's bread this time. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> breeding time, let's go. <laughs> you know when you like read two things and you put them together and you're like, that doesn't sound right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, that wasn't the right thing to say. <laughs> oh 
That wasn't the right thing to say. Uh, it has been a while since I've done... <laughs> it's been a while... <laughs> It's been a while since I've done this, Tani. I'm so sorry. I wanted to have something good. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> if you followed up with breeding time. <laughs> no, it's, it's been a while since I've done some breeding. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> I reached for one of the pieces of bread. <sighs> Wait, I'm sure it's... I took one bite. Then wolfed the bread down like it was the last of its kind. It's delicious. <laughs> hey there, Big Daddy. Hello. <laughs> I'm sorry, the music is just like so wholesome too. <laughs> I reached for another to prove my point. You really mean it? I took a moment to wolf down the second piece. Cross my heart. You're just saying that. She smiled. Ah, that's the moment I've been waiting for. She hugged me with all her might. But I love that about you, you know? I love you, Tane. <laughs> I love you, Sam Porter Bridges. I'll meet you on the beach. <laughs> I held her hand. I love you too. For the moment, sorry, for a moment, the whole world was just me and her. And that was all that mattered. What I wouldn't give to have you back like this. I want to know who this who this girl is. I want who is she? Oh, a beach scene. Seriously, not only gratuitous, but oh, so predictable. Oh, come on. It's the beach. Don't be so negative. I guess you're right. It's not every day you get to go to the beach. Are you all right, Tara? You've looked better. Tara was practically crawling on the beach sand like a zombie with one arm. Sunlight, my worst enemy. We meet again, you piece of shit. <laughs> wow, Tara. Wow, she really doesn't like the sun. She's like, I'm a basement dweller. I'm a gamer girl. I have to be in the basement. <laughs> There's some shade under the beach umbrellas over there, Tara. You look like you could use it. <gasps> so I swear I never seen Tara move so fast. Let's go uh let's go in the water. Come on. Scarlet grabbed uh Violet by her hand and pulled her towards the water. Ah, but I didn't bring anything to change. Now that's the spirit. Wake up, you guys. Tara needs to touch some grass. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. And just like that, they're off. You have to join them? I'd, uh, I'd be crazy to miss out on this. Just one thing first. Allie pulled me in with her arms and kissed me passionately. Whoa. It's hotter when the other girls are around. You think they saw? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I like that. <laughs> I couldn't stop my jaw from dropping. <gasps> duh, duh. <laughs> the look on your face is priceless. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm starting to like her too. She's great. I, I think I like her more than Tara at this point now. Like, compared to like the ones that, yeah, we're, that we're dating right now. Try to keep up. Ellie ran to join the other girls in the water. I smiled and followed suit. We spent the rest of the morning enjoying the warm weather on the beach. Morning, Tane. How'd you sleep? Pretty well, considering how you edit the footage that keeps me alive. Drunk. That sounds like a win-win to me, if you ask me. Can you believe it? We're already on the sixth day of the show. Is it already? Time sure uh, goes by. Fast. Blah. No kidding. Anyway, it's time to wrap up phase two. You need to go on a second date with your last soulmate candidate. Shouldn't be too hard, no? Please don't jinx me. Break a leg. 
Seriously, actually breaking a leg would be a lot better for you than messing up today's date. Not helping cat. Time to get today. <laughs> Time to get today's date starting with none other than my third soulmate candidate, Yui. So it's Yui's turn now. Yonder a cottage core girl. <laughs> you could see Yui waving at me from the top of the hill. Hey there, Tane. It's nice to see you again. <laughs> Yui. <laughs> no, she's she's cute. I just think she's boring. <laughs> it's time to say <laughs> it's nice to see you too, Yui. You wanted to show me something? <laughs> Now that I was closer, I could see Yui was holding one hand behind her back. Believe me, it's the most amazing thing you've ever seen. Behold. Oh, cute. It's a bunny. Wow. I, I hope she doesn't skin it. <laughs> oh, it was indeed a bunny. Where did this little guy come from? I feel like I have this headcanon where she's just a sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I got no idea. I wonder if he's a wild one or maybe somebody's pet. I've asked around, but it doesn't look like he belongs to anyone, anybody. So I, I've been taking care of him since I found him. I just couldn't help myself, y you know? She killed the owner. <laughs> <laughs> Yui's smile was as earnest as could be. See, this is how sociopaths get to you. They just, you know, they, they curate themselves. <laughs> this is what they want you to think. <laughs> no. Didn't you have a pet bunny back home? I had two. Bun and Bun Bun. Both of them are total rascals. But Bun 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 was a good boy, aren't you? She nuzzled against Bun Bun Bun's head. Yes, you are. Nuzzle, nuzzle. Nuzzle, nuzzle. Nuzzle, nuzzle. <laughs> we played with the bunny for a while. She picked the bunny up and held it in her arms. Bun 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 looks, uh, looked quite content. You know, you're pretty amazing with animals, Yui. Well, I've been surrounded by animals my whole life. Back at my house, well, to be honest, it was more of a barn than anything. Since my brothers were too young and Grandma was getting up there, I take care of all the animals. Grandma's taking care of them ever since they were born. My parents were supposed to take care of them after Grandma retired, but... Well, you know, life happens. I'm just glad... To have what I have. <gasps> Bun 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 has managed to squeeze out of her hands and run off. We're going to catch him. Let's go. On it. I ran as fast as I could after Bun Bun Bun. But it was no use. The distance kept widening. Before long, we couldn't even see him anymore. Yeah, he's trying to escape. He knows he's going to get skinned. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't catch him. He's really fast for something so small. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Bun 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 likes to do this all the time. He's a bit mischievous, but he won't do anything dangerous. We can take our time looking for him. If you if you're willing to help, of course, Yui. We started walking towards where we last saw Bun Bun Bun. Right after we caught our breath again. Gosh, isn't it so nice to be outside? The smell of fresh air? The breeze? There's nothing like it. There really isn't. I smiled. At first, I was really excited to go to the city. There's so many people, so many things to do. So much to see. So much to do, so much to see. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? You never know if you don't go. You never shine if you don't glow. Hey now, you're an all-star, get your game on, go play. Hey now, you're a rock star, get the show on, get paid. <laughs> and most of all, I get to meet you. Shucks, you're gonna make me blush. She laughed and slapped me on the arm. 
Somebody. <laughs> if you don't blow. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up, All Star. <sighs> okay. Even so, the city's just not my thing. It's a little bit funny, though the reason I had come home all of a sudden was terrible. I, a part of me was glad to be home. Ever since, wait, ever had that kind of feeling before? I have. It's strange, but sometimes there's good in the bad, and sometimes that good can outweigh the bad. Exactly. You get it, Tane. My family's never been closer. And that's all I want. They told me to make a lot of money in the city, make something of myself, all that. It might seem, it might seem old-fashioned, but I just want to put the people I love first. That's all you got in life, really. I'm curious, what do you put first in life? Uh... Uh... I mean... She pro she probably wants to hear family <laughs> bitches. Hey yo, no bitches. <laughs> no bitches like mega mind sad face. <laughs> I mean, I val I value my family, but um Okay, my my opinion, my opinion. Um oh. <laughs> drinking buddy. Oh, wait, nine months. Thank you for continuing Fusion's uh, gifted demonic contract to you. <laughs> Thank you, drinking buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so here, here's my thing. Maybe this is this is like what I value. I know everyone values different things, though. Um, I'm the first of my family to go to university. So I understand what, like, Yui's saying. Like, she said, like, her family's like, you know, like, do well for yourself and everything, right? Mm hmm Um, so I feel like I was really determined to, like, work hard and everything. So... I mean, so I still, like, value my family, but I wanted to work hard to, like, do well if that makes sense <laughs> so i'm the first of my family to go to university like to get like post-secondary education um in my opinion like when it comes to happiness i didn't used to think like this because i okay how i used to think was like if i had this thing i would be happy if i had this thing i would be happy or if this were to happen to me i would be happy but i don't think like that anymore I take happiness in the moment and in the present that it comes. <laughs> and I, I started thinking like that like a few years ago. So like, I'm not, I'm not seeking out happiness. If I have it in that moment, I am happy. <laughs> so the thing that I value is my career, I want to say. Because I, I want to work hard for myself, but I want to work hard for other people too. If that makes sense. That's just like, that's just my opinion for how I think though. <laughs> so what do I put first in my life? I already feel like these are things that are inherently that I do think about. So I just want to put career. <laughs> I don't think she's going to like that answer, but whatever. <laughs> Ani chan Ani chan <laughs> Oni-chan going to be in my career? <laughs> hey there, Alam. Hello. Oh, is that so? I think we make a great team then. We talked for several hours um, about what we wanted in our life. We seemed to match up perfectly. I was beaming the whole time. It was hard to believe that. It's Bum Bum Bun! Yui pointed in front of us, and sure enough, there was Bun 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 chomping on a bush. 
I'd never seen anyone move so fast. Yui descended on Bun 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 like a hawk and grabbed him in an instant. You are going back uh, to your den. You li you. Bah. Wait wait wait. I can I can do this. You are going back to your den. You bad little bunny. Oh, such a bad little bunny. <laughs> but I'm happy you're safe. She nuzzled her face against his fur. Bun 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 was practically purring with delight. <laughs> then she looked at me. I, could, I can't promise I could give you the most exciting life with the most twists and turns around every corner. But I can promise that if you choose me, I'd always be by your side, no matter what. I, I, okay. I feel like it's trying to show that, like, because she has, like, uh, a, a devotion to animals, she will be devoted to you, you know? You know what I mean? Wherever you were, I'd come running, always. She took a step forward and kissed me on my cheek. We locked eyes, and for the first time, all I could see was her and how beautiful she was. Bun 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 seemed a little jealous after that. Thanks again for the help, Tane. Being with you made this all, all go a lot faster and made it really special to me. Anytime, Yui. I'm happy to. We walked back together to the mansion, holding hands and smiling all the while. Oh, it's no. Hello. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> Can we get a shout out for now? Oh, I'm so excited for Sunday. <laughs> hi, mo hi, mommy. Now, now is a mommy. <laughs> I'm so, oh, I'm so excited. Um, Heiwan has something very interesting planned out, everybody. So this Sunday, um, I said it at the beginning of the stream, but we're doing a mommy collab. And I'm excited to talk to now, excited to talk to Ava, Milky again. Oh, it's going to be great. <laughs> oh, whoa. Thank you. Thank you for gifting a demonic contract to now. They have given 392 gift subs in the channel. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Wall. Well, thank you. Ah, uh, I hope you, I hope you're doing well today, now. <laughs> oh my gosh, your last stream was getting over it. Ah, uh, how did you feel about that game? Uh, how did you finish it, or how far did you get? <laughs> I. I got to the area where it's like you see that little mandarin orange and then there was like the cliff side. I was able to get to that area in the game, but I wasn't I wasn't able to go further. <gasps> so, oh, we got to the, we got to the same area. Oh, <laughs> the, the freaking orange, the orange cliff. Ah, <laughs> man. <laughs> Maybe Madge, same. I, I I stopped it after that. <laughs> annoying orange, Annoy uh, The annoying orange is first VTuber. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Where were we? Uh, I'm feeling a little bit. Uh, wait. I'm feeling a little bit of late mun late night munchies. Oh, I'll go head downstairs. Oh, we wanna go say hi. Oh, sounds sounds good. I'm ha I'm happy that you came by. Oh, check check out now, everyone. Now now is very mommy, very very mommy. Sakibis Sakibis Kitsune. <laughs> oh, have a have a good day. Have a good day. I would I would wave, but I don't have my hand tracking on now. <laughs> I was just about to go and check check in on you. Hey there, cat. What's up? Huh. There was some fancy desserts here from last week, but I can't find them anymore. Guess I'll take that out of uh, the Brothers Five's paycheck. Oh my god. How, how did you know it was them? They're like clockwork. <gasps> Munch. This was the Brothers Five? No doubt about it. Ali made direct contact with me, then hightailed it out. <laughs> Anyway, I've been meaning to talk with you. What's up? How'd your date with Yui... Wait, how, how'd your date with Yui... Oh! 
they forgot a word how would your date with yui today oh no no never mind okay i was gonna say go today but never mind how'd your date with yui today go <laughs> you know what i'm gonna say eh I wouldn't really consider it a date. We didn't do anything. We just snuggled a bunny. It was all right, I guess. Oh, really? That's too bad. Yui said in the interview after your date that she thought you two were really connected. Oh! <laughs> well, doesn't matter. The audience thinks you did, and uh, and that'll keep you alive. I guess. I guess so. Well, that would be enough footage for today. Thanks, Tane. You'll be, uh, you'll be happy to know that phase two of the plan was a smashing success. That's great to hear. No kidding. The love square between Tara, Ellie, and Yui has viewers on the edge of their seats. Okay, so here's the thing. If it really was like a very like catty reality show, the girls would be like fighting for like the main character and everything, you know? It wouldn't be a reality show if somebody, like, didn't walk off the set. If, like, somebody didn't call someone a bitch or something. Or, like, you know, like, that kind of, that kind of thing. I don't know. Or, like, a lot or alliances between the girls. There's always alliances in reality shows, you know? <laughs> How, you know, oh, that's true. We, get, we can't see, we can't see that, actually. So, true, true. <laughs> You've actually broken the record for all ratings on a killer dating game show. It's not as niche as it sounds. Do I get a plaque for that? This has got to count for something somewhere. Yeah, they flipped the, they flipped the bird at the MC. <laughs> we don't have it printed yet, but I'm preparing your tombstone in advance. If you're looking for a souvenir. Wow, thanks for the vote of confidence, Kat. Let it never be said that I am anything but supportive. Anyway, we're on phase three. It's pretty much the same as phase two, except with third third dates this time. And one caveat. What's that, Kat? I'm sure you've uh, got a favorite of mine between Tara, Ali, and Yui. If you want to maximize your chances of getting um, out of here alive, save the best for last. It gives audiences something to look forward to. Oh, I guess we're going to save the best for last. Okay. Sounds good to you? Makes sense to me. Good. That's all for today. I'll see you later. Night, Tane. Yeah, get them to a line to kick you. <laughs> get out of here, Yui. And thanks for the help till now, Kat. I realized I'd probably be screwed without you. Don't thank me yet. Guess I'll call it a night. We still dating anime girls? Yes, Red Dragon. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can finish the game today, too. We will see. I want to see what that twist is at the end. Like, why do they keep mind wiping me? Why did they mind wipe the other girls too? Oh, it's a free game on Steam. It's on It's on Steam. It's free. I walked back to my room. Oh, oh, everyone. Oh, uh, I, I have something actually that I want to tell you. I found, I found another dating sim actually on Steam. It involves cannibalism. <laughs> Uh, I can't remember what it, what the, what the intro was, but it was like, who, are you going to butter up the girls or are they going to butter up you? And I was like, ah, <laughs> I found like a, vo like Vor cannibalism dating sim and it's on, it's on a uh, steam. I can't remember the name though, but I saw somebody playing it actually on Twitch. So it must be Twitch safe. It's like you're dating the characters and then it's like, I think they're going to plan to eat you is I guess like a Hansel and Gretel kind of like situation. <laughs> I can't remember what it was called, though. But I thought that one would probably be interesting if we wanted to like do more dating sims. <laughs> Time to get some shut eye. Yeah, Steam's getting some like interesting stuff. So what's this supposed to do? It's only a prototype, but technically, uh, wait, but technical details aside, you could think of it as a memory rewriter. So it rewrites memories. 
pretty much. Think of it as a surgeon's scalpel. Oh! I'm getting a lobotomy? Oh! Shoot, we still gotta do lobotomy ASMR. <laughs> maybe, maybe that could be next week. I'll, I'll get, I'll get right in there, everyone. And give you the true lobotomy experience. <laughs> <laughs> Mad scientist VT VTuber lobotomy is lo I I actually found some uh when we were playing uh needy streamer overload I looked up a uh, lobotomy ASMR on YouTube it is out there there is an ASMR roleplay for anything I think nowadays <laughs> With it, you can make someone forget things as big as who they are or something as small as a specific conversation. So if you use this one somewhere, wait, so if you use this on someone, anything's fair game, you could erase anything you wanted. Exactly. Well, maybe it's not really a scalpel since it comes with a reset button. It's sad though. This was supposed to help people after the war. I- I was supposed to help people after the war. I'm sorry, Scarlet. Don't worry about it. I may not be able to help them, but... It doesn't mean I can't help you and your partner escape from this madness. So... I kind of figured this. We all knew each other at some point. And, like, the memory wiping thing just, like, happened. Thank you. Really. Thank you so much. I know you're taking an incredible risk for us, and honestly, most people would never. Don't mention it, Tane. It's what I do. If they manage to trace it back to me, then I'll accept whatever comes. It'd be my first time I helped somebody in quite some time. Scarlet. The boat is just past the woods behind the rocky enclave near the beach. It won't be there forever, so act quickly. It'd be suicide to go for it during the day, so I recommend heading there near midnight. Thank you, Scarlet. You sure don't want to come with us? Someone has to stay here and help the people that fall in the spider's web. You don't have to be so uh, noble. I envy you, you know, to get to leave this place with you. Base Scar- yeah, base Scarlet. <laughs> What someone needs to stay here to do what's right. Interesting. Huh. Huh. You gotta be kidding. My goodness, she really said that? Yeah. She was all like, Whoa, what the hell's that? A flash of white raced through the kitchen, sending the girls into a frenzy. What the hell's that? Coming through, sorry! You would practically bulldoze over the other girls in the kitchen. What's going on? I take it back. Bum Bum Bun is, is a bad boy. He just seems so well behaved, I thought I'd let him outside again and... Bun 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 effortlessly swerved past uh, Yui under Violet and leapt onto Allie. Wah! Wah! Wait, the the track from before? Running in the 90s? <laughs> no, not this one, eh? The one from before? Uh, Bum Bum some somehow made his way up her head and took her cap. Oh, oh, sh oh, she's got cute little buns. Hey, give that back. Bum Bum Bun seemed to sneer at Ali, then leapt away and ran off. Get back here. Okay, the buns make her cuter. <laughs> Ali started chasing Bum Bum Bun with all she had, but somehow he always stayed one step ahead of her. This looked like a job for me. I'm going to need a Venus flytrap and a few bottles of... Thank you for the follow. Hello. Bum Bum Bun leapt onto Scarlet. Uh, get it off. It is quite humorous. <laughs> it is quite humorous that a mere bunny has eluded you of all. Uh, for, wait for all this long. Think you can catch it? Why, of course. 
watch a master at Bun 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 leapt onto Violet's face. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, get this foul creature off of me. Bun 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 sneered with contempt. Wow, this bunny, someone do something. At that moment, I realized that Tara was recording Violet's struggle. I'm helping in just a second. Bun 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 left off, leapt off of Violet onto the kitchen floor and ran out. Give me my cat back. <laughs> oh, sorry. I had something stuck in my throat there. I do suppose uh, a nice rabbit stew is on for lunch today. Oh, Violet. Oh. You, you want to move Allie up in the same tier as Violet? I agree. Allie is growing on me. I guess I should help, too. You, uh, you up to help, Tane? I don't see why not. Time for round two. Now, quick, before he gets too far. I'm right behind you. We spent the rest of the morning trying to catch Bun Bun Bun, emphasizing on trying. That bunny is on something. I'm calling it now. Aw, take care. Brawler, have a good night. Good night, pleasant dreams. Good night, good night. <laughs> We finally managed to catch him by baiting him with some food. Violet reluctantly made, and even then, wait. And even then, he didn't make it easy. Wait, what? Oh, baited him with some food. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, oh. Oh, I scrolled too far. Oh! Wait. Wait, did I scroll past too far? I was trying to scroll past like the line before. Wait, what? Why does it flash the image with Allie? Well, I think we're on the phase three part. Well, I guess we're on the third date, so we're fine. Okay, let's go. Oh, she said to leave the best for last, right? Okay, whatever. I, mi I missed a line. Okay. Uh, something, something, the bunny, uh, just... I don't know. <laughs> the bu the bunny just uh, made the girls cower. I guess I don't know. Okay, so if we want to work our way from the bottom up, apparently, like we have to leave Ally for last to make it exciting, right? <sighs> I guess we'll, we'll, we're gonna get Yui over with. Final date with the best girl. There's an army of people out there waiting to take your place. Oh God. <laughs> Not planning on it, Kat. You didn't plan to lose your memories at the end of an insane TV show either, but look how that turned out. Life sure is funny. Yeah, she's not the best girl. Ugh. But having a life with Yui? You'd be the luckiest person alive. And I'm not saying that because I've got money on you picking her. You promise? Let's get those cameras rolling, people. I could see Yui from uh, my room's window walking around the front of the mansion. It looked like she was looking for something. Oh my gosh, she's probably looking for that stupid bunny again. <laughs> that cat is the best girl. <laughs> oh, I want to know more about her because it's like... I want to see what's going to happen at the end of this dating show. practically jumped down the stairs then ran outside to see her hey there tane what's the hurry you look like you're in quite the rush i just wanted to see you a little earlier gosh that's really sweet of you i i <laughs> i've been meaning to see you too uh i've just been doing a lot of thinking since you helped me get bun 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 
Ah, uh, how's the big B doing? How's the big D doing? <laughs> Got to think of it, that's why I came, I came out here. He ran out here in a hurry. I was trying to catch up. Though this has already helped a few a few times, and each time he somehow ends up back in my room. <laughs> we want to get this date over with. <laughs> I'm sure he's fine. I wouldn't be worried. I just can't help myself, you know? You're a real sweet, really sweet person, Yui. I love that about you. You are too, Tani. Do you have time today to hang out? There's something I'd like to do with you. Oh, of course I do for you. Even if even if it's a little boring? I'm <laughs> She know she knows. She knows she's boring. <laughs> Crunch is giving me a look. <laughs> I'm sure it can't be that boring if it's with you, you know? <laughs> Whatever it is, I'm down. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and so we walked together to the beach and started fishing side by side. Now, this is the life. Why would I want to go fishing when there's like a mansion with things to do? At least I got to... Oh, at least I got to go on like a sail, like sailing or like, I don't know, wind sailing with Ali. Oh my god. Why would I go fishing? I have to admit, this wasn't what I expected. This was by far the best way to pass the time out of the countryside. To be honest, I'm not much for crazy activities like skydiving or shopping trips. Why would you say skydiving and shopping trips like in the same sentence? Shopping trips aren't even that exciting. Yeah, apparently she Wow. Shopping trip. Wow, she gets so overwhelmed with a shopping trip. Okay, okay. Okay, girl, you do you. I'd rather just spend my days quietly with the person I love, talking from dusk till dawn. So... So you don't want to go buy groceries? <laughs> I mean... Yeah, she's... Oh, she's so vanilla. Just enjoying each other's company, you know? That's the best. Listen! Listen! I like enjoying company as well, but... You gotta... You gotta have some... Some spice! You gotta... You gotta do some fun things! Is... Is that okay with you? Of course it is, Yui. Getting the chance to learn about you, to try things with you, like... That's where the real fun is. I... Okay, here's the thing. Do people, like, like this kind of stuff? Because it's like, wow, I get to, like, take all of your first. Like, like that kind of thing. They're like, wow, you are so pure. She, she is dressed in white. She is so pure. I'm gonna wreck her! <laughs> you, you know? Like, is it, is it like, one of, one of those kind of things? <laughs> I'd also much prefer that doing crazy things all the time, too. Though I do think shopping trips are really in the same category. See? See? Even the main character knows. <laughs> they are when you live deep in the country. Hey, up for a little contest? Sure, let's do it. What is it? Want to see who can catch more fish? Hey! Don't overfish. Put them back in the water if you're not going to eat them. <laughs> you're on. Huh. Apparently, I have fanned the flames of Yui's competitive spirit. For the next few hours, we kept at it while we enjoyed each other's conversation and company. Oh, she's so boring. <laughs> Yui was a natural. She she was catching fish left and right. Each time she caught one, she let it back into the ocean. So, okay, good. Okay, at least she's a good girl doing that. And each time, I wondered when my first one would bite. I never ended up catching a single one. See, his face gets it. Pure girls in anime are only fun when they get mind broken and defi <laughs> defiled. See, it's true. 
you mind break them. I guess that's that's you know that's the fun you get from it. <laughs> but that didn't matter. What did was uh we were having a ball. Are we though? Thanks for indulging me, Tonic. Wow, you came to an island and a mansion and you wanted to fish? Okay, girl. Hey, I had a lot of fun too, Yui. Don't worry, but I did not have fun. <laughs> I did, I, no. <laughs> you dated someone like this once for a short time? Aw. They must have not have been fun then. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> when they, <laughs> let me break. <laughs> you don't have to lie. Oh, sh no, she knows. It's like, it's like she knows. She, she knows what I'm saying. <laughs> I- I know it's not- I know- Oh no! I hate that! <laughs> I know I'm not like the other girls- Ugh, girl. No, I- If I could like her let- I like her even less now. <laughs> I don't- I don't like that when people say like, Ugh, I'm not like the other girls. I- I'm not like how the other girls are. I'm- different <laughs> I I don't like that mentality <laughs> I grew up with nothing and and it shows how I spend my time what I wear everything I love you so much you know if I had you I'd give you all the love in my heart every moment every day so we can be boring every single day? No, 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 I don't want that. <laughs> I really would... I really would live for love. That's what I always wanted. But I know I could never give you all the things everyone else could. The money, the acclaim, the excitement. Yeah, this is... You're, you're not helping yourself, honey. <laughs> you're not, you're not helping yourself. <laughs> And I find myself worrying, what if you picked me and the second we leave this island? You realize that I can't give you the life you deserve and start you and wait, and you start to hate me. Oh, I just want this to end. I don't know what I do if if it come to that. So before it comes to that, I want to ask you, would you wait, would just me be enough? No. <laughs> I want to say no. <laughs> oh, I want to say no. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm saving. I'm saving it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Though I know how I feel, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to say this would be a terrible idea for ratings. Oh! <laughs> oh, the, oh, the game, the game's forcing me to say yes. Boo! <laughs> yeah, I agree, I agree. Boo! <laughs> After all, the more girls that are in the running, the higher the ratings are. Of course you'd be enough, Yui! Ah! Oh! I hate this. Yeah. Yeah, what are cho what are choices? I don't need to be in the spotlight. I don't need to oh. You don't have to be rich, but like being I you could just live a comfortable life. You could be Yoshikage Kira. <laughs> It just it just wants to live a a, a calm life. A kid a queen. <laughs> yes. I ju yeah, I just want to live a quiet life. <laughs> a comfortable quiet life. More than all that, I want you and just you. Can we keep her as a pet? Okay. 
This is our plan of action, everybody. We get off this island and we mind break her and we keep her as a pet in the basement. <laughs> and we mind break her. <laughs> Bites the dust. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll hypnotize her. Uh, I've waited so long to hear you say that. She pulled me close and kissed me. Oh no. Is she gonna get a little yandere? I love you so much. I always have and I always will. I'll always put our happiness first. I'll make you so happy every... Okay, girl. It's too much. It's too... It's... It's, um... What's... What's that... What's that feeling? Like... I'm feeling it's it's just it's too it's too much it's too much like oh, I'm gonna put your happiness first I'm gonna make you so happy every day I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to think of like the right word suffocation yeah 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 I'm I'm being suffocated I'm being suffocated like what with, with her love like I I don't I don't like that <laughs> it, it's too much it's too much yeah <laughs> i'm sorry yui here on out it's just gonna be me and you oh see even my character's line i uh, i just can't hold myself back anymore tani oh wait is she she pushed me on the warm sand of the beach and pressed herself against me okay she's being a little assertive okay Yui, she kissed me once more. Her hands wrapped around mine, pull, pulled her closer. But my heart isn't in it. <laughs> there we go. And just like that, that's my last date with Yui. Time sure goes by quickly. I thought I'd find you here. What's that? Why is that? You tend to come out here when you're lost in thought is all. You're thinking about how the show's almost over, am I right? How'd you know? Lucky guess. Well, it's not over yet, so don't just uh, don't let up just yet. Oh shoot! I should put Chad in the stream tags. <gasps> oh, I remember. I said I wanted to add evil care evil characters. Can I add that? Yes. There, I'm evil now. I keep forgetting to add evil characters to the stream tags. Yeah, we're going evil, baby. <laughs> I don't know if people look up like Twitch tags though, but you know, evil characters. <laughs> uh, it was all right. Not the way I wanted it to go. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I won't pry. I guess three dates wasn't enough to see if someone's marriage material after all. Who knew? Anyway, I'd ask <laughs> Yeah, I'm on, the I'm on that Sigma grind. I'm on that Sigma grind to find all these girls. <laughs> I'm thinking about choosing her at the end, but I'd rather wait to see how it plays out. Okay. You gonna stay out here for long? Nah, I'd probably go back inside soon. I'll keep you company till then. I figure I might want to have a conversation with somebody that won't get uh, killed if it's not TV related. Wait, TV worthy. Thanks, Cat. Don't mention it. You know, I'm curious, Cat. Curious, Cat. What's up? Wait, let's say I knew I was screwed and there was no way of me getting out of here alive. That the only way left for me to survive was just to run. Would you let me escape? Of course, Tane. No, <laughs> no, no, you wouldn't. I don't, I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Thanks, cat. That means a lot. That's no big deal. We stayed out for a little long longer before we called it a night. I'm lucky I have someone I could trust on my. Mm, I don't. Tr I don't trust her. I don't trust her at all. Uh oh. I can plug the podcast actually because I think in episode in episode nine we talked about uh, how many dates it would take to. Uh, how many dates it would take to basically get to know somebody, maybe want to, like, ask for marriage? 
uh i believe it was the end of episode nine on our podcast that we talked about it there we go i got i got i got i got to shill the podcast for you guys <laughs> <laughs> I slept like shit. <laughs> oh, me like almost every other night. <laughs> no surprise, considering how yesterday <laughs> went. I lay in bed for a while trying to conserve what energy I could for the day. Guess it's time to find Cat. Morning, Tane. You'll be happy to know your third date with you yesterday was pretty well received. Oh, well, okay, not the highest rated we had so far, but enough to give us more room to keep going. Sounds good. Uh, sounds good enough to me. For your next date, make sure to pick someone who you think the audience will respond well to. Uh, though at this point, I think you're a pretty good spot either way. Without further ado, which soulmate candidate is going to be? Uh, so I'm going to save it here because I think this is going to be our second last girl, but uh, I think we still get a chance with the last girl. So we're going to leave Allie for last because I was kind of I wanted to I wanted to like Tara because she's like, haha, teehee gamer girl, but I'm, I'm not feeling it with Tara. But she's better than Yui. <laughs> Tara. If I knew you were going to uh, spend all your dates with Tara indoors, <laughs> we would have just booked the mansion. But sometimes the best things in life uh, aren't the most expensive ones. Who knew? Yeah, Ali was like, good story, good story. Oh, interesting proxy. That's interesting. Whoa, just kidding. You ever uh, seen a depressed person who owns an, owns an island? Go get her, tiger. Oh. Okay. I found Tara sleeping on the sofa in the games room. She looks so peaceful. Maybe I'll come back later. Zombies are everywhere. Uh -huh. She bolted up suddenly. You okay? Whoa. You okay, Tara? Oh, it was just a dream. <laughs> I'm good now. No worries. Seems like uh, it was a pretty crazy dream. No kidding. I dreamed that we all got turned into zombies. Wow. It's like... It's like that happened with the first run of this game. Hmm. Before our memories were wiped. Luckily, there is no way that could ever happen. Did you go to bed late? Hell yeah. I spent all night working on the game. And I finished too. Oh, thank you for asking. Yeah, I had a really fun birthday. I got to eat some great cake. Really, really fun. I'm happy. Like, we, oh, I had such a fun time during, like, the subathon on, like, Sunday going into the Monday. It was a great time. I'm just so, ha so happy. I'm happy I got to spend time with friends. Got to spend time with you guys, too. It was great. <laughs> Care to join me in testing it out? I uh, added some new features I'd like to try. Sure, I'd love to. It looked like the same game I played before. What am I looking for? You'll see. I started up the game. Moments later, I saw Tara's avatar run up to me. You've made it just in time. The new event is about to start. Oh no, is she gonna force me to help her do her dailies? <laughs> That's when uh, you really love somebody. You will do their dailies for them. <laughs> What's the new event? As if on cue, giant robotic pigeons flew from the sky and started to attack our avatars. Ugh. Right for my life. Run for my life. A fight. I'm going to fight these pigeons. I ran towards the pigeons preparing to fight uh, for a lifetime. Don't worry. I gotcha. Tara pulled out a giant can of pigeon repellent and started blasting away. Whoa, I think something's bugged. It's not working at all. <laughs> Guess I gotta fix that. Hee <laughs> hee. While Tara was laughing at her own mistake, I was being lifted into the sky by pigeons. I, uh, I think I'm screwed. Where are these pigeons taking me? I tried to move my avatar, but there was no way I could resist the death grip of the robo pigeon. Don't worry, they're about to fly into the territory of the maple syrup dragon. What? 
As a Canadian, maple syrup dragon? That sounds metal. <laughs> huh. The, the what? Uh-oh. The screen lit up with a blast of flying maple syrup. I never thought I'd say anything like that, but here we are. The maple syrup slammed into the pigeons and forcefully struck their wings together. Forcefully stuck their wings together. As a consequence, they started to they started to fall to the ground at breakneck speed. Ah! Save me! I haven't saved. Wait, save me! I haven't saved yet. Oh, I knew I forgot something. I forgot to add the ability to save. I'll have to write that down. Oh my god! As Tara looked down, I repeatedly fell to my doom. I'm happy for you. But if you could just for a minute... Pigeon punch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my avatar smacked into the ground. Pigeon first and instantly died on impact. Oh man, I had so much stuff. Is there at least a respawn mechanic? I've never died before in this game. Of course. Just hit the retry button. I pressed the button and watched the world around me reset. The village... Sounds the uh, giant beast of death. Except now the village seemed ten times bigger than before. Wait, when did the village get so big? And then it dawned on me. Wait, it's not the village that got big. I got small! <laughs> oh boy. I took a more careful look at my avatar. I was a pigeon again. I sighed deeply. At the same time, Tara was giggling like a child. Oh my gosh. We spent a few more hours testing out the rest of the game's new features. Thankfully, there was no more pigeon pigeon Easter eggs. There's uh, one thing I want to test out if that's okay. Will it end with me getting turned into a pigeon? No, 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 no. Hey there! Hey there, size 7 Hello, I hope you're doing well. Just come with me. I followed her avatar in the cabin we shared in the woods. The cabin in the woods? Mmm. Mmm. Then we got there. She turned around, walked up to me, and held out an item I've never seen before. Oh, is she gonna give me an in-game ring? She walked up to me and gave me an item called Ring of Ring of Your Cool. You're pretty cool. Wow, you're pretty cool, bruh. What's this? Uh, let me try to explain. I came into the show with no idea how it was about. Wait, oh sorry. Uh, no idea of what it was about. Personally, I thought it was stupid at first, but hanging out with you has been so much fun. I've <laughs> I've never really got to work on my hobbies with anyone till I met you. Well, you're pretty poggers. <laughs> Honestly, I've never had some someone to share all my crazy shit with, but you, you're different. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, you're pretty poggers. <laughs> you're pretty cool. I hope you can. I hope we can keep doing this even after the show is over. Yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to, Tara. You don't even have to ask. I got to say, you caught me off guard with this. Why is that? You giving me this ring to me? Uh, well, it could be a little misleading. <laughs> Minecraft boyfriend, uh, can we sleep in the same Minecraft bed? <laughs> You're not making any sense. Chilling after work. <gasps> Leveling your boat, girls. Whoa. That's not, that sounds nice. We laughed together, then walked back uh, to the mansion with a spring, a spring in our step. We played the d day away without a care in the world. Well, that's enough gaming for today. You up for a movie date? Sure, what do you want to watch? It's a Hitchcock film. I've always wanted to see it. What's it called? The Birds. Ah! Oh! I knew it. I felt a blood vessel pop in my head. <laughs> in my head pop. I I read the short story, The Birds, and I, I've watched the... What was it? I watched the movie in high school, I remember. This woman is bad for my heart. But she never fails to put a smile on my face. 
very cool. <laughs> Crunch was just saying like I'm I'm like I'm reading the the narrative basically and it's like oh a very touching sentiment and then, and then I'm like very cool. <laughs> After my day with Tara, I waited outside till time um, I'd expect to see Kat, but she never showed up. I guess she already had enough footage for today. Might as well try to find her. No one's here. It looks like uh, the snacks from before are gone too. Not here either. Ah. Kat was at a table writing something down at a frantic pace with one hand against her head. Big Daddy Scrimp gifted a tier one sub to Akami. Oh, they have given hey there. <gasps> gift subs in the channel. Big Daddy, thank you for gifting a demonic contract to Akami. Oh, thank you, Big Daddy. <laughs> Akami, cute snake. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're you're doing well, having a good time. <laughs> I have, I have a feeling she's the girl that we were supposed to escape with. That's my theory. So I, I guess we're going to see everyone. I, I have a feeling she's going to be the girl, you know? Place your bets. <laughs> hey, Kat, what's up? <gasps> oh, hey, Tane. I didn't see you there. How are you doing? That depends on what you're ominously writing. You look like uh, someone who just realized I was dead meat. Oh, this? Don't worry about it. Somebody's dead meat, but that- but it's not you! <laughs> yeah, yeah? I'm just kidding. I'm just fixing up some of the balance sheets two, 2 was working on. Being an accountant was really never in the cards for them, despite what they say. Sit down. I'll be stuck here for a while anyway. Sure, sounds good. I sat next to Kat at the table. So how did today's date with Tara go? Uh, I'd say awesome. It was nice. We didn't do anything crazy, but it didn't have to be. I could tell it was cute watching you guys. Though, to be honest, I wish your relationship would move along a little faster. This show's not getting any longer, you know. I think she's cute. I, I like... I like this. She, uh, she has exposed armpit and you know like she has the she has the boob line going i i like the see-through material you know and she has she has her midriff showing and she has like the hip like right here you know you know <laughs> I feel like uh, you two would make a pretty good team in the long run. Anyway, you've done great till now. I don't know if uh, what you said to each other, wait, to each of the girls, but don't stop now. You just have to get through one more day and you'll be able to finally leave this place. And you'll tell me what my old life was like? Of course. Of, co of course. I mean, if I didn't, where would I, where would you even go? Fair point. You look like you've got something on your mind. Uh, I'm just thinking about tomorrow. You've been getting the best ratings I've ever seen. I just hope it's enough. The ratings requirements for the last date and the last day are the highest. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Don't worry. I've made it this far. Nothing's going to stop me from making it to the end. Psh, apparently it stopped me because they wiped my mind last gameplay. <laughs> uh, I hope for your sake, Tane. So, when I'm out of here, what are you going to do? Are you going to move to the next killer dating show? I didn't know you... Wait, I didn't know you were my career coach. You want to know my five-year plan, too? <laughs> so, what are your plans in five years? I get the feeling that five years from now, you'd rather not be here. There is no plan. I'm just taking it one day at a time. That's really all anyone can do in the crazy world. 
Anyway, I got to get back to work. Good luck, Tane. You'll need it. Thanks, Kat. I'll see you later. Night. Tomorrow's going to be the last date. I'll need all the rest I can get. Yes, I'll call it a night. Are we going to have like any flashbacks or anything? Any weird dreams? The performance is coming to a close. The actors and actresses come out one by one, ready to take their bows. I would clap, but I'm waiting for you and only you. I woke up uh, on the floor of the games room. Tara was sleeping on the sofa with one hand. Oh, and one hand. Wait. Oh, okay. So Tara's in our room now. She's not in our bed, but she's on the sofa. Hmm. Hmm. We had spent all night playing games and watching movies like it was our own little sleepover. Pigeon zombies everywhere! Ah! And then she was up. Let's hope this insane show never gets to the point where Tara's dreams make sense. Oh man, my head's pounding, but... I've got no regrets. Me neither. We've got to do this again sometime soon, Tana. Yeah, we got married in game, so I guess, you know... That's a pretty big commitment. You bet. Is it time for you to go on a date with somebody else now? Yeah, that's just how it is. That's just how it is, babe. <laughs> that's just how it is, babe. I'm I'm mega Chad. <laughs> it's uh I'm uh, I'm on that Sigma grind, you know. <laughs> yeah. All, all right, have fun, honey. <laughs> Save some time for gaming with me later, okay? I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll push, I'll push your buttons. <laughs> Sing with these nuts, oh my god. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Awesome. <laughs> okay, let's see. You're running out of time, Kit Kat. It's going fine, just watch. Good morning, Kat. Morning, Tane, how'd you sleep? Pretty well, thanks. You bet you did. That bed is worth more than your life. Aww. Aww, Sag. Ah, that reminds me. Why can't the staff have some... The same kind of bed as Tane has? Do I look like I'm made of money? Uh, you look like you're made of... Something. <laughs> you literally own this island. If I give the staff beds, the next thing they'd ask for is minimum wage. No thanks. <gasps> Damien's the 1%! Get him! Get him, chat! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Fuck you, Damien! <laughs> he walked away. So how about that five-year plan, huh? Maybe the brothers were onto something with the whole accounting thing. <clears throat> Shion! Shion, good to see you! I hope you had a good stream! Hello! Hello, hello! Raiders! Hello, Raiders. How are you? How are you? We're playing a dating sim. We're playing a dating sim called uh, Find Love or Die Trying. Oh, you're playing some Apex. Nice. I... I feel like I need to let, I need to get on like the Apex like I need to get on like the Apex stuff. I need I need to have an Apex coach. <laughs> oh, you were having some you were having a drinky? I'm having a drinky too. Let's all let's all drink. <laughs> hello, if you're new to my channel, hello. My name is Tane. I am a Succubus VTuber. I'm an artist. I play games and do ASMR. ASMR. Welcome, welcome. Name the day and I'll- Oh, yes! I- I think some people know this. I've only played Apex, like, I think it was... Not day one, but it was, like, on launch. And I played it with some friends and I was like, Holy shit, this game is fast-paced. <laughs> it's fast-paced. <laughs> oh, nice. I am drinking vodka and milkus. 
<laughs> maybe the brothers were uh, onto something. So this whole account, wait, this whole account thing. Maybe it's time for your last date with your. Oh, last soulmate, last soulmate time, everyone. This is last, last girl. We get to uh, have our last date with Ali. You ready? It's time to make her. Oh, make her break. Oh my god, I, I thought she almost said mind break. I'm, re <laughs> I'm ready as I'll ever be, cat. Then, without further ado, lights, camera, don't get yourself killed. Oh boy, here we go, everyone. I found Allie by the beach, or more accurately, she came running to me. You are not going to believe this, Tane. What is, what's that? Oh, it's the announcement thing. All right, who took my keys? You got 10 seconds before I take it out of force paycheck. Oh, come on. Uh, well, we'll walk and talk. Come on. Well, less walk and maybe more run like hell. Four is not going to be happy when he finds out that I... <gasps> oh, whatever. Come on, let's go. She grabbed my hand and pulled me with uh, her into the forest. Clearing nearby. Forest clearing nearby. What's going on? You're not going to believe what I just found. What's that? Well, I was wondering how to top the previous dates when I stumbled upon. <gasps> wait, wait a minute. It's better if I surprise you. I'm going to have... Yeah, wait, I'm going to have to close my eyes, right? I love how fast you learn things, Tane. She was singing as she covered my eyes with one hand and pulled me along with the other. She pulled me along step by step. I couldn't say I, was enjoy I wasn't enjoying it. Is this a staircase? It feels like metal beneath me. In the middle of a forest? Just a bit more now. All right. You can open your eyes now. Oh, how on earth? We were inside a small plane, a very the very same one I've been rudely awakened in my first day here. How did you even... It was just sitting in the forest, so I thought, why not? Why is the plane in the forest? Isn't a plane supposed to land in a clearing? Like a clear area? Why is it in a... F what? What? Okay. I have so many... I have so many questions. I have so many questions. I have so many questions. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you planning on... Without even bothering to answer me, Ellie... Ra no! She is not planning to fly this plane. Oh, crap. Here, here's to hoping that it... Uh, wait, this gets... Wait, this goes better than the rollerblades? Yeah, the forest. I wonder what this big red button does. Oh, God, get me out of here. I ran to the door, but it was already shut tight. And away we go. No, Allie, please. Allie, please. The engine of the plane roared as we took off. I slammed into the side of the door. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Come on, be honest. You were thinking the same thing. Put a wait, you put a big juicy red button here completely unattended and you expect a good citizen like me not to press it? You're bonkers. You've got a point, but do you have any idea how to fly this thing? Wait a minute. If you're talking to me here, who's flying the plane? Technically nobody, but crash. Oh. The right wing of the plane smashed into a tree. We hit it hard enough for it to be slightly... Allie, please. I slammed into the wall yet again. Well, we didn't need that wing anyway. We still have the other one. Exactly like kidneys. Forget killer dating death shows. Forget Damien and Kat. Allie was going to be the death of me. I tried to run into the cockpit, but it was all I could do to stay upward as the plane teetered back and forth. I'm just kidding. I've got this. 
<laughs> you say you got this, and yet the wing is not on the plane anymore. Ellie ran to the cockpit, cockpit without uh, breaking a sweat. Meanwhile, I did my best impression of a ball in a pinwheel machine. All right, I got this. The plane seemed to stabilize in a matter of seconds. Oh, thank God. I really thought we were going to crash. Oops. Once again, the right wing of the plane smashed into a tree. Somehow it, it bent back into its original shape. Not so bad if I do say so myself. All right, that was dumb luck, and, y and you know it. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. We started gaining altitude slowly at first, and faster and faster and higher and higher. Before long, we were soaring high above the trees. Ali yelled out in triumph. Wow! Wait, woo! I joined in and yelled out with glee. It's a perfect grit. It's a perfectly great feeling, huh? Not dying in a fiery plane crash? Flying free without it? What's the point of living? Yeah, she, yeah. Uh, she can kind of fly a plane. Kinda. Talking about freedom or flying? Ah, uh, why not both? That said, there's another reason I flew us up here. What's that, Allie? This is the only place I can find out the island wasn't bugged. No one can eavesdrop on it. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. No one can- Oh. Wait, aren't we supposed to be filmed here? And sorry for the turbulence, but without it, they might have heard me disable the bugs uh, in here. Believe me, I looked for a safe place as hard as I could. That's why I got the rollerblades and the boats earlier to find a safe place to talk as fast as possible. I'm guessing you you know what the show is really about then. Unfortunately, she's she. Oh, I wonder if it's random. If like whatever the last girl you choose is like that they know or something. I wonder. Unfortunately, yeah, what a bummer. <laughs> Gonna join the Mile High Club. <laughs> what a bummer, am I right? Unfortunately, I don't think you do. Wait. Wait, you do. And I can't risk telling you everything either. What? Why? Believe me, you're better off not knowing. What? Allie, what are you hiding? Who are you really? Look, we don't have too much time before we have to land. This thing's already almost out of fuel. Wait, what the heck? It's almost out of fuel. What the hell? Sure enough, we already started descending. Please, just trust me. I'm on your side, Tane. I know there's so many lies going around here, but I really want to help you get out of here. Uh huh. Though I have to admit, it wasn't on my to-do list at first. It's a good thing you're so cute. Uh huh. Okay, I'm saving this just to... I'm kidding, jeez. Do you trust me? <laughs> I'm asking. Do you trust me? I can show you the world Shining, shimmering, splendid Tell me, princess, now when have you Last let your heart decide I can open your eyes <laughs> Take you wonder by wonder Show you sideways and under on a magic carpet ride a whole new world. Do you trust me? Yes. Of course I do, Ali. You know that. You won't regret it, promise. So what can you tell me? There's no time. Long story short, there's something on this island that I need to find that the people I work with need. Wait, no, I have I haven't seen a spoof of that. No, DMC. Uh, as long as there's no background music, I think. Yeah, I I don't think. I, uh, yeah, no 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 Disney background music. I think we're okay. Just just acapella. <laughs> but for countless, uh, it's life or death, not just for you or me, but for countless others. <laughs> Oh no, I I kind of I kind of figured you were joking. 
it's like their version of the song oh i will have to find find check it out i came here to save uh wait i came here to save you all and i won't give up until i wait is she like a secret agent or something i wonder if like depending on the last girl that you have or something is like a secret agent i wonder though at this point i've done all that i can it's in his hands now who's no time to talk we're almost back uh in range of the island's recording network no matter what don't tell anybody what happened here not even a little bit not even if you uh think you can trust them are we clear crystal the plane flew lower and lower all right we're about to be back in the recording zone what else what else uh don't do anything i wouldn't do what really doesn't limit it wait that really doesn't limit it much i guess not after we landed cat scolded us for taking the plane cat and ellie seemed to uh exchange more than a few uneasy glances as we got off the plane as we were walking away her cat whispered something to ellie nice try uh oh uh, uh oh uh oh and then i saw something i'd never seen before and would never see again the sky rapidly turned from bright blue to black as if we were water being drowned in the darkest ink then the bright sun in the sky went out like a candle in the wind even though I knew I was out, I was standing outside, I couldn't even see my hands in front of my face. Then I felt someone grab me from behind. No, not somebody. There must be several people. They forced me to the ground and cuffed me behind my back. I screamed, but there was no sound. I tried to fight, but there was no way out. I screamed at Allie for her to run as far as she could. But I heard no response. Then nothing. Ah, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> here we go again, everyone. Are they going to wipe our memories? I guess we'll see. Ah, we are back with the fleshy tanks. I woke up in an operating table. The kind you see in a nightmare. <laughs> Men in black enter the chat. <laughs> my first instinct was to get up and get off of it as fast as possible, but my neck, hands, and legs were cuffed and pinned down to thick metal braces. So you think you could escape, Mr. Bond? <laughs> I tried to force myself out uh, with all my strength, but the braces didn't so much as budge. Morning, Tane. What's going on, cat? Get me out of here. Get me out of here. I'm afraid I can't do that. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't do that. <laughs> and honestly, I'm getting tired of explaining why. Let's just speed this along, shall we? What, what, what are you talking about? She placed some kind of helmet on my head. I tried to avoid it, but the braces around my neck made it impossible to maneuver. Please, cat, don't do this. I could hear the hum of a massive generator turning on behind me. She raised her hand, revealing a trigger switch with a single red button. See? Oh, wait. Ah, blah, blah. See you soon, Tane. She pressed it. The curtains closed. You're taking a bow. Or wait, wait, you're taking your bow. And when you lift your head, I can see you clearly for the first time. It's you. <laughs> exactly. Exactly, Big Daddy. That's what I was thinking of. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. How? How? What are you doing? <laughs> the, uh, the one I've been waiting all this time to see. The one who made my, me dream of a life together far from this island. You've been right by me all this time. Tomorrow's the day, Tane. You nervous? 
Who wouldn't be? You've got a point. She reached for my hand and held it tightly. You okay? You sure we should uh, be doing this? Wait, what? Wait, what? I... Uh... I don't want you to be punished uh, just because I want to get out of here. It was her. It was her. She was the- SHE WAS THE ONE! I kind of figured that was gonna happen. Hey, cat. Hmm. We've always been a team, you and me. <laughs> no matter what, we're in this together. Thanks, Tane. Hmm. How did things come to this? The escape failed. I've been surrounded, beaten, shot, betrayed. The love of my life? She shot me. <laughs> she shot me! <laughs> I'm bleeding out rapidly. I try my best to slow the ble bleeding, but it's no use. What did you do to her? I choked out every last... Oh, I guess it would be like, what? what did you do to her? I didn't do anything. I didn't have to. Wait. I don't think that would... That that wouldn't work there. Too. I didn't have to. T-O. You were too busy uh, making hard eyes at Cat um, here to see where her true loyalties lie. Ah. Yeah, not the, not the right two. <laughs> Sen sensei critiquing um typos or whatnot man i kind of figured this was gonna happen i'm sorry tane but it's true i i i don't understand no she betrayed us the hot one betrayed us no oh why don't you tell them, dear? Damien is my father. Oh, eh! <laughs> no! <laughs> Damien is my father. Uh... <laughs> I knew you were planning something the moment you came to this island. But you didn't trust me enough to tell me what exactly it was. So I became close to you and told you just what you wanted to hear. <gasps> huh? And then you told me everything I needed to know. As soon as you told me your plan, there was no way you were ever going to escape from this island. Why are you saying this? No, that's my girl. You really are my... No, oh, oh. <laughs> that, that hoe. <laughs> No, that's my girl. You really are my daughter. Why? Why? I love that look on your face, Tony. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know... <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> you know, you got an expression that would be perfect for my next show. And it just so happens we got an opening for you. It's no use. I lost too much blood. The world turned dark. This... This is the end. Keep them alive. Tane. You might think I'm showing you mercy, but believe me, by the end of this, you're going to wish that I just let Kat kill you. Why? Why, Kat? Why would you? I barely have time to breathe before the wave pulls me under once more. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh! Is something gonna fail here? We're at, we're at the climax, everyone. This is, this, I, I think this is the end of the game, like, approaching. What, where am I? I'm, 
I'm underwater? It's so dark and cold. I try to move, but I'm so tired. It takes all my strength to reach my my hand out forward. It feels like gla it feels like glass. I'm trapped in some kind of tank. I I I want to sleep. Just for a Is, so is someone there? I can feel someone's presence. I open my eyes and I can see. Hang on just a little longer, Tane. Allie! Who, who are you? The woman in front of me looked at me with pity. I... Hit the, <laughs> hit the glass! <laughs> Say something. I try to speak, but it's no use. My mouth won't speak the words I want them to. You're, you're awake. I'm so glad, but... You're gonna wish you were asleep for this next bit, trust me, and... Sorry in advance. She moved towards some kind of terminal next to my tank and pressed a button. As if on cue, it was as if every nerve in my body was set on fire. I screamed and thrashed around, but it did nothing to alleviate the pain. Oh boy. Oh, will you look at that? Looks like our little heroes got some life left in them. You know, Tane, you're in luck. Usually I'd just kill you for this, but a new opportunity's just opened up, I think. And I think you'd be the perfect fit. I'm so sorry, Tane. I'm sorry, but it's true. I, I don't understand. Why don't you tell... Why don't you tell them, dear? Damien is my father. Always the hero, aren't you, Tane? You should be more worried about yourself. You knew the rules. If you tried to escape the island, you die! <laughs> you die. It didn't have to be like this. But you... I'm done talking. Goodbye, Tane. Bam. Hold on just a little longer. Tane. She looked away from me as if she heard something. What? I couldn't tell. Shit, they're almost here. We're running out of time. I'm sorry, Tane. I won't be able to get you back all your memories. But this will have to be enough. She pressed another button on the terminal. I've got to run back to my tank. I got to run back to my tank or they'll know something's up. <laughs> wow. Good job, Allie. She pressed her hand against the glass. Hold on just a little longer, okay? I'll get us out of here. The pain. It stopped. I... The world turned dark. Huh? I've been here before. I'm Tane. I'm Succubus VTuber. <laughs> yeah, I'm Tane. What what up what up, Tane? I'm on some kind of dating show. Find love or die trying. Allie, she helped me. I've got to find her. <laughs> I'm a VTuber and they will regret this. I want a shirt that says that. <laughs> well, I want I want a shirt of, of that meme. <laughs> Allie, she she helped me. I, I got to find her. I you're up early. Most people around here usually need a little more time to, uh, wait, a little more to wake them up. Cat. I, I remember now. I tried to escape this island with her. She pretended to be my lover. She betrayed me and shot me too. She's the reason I'm trapped here. Kiss. <laughs> it's only fragments I can remember, but I remember enough to know that she's bad news. We've done this song and dance. Over and over, more times than I can count by now. 
I've been in love with and chosen Allie, Scarlet, Tara, Violet, and Yui. Each of them countless times. <gasps> okay, but... But here's the thing, like, they're memory wiping the girls too, right? Is there even an audience? Like... Like... I... I... It doesn't really make sense. <laughs> don't... Don't worry about it? Okay. <laughs> it's... Like, it's an endless dating show, but who's watching it? Unless if it... Unless... Oh no, unless if the entertainment is just them falling in love again and again and again oh oh boy the the audience is also being memory oh my god meta <laughs> am i a bad person come to think of it i can't remember what happened before the show started either i need to find ally but first the problem at hand if i want to get out of here i can't let cat know that i remember what's happened before Sorry, who are you? I got- I gotta play dumb! We got- we gotta be- we gotta be dumb Chad now! <laughs> Sorry, who are you? Will she buy it? Walk with me. Gotta be- oh! Okay, there we go, we gotta be himbo, there we go. Himbo time! Walk with me. There's a lot to get you up to speed on. The name's Kat. I'm a producer for a new show called Find Love or Die Trying. And what's your name? I... I don't remember. Yeah, let's... let's... let's do this dance again. <laughs> Looks like it's time to be... uh... Okay, learn about the Killer Jane show rules, meet the girls, yeah. You, I don't, I don't remember meeting you before this show, but I'm glad I got to meet you again. It's impossible not to feel happier when I see your smile. Uh, you think that the staff would have learned to cook better by now. There's so much more to you than you show the world, Violet. Scarlet, you're still hiding that you're reading that magazine with another book. It brings a smile to my face every time. Oh, God. It just makes me sad because it's like, how long have they been doing this like to them? I think I know what happened to you now. You're st you still have no idea what you got into, Tara. Killer dating show or not. I'd love to see the way you see the world. And finally, Allie. You never gave up on getting us out of here, even after all this time. Howdy, Tane. I hear you're the suitor. Care to join me for a jog? There's a place in the forest I'd love to go for a run with you. It'd be my pleasure. We went for a jog, exchanging banter like we always done when we met each other. The second we got to the unrecorded area of the forest, her smile faded. I'm glad you got the hint, Tane. <laughs> you haven't given yourself away to anyone, right? No, I haven't. As far as Kat knows, I don't remember anything as usual. Sweet. I knew I was right to help you first. Really, thank you so much. I can't thank you enough. I've got to ask, how do you... How did you escape the tank in the first place? Honestly, I got lucky. Usually the tank knocks me out right away, but that last time, I think something must have bugged out. I saw my chance and took it. Anything's better than being stuck here forever. I I'm sorry I couldn't get all your memories back. Don't worry about it, Allie. All I could ask for is a fighting chance and you gave me... Uh, you gave that to me. Don't... Don't mention it. I mean, duh... I'm hands down the MVP. You are the MVP, Ali. <laughs> Ali MVP. <laughs> MVP. Thank you for the follow. Hello, hello. Anyways, it's about time that I tell you the truth, Tane. I'm from the Resistance. Whoa. <laughs> You can think of us as a covert group of concerned citizens who have a few bones to pick with the world's current management. <laughs> and those bones are their necks. Joking aside, we are fighting a war here. <laughs> Resist these nuts! <laughs> 
that war will be won with information information that lives on in this island and only here there was no way that we could ever find this place not by conventional means but then we found out about the show and so they sent you here actually i volunteered believe me the others didn't want me to but i knew i had to i was the one uh with the least to lose Ellie. it was pretty easy getting in and things considered all i had to do was write a report that labeled me as suspicious of conspiring against the government took a few cute selfies and boom i was flown here <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Don't go uh too wait, didn't go too great since then though. But that was when I was a lone wolf. I've got you now. And we'll get out of here together. Sound good to you? Sounds like a plan. I have even I haven't even told you the plan yet. But since you're so excited, let's get to it. There's two things we need to do. One, we need to bring the other girls' memories back. We won't be able to get their trust or work with them till we do. And we'll need to help. Uh, we'll, we'll need their help for part two. And what's that? Two, we need to get the fuck out of here. Sounds about right. Easier said than done, though. It's going to take a hell of a lot of setup and coordination. There's a small army of armed and trained staff tasked with keeping us here. Not a wait, not to mention us needing a way to find off the island. I'll figure it out uh, as we go. But for now, how about you go on a date with Scarlet today? I can do that. But how does that relate to us getting out of here? I tell you, if I thought uh, you could be a better actor, believe me, you'll know why later. Anyway. Let's head back to the mansion. We don't want Kat to start looking for us. Sounds good to me. You're really something, you know? That's putting it lightly. I wonder if it, if that's like, you know, locked to the story or if it's the last girl that you just decide to date that like gets you out. I don't, I don't know. There you are. Sorry, I got carried away exploring the island. I've got to be careful around Kat. I know exactly what she's capable of firsthand. Is that so? Well, it's no harm, but you'll have a whole week to explore, you know? You'll get one date with each of the girls for the first five days. A little something special for day six. And then the final ceremony where you propose to one of the girls. That sounds like the perfect amount of time to figure out if we're meant to be together. You'd be surprised. Anyway, let's get the show on the road. Who do you want to spend uh, today's date with? Scarlet, there's just something about her, you know? I found Scarlet inside the library. The place I'd most often meet her for the first time. She always looked so happy when she was reading. It did... Wait, it did the heart good to try to get, uh, make her smile in the same way when I talked to her. We became fast friends again. The similarities of our situations might have played a part in that. Still, I'm not sure why Allie insisted in me going on a date with Scarlet today. Sure, getting her memories back will be a huge win, but... Yeah, there's sure there's sure something about Scarlet, huh? Everyone, there, there's, there's, so, there's something about her. <laughs> <laughs> hey scarlet tane i'm glad you're safe things are going crazy out there what's happening i know it sounds crazy but there's a horde of zombies outside the brothers five and a lot of behind the scenes help went crazy and scarlet you did this didn't you what what i've been here the whole time with tane i couldn't have i've never heard of anything like this wait what Wait. I can vouch for her. We've both been here since our date started. Well, either way, I bet uh, you can create a cure for it, no? I mean, I probably could, but I need my equipment. I'm not sure why, but I can't find it anywhere. 
Follow me. You can use our lab. Hmm. We followed Kat to the games room. Kat put her ha hand against the wall of the games room, revealing a hidden trap door. She walked in and beckoned us to follow. We walked down spiraling stairs for who knows how long. I lost track more than a few minutes, a few times. I remember this place. You should have everything you need uh, in this room to make a cure. Just don't go snooping around. The lab belongs to R&D and we could get in trouble if you do. Actually, this place doesn't have everything I need. What else do you need? To build a cure, I'm going to need samples of whatever this is. I need a live specimen. I'm sure you can help with that, Tane. I've got uh, some editing that needs my attention. You got this. And just like that, she was gone. If it makes you feel better, I can help you catch somebody. Wait, I'll help you catch somebody. You sure? If you're the only one who can make the cure, then it might be better uh, for you to stay back. No thanks. There's no way I'm letting you out there alone. I don't want you to think I'm worried, but I've just got this feeling that I'd be pretty good at collecting unwilling zombie specimen. That is weird, but in in this case, she's absolutely correct. <laughs> what do you need these nuts? <laughs> oh, take care, Shion. Have a have a good night. Have a good sleep. Get some good rest, Shion. Thank you for the raid. Take care, Shion. <laughs> take care. Some memories must be intact, e uh, even if they're kept below the surface. Well, let's get on with this. We went back up to the surface. Everywhere we looked was outrun by zombies. We wouldn't stand a chance against a group, so we spend the day trying to split them up, as well as searching for lone wolves. It turns into Project Zomboid. Brains, banana. We're in luck, we finally got an isolated sample. How are we supposed to bring him in though? Thank you for the follow. Hello. One bite and we're finished. I got just the thing. Scarlet pulled out a pair of brass knuckles. Where'd you even get that? Is that really important right now? You mind looking the other way for a second? It's embarrassing. Sure, sure, Scarlet. I turned around. Brains, bananas. <laughs> I hope your health insurance covers this. Blech, once more. Oh, well, the, the zombie thing happened before. So this must be like the the third time they turned into zombies or something. One more. Once more with feeling. <laughs> Are we the bad guys? We drag them back to the mansion, paying close attention to not uh, run into any more of the zombies running amok. Scarlet opened the hidden trap door in the room, and I pulled Four's unconscious body in. Oof. My hand slipped, causing Four's body to tumble down the stairs. Bonk, bonk, bonk. He just kept going and going. I know, I know. I'll get him. Better get him quick, or we're gonna have to, we're, we're we're not gonna have a live specimen. Luckily, I managed to catch him pretty quickly. We put him on the operating table for Scarlet to analyze. Oh God! Interesting. What's up, Scarlet? This virus. It's pretty clear that it's man-made. <laughs> Even more interesting. It. It is. It looks like it's something that I would make. Uh, not that I ever made zombie viruses, Tane. Ha 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 ha. Yes, you have. It's kind of cute how you try to hide it. Oh my god, girl, you're so precious when you make viruses. <laughs> Hit it from the back end. Uh, uh cure this virus. <laughs> Girl, I lose myself in those vi vials. <laughs> I don't know. Cat, you there? 
Weird, I thought Cat was supposed to be able to hear us from anywhere on the island. Maybe there's no microphone all the way down here. Ah, thank you for the stretch. Ah! I was going to tell you that we've got the cure now. Great. Wait, great work, Scarlet. You bet I did. We administered the cure for four, then went back uh, upstairs together. Cat, you there? What's up, Scarlet? I've been waiting hours for you guys. You two done yet? We've got the cure now. We'll need uh, your people to help administer it. We'll be right on it to lay low for now. We're coming to get you. In the meantime, Tane, how about you tell me about yourself? I like that little, like, licky face she's doing. She's like, nyum, malum, nyum. <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. With Kat's help, we managed to quell the zombie plague with just enough time left in the day for a lovely dinner with Scarlet. Oh, curing zombies is, uh, you know, works up an appetite. After that, I went for a night walk with Allie to somewhere safe from prying eyes. You should buy, um, a- wait, you should buy a girl dinner first before you murder her in the woods, you know? I think I found a way to bring the other girl's memories back. You found their lab, didn't you? Pretty much. Sweet, I wasn't sure how to get back there after they shipped us out of here- uh, after they- after they shipped us out of there. So that's a huge win. So, where is it? There's a secret trap door in the game's room. You just have to press a hidden panel in the wall. That said, how are we supposed to get it without being seen? There's cameras everywhere and Scarlet and I were only allowed to enter because of the whole pandemic. Don't you worry about that? Don't you worry about that. I got an inside man. Forbes, Forbes is going to help us override a few cameras and microphones in the mansion with old recordings. Four? That way, we can get in and stay inside long enough to get their memories back without raising any, uh, sort of fuss. The brother that we KO'd today down the stairs? What's that look for? I'm surprised he's still standing after today, to be honest. I wouldn't work with people who go down that easy. Was Fur always working with you? Nope, never till now, but we can't afford to refuse his help. I've had him prove his trust- prove he's trustworthy, don't worry. You can count on him. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, we have everything, uh, we need for the first part of the plan. Hey! Heavenly Father, hello, I hope you're doing well. How's it going? <laughs> I am playing, uh, a dating sim where if I don't romance all the girls, I die. <laughs> I am on a reality a dating show. <laughs> I hope you're doing- Thank you for shouting out Heavenly Father. <laughs> Off for a trip down memory lane together? Sounds like a plan. You guys have to see this. Trust me. It sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> but don't you want to have your memories wiped and then you just like date the same girls over and 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 over again? Allie put her hand against the secret panel. A second later, the wall parted to reveal the winding staircase for became intimately and repeatedly familiar with. Ooh! Big Daddy, thank you for gifting a demonic contract to Heavenly Father. They have given 230 gift subs in the channel. Aw, thank you, Big Daddy. Thank you. Uh, da -da, uh, da -da. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Did Ali prove for his trust before or after his little trip on the stairs? Whoa, you guys uh, found my secret spot already? I'm sorry, what? I found this place this morning. I sat near the top of the stairs and played for a while. It was more fun to play in the dark. <laughs> Tara! <laughs> Hold me back, Tane. <laughs> she angy! Allie explained the situation as we walked down the stairs. Sure enough, they were skeptical. Except for Charlotte. 
Okay. Your story makes a little more sense when you come down there. We walk towards the machines in a mixture of awe and fear. The markings on the machine. My father's company made these. Why? <gasps> Whoa! We got some lore from Violet now. Violet! Why? Oh no! They didn't. Not my baby. I'm sorry, everyone. I wish what they had uh, what they had to say wasn't true, but it is. I don't know why you're being kept here. Why they filmed the show over and over. But I know that if we don't escape and fast, they're going to kill us sooner or later. Like... Like... Are they just, like, trying to farm, like, reactions and entertainment as much as they can before, like, they get their organs or something? Like, what's... What's the enemy's motive? <laughs> Tani and I are going to do our very best to make sure that all of us get out of here alive. But to do that, I need you to trust me. Trust you? With what? I need you to trust me enough to step back into the tanks they were, uh, they kept you in. For us to escape, we need all of us to have our memories back. Otherwise, you, w you won't trust us enough. <gasps> I have to be quite foolish just to step in this tank because someone said so. Violet, you can trust her. Excuse me? I know she's telling the truth about this machine because I built this. <gasps> oh boy. Ellie? This isn't the first time we've met, is it? No, it isn't. <laughs> Aw, very precious Oni chance. <laughs> Yeah, maybe, like, the entertainment is just the father and the daughter, maybe. Hmm. You got- you've gone to know each other quite a few times by now. No kiss! No kiss! <laughs> it's a strange feeling. On one hand, this is horrible. On the other, I'm glad that the machine works- Oh my god! That's what a scientist would say. <laughs> this is horrible, but wow, it works! <laughs> Maybe one day we'll put an end we'll we'll put a use to it the way that it should be. Alright, I'll trust you. We just walk back into the machine? Thank you, Violet. I know it'd be difficult to trust me, so I appreciate it. There's a machine that should have your name on it. You go in, and then Tane and I will start the reversal process. I do hope this works. It should, but it might hurt a bit. Do spare me from the details, please. Scarlet and Violet walk to their respective machines. I don't really get it, but I trust you, Tane. And besides, I got a... I got a thing for big things made out of metal. They're like mecha. Aw, see? Tara likes her mecha. I guess. Is it... Is this gonna hurt? Uh, it, it, it won't hurt a bit. I'm sure it won't hurt that much. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just straight, I'm just straight up lying to Yui. My relationship with Yui is just, I, I just lie to her. <laughs> yeah, we don't, we don't care about Yui. <laughs> All right, they're in, they're in their tanks. Let's do this, Tane. On it. Even if it was uh, necessary for all of us, their screams from the reversal process were almost more than I could take. Oh no! <laughs> Ali and I covered our ears as Violet, Scarlet, Yui, and Tara remembered years of memories in a matter of minutes. After doing all this, we better be getting out of here. Violet, Scarlet, Yui, and Tara stepped out of the, their tanks after what have felt like hours to them. Guys? You okay? This probably isn't the time to mention it, but I had a bet with four about how- Wait, about- Wait, about what would happen when you got your memories back. What would you bet? I'm gonna watch from a safer distance if you don't mind. Wait, are they gonna slap me? 
if looks could kill the girls that had just gone out of the tanks would have killed me several oh no oh no i fucked all of them i probably fucked all of them ah oh no they ran to me yelling and screaming you five-timing little hey it was a part of the show I was putting on a good show! <laughs> Oof. Yeah, it's all my fault. I was being controlled. I did not have my memories. Wait, I, w w wait, I, I can explain. I... Too late. They were on me like hyenas. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Now that we all calm down, how about we go over the escape plan? It better be good, Allie. For your sake, Tane. Out with it, then. Alright, listen up. Over the next hour, Allie explained her plan from start to finish. Trust me, it's the best we got. If this is our plan... Wait. If this is our plan, we're doomed? Oh, no. What's gonna happen? Congrats, Tana. You made it to day two. You really gave our audience a, a run of their money yesterday with Scarlet. And that's before we got the zombies involved, believe it or not. I'm glad to hear that. You think you'll choose Scarlet at the end of this? Uh, too early to say. I figure it's best to make things seem uncertain as possible and not get too focused on any one girl. Kat uh, said that getting low ratings during the show could end up with them shutting it down early. If that happens this time, then game over. The only reason why we're able to make these moves right now is because Ali's machine glitched out. Who knows if that would ever happen again. There's no room for error. Too early to say right now, but she's definitely up there. Cat. I like the sound of that. But you know what I like even more? Drama! Drama! <laughs> and what better way to start that fire than a full day date with another woman? If it if it ain't broke, so who's it gonna be? Have you ever noticed that there's only one room in the mansion that's locked? Nope, not even a bit. Really? It's right by the games room, and it's not the hidden one. It's, uh, I'm starting to understand why you've been stuck, uh, here all this time. I was snooping around at night looking for snacks when I saw a cat open it, using a black key that she kept on a key ring in her pocket. It's definitely a master key. I've seen her use the same key both in the mansion as well as other buildings. Sounds like it'd be pretty good, uh, to get our hands on that. Exactly. If you're... If, if you get me that key, even for a minute, I can make a mold of it that we can use as a duplicate key. I'm betting that would be pretty helpful for uh, helping us get out of here, to put it lightly. That's awesome! Wouldn't Cat notice uh, her master key going missing? You're absolutely right, especially if you or I try to take it. I'm feeling a butt coming. But it won't be you or I taking it. Tomorrow, ask to take Yui on a date. Let me get Yui. By the end of tonight, you'll both understand why it has to be you two. I'd say sounds like a plan, but I have no idea what's going on. Okay. Okay, trust me, Tane. When have I been wrong? Yeah, I was thinking exactly, Zilla. I was thinking the bunny's gonna, like, grab it off of her or something. I could list every single date we've been on as evidence. These- those don't count. <laughs> Yui, there's just something about her, you know? Well, may we'll make it happen. Oh god, I guess I have to, like, date all the girls again for it to, like, you know, complete the ending, I guess. It was the first date since all the girls' memories back. We went for a walk in the woods, the same date we had when we truly had met again for the first time. It was a little awkward at first figuring out how not to give away what we knew on camera, but we figured uh, it out pretty quick. It's so nice to see you again, Tane. I feel the same way, Yui. 
After all this time, it's going to be fate, uh, hasn't it? It must be. To be honest, I feel a little like things are going a little over my head. This show, meeting you again, everything, it's just moving so fast. Sometimes, I feel like everything's just moving too fast for me to keep up. But with you, everything feels alright. Like I know it's going to be okay. <laughs> Would it be okay if we just spent today this way? She leaned in close and put her arm around me. I wouldn't have it any other way, Yui. Wait a minute. What about getting the master key? Oh, I can tell from your face what you're thinking about. Don't worry, I've got that covered. Bun bun bun! Bun 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 darted out of a nearby bush and ran to Yui's side. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy! She picked him up and hugged him tight. It was impossible not to smile. Almost forgot. Bun bun bun! Hunt. <laughs> oh boy, she's gonna... Okay. Bun 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 leapt out of her arms and dashed towards the mansion. And with that out of the way, how about we walk for a little longer? What just happened? She reached for my hand, then held it tight. I'd like that. We walked... Wait, we, we talked for hours. She's cl That's... Yeah! I don't like how clingy she is. I understand it's supposed to be wholesome. <laughs> but look at me. <laughs> I I can't I can't take wholesome for too much too much longer. <laughs> when we took breaks, we uh we laid next to each other on the grass, talking about anything and everything. Yui's a lovely girl. At times I remembered how dire the situation we were in. And I couldn't help but freeze up. I d no, I here's that I do like wholesome, but when it's like suffocating, when it's suffocating you, <laughs> I I no 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 chat. You have to understand. I do like wholesome. I do. It's just when it's too overpowering. Like, when you're getting smothered in it, you know? Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, you're so sweet. Like... <laughs> but with Yui, I've never... Um... I like playing things more coy. I guess if that makes sense. I don't know. <laughs> I guess just like... I don't know. Because it's like a dating game, right? <laughs> But with Yui, I'm never afraid uh, to face those fears. She makes me braver than just a smile. With just a smile, even when she couldn't ask for it directly about what was on my mind, she found out ways to comfort me despite that. And in turn, to make her smile maybe feel lighter than than air, a life with her would be wonderful. <sighs> Thank you for the follow. Hello, hello. I've got to make sure to get um us all out of here safe. Tane? Yeah? I love you, Tane. Oh my god. <laughs> it's okay, Waffle. I got you. <laughs> I got you, Waffle. I hope we can spend another day together just like this soon. Uh, I'd like that. I can't... I don't want to say... I can't wait for that. I, I'd like that, sure. Me too, Yui. We walked back uh, to the mansion together, hand in hand, then went our separate ways. You would not believe what happened to me today. What happened? I got attacked by some forest, mo a forest monster. It was at uh, at least 10 foot tall and had monstrous teeth and... Oh god, I'm getting like deja vu. What the, what the fuck? I'm getting deja vu. It took everything I had to not laugh. Luckily, I managed to fight them off without any permanent injury. I made sure that Ford deleted the footage. That shit was both embarrassing and traumatic. That's good to know. This is the worst run yet. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Oh, nothing. I just... 
had a long day. I'll bet. You should get some rest while you have the chance. By force, beast is nothing to sniff at. You're making fun of me, aren't you? Not at all, cat. Force beast affect one in ten people. It could happen to you. Right, right. I'll see you later, Tane. Good night. Tane? Mission success. I can't believe that worked. How did you train your pet bunny to do all that? It's all thanks to our special training last night. I may have made a few contracts with a few devils from the forest, but... <laughs> Wait, what? A few contracts with a few devils from the... Yui? Excuse me? Hello? Interesting. Huh. Maybe she's a witch? <laughs> is she- is she a witch? I- I- I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what? I'm half kidding, don't worry about- don't worry about it, huh? Okay. Okay, okay. I see- I see you, Yui. Wh which half? Are the keys ready to use? Not yet, which sucks. I'm going to take a little bit long. It's going to take a little bit longer to make ship plaster to set. Where'd you get the plaster f uh, from, by uh, by the way? Believe me, uh, believe me, knowing more about how we we got it will not make you any happier as a person. What? I'm cool with not knowing. Anyway, the keys will probably be use uh, usable for tomorrow morning, but you'll have to wait. You'll have to have your next date by then. We'll test them out as soon as uh, it's night tomorrow. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Awesome. Let's go team. Let's go team. How about you let the rest of the girls know, Tane? Or disable the audio recordings in the house at night so we should uh, be good to talk up back there. I'll let them know. Okay. I walk back upstairs, back to the mansion. Where are they? Oh, I can hear some sounds from the kitchen. I'll make my way over. Hey, Violet. How are you? Goodness, apologies, Tana. I didn't see you there. Oh, Violet, I missed you. I missed you, Violet. You seem so pre pretty deep in thought. What's on your mind? Besides, uh, besides the say, hundreds, hundreds of different versions of memories of the same week? I'm worried for the people back home. Yui has her brothers to worry about, though she tried not to burden anyone uh, with that feeling. Everyone has family out there, and who knows what happened to them in the last week. Well, however long we've been trapped here. I have never gotten along with my parents that well, but even so, they must be worried sick. I'm sure they're doing fine, Violet. And they're going to be so happy to see you again. You're right, Tane. Yeah, hundreds of times? But there's no way you can know that for sure, could you? I guess so, but we gotta believe, right? I suppose you're right, once again. Tane! Oh my god. When we finally escape the dreadful, this dreadful place, I'm gonna hold them so tight. Unless... Oh. It's kind of funny. What is it, Violet? I told you I had a twin sister, right? Yeah, you did. Her name was Viola? That would be her. She was always my parents' favorite. You know, the type she came first and just about everything while I did not. Even so, we got along just fine. I was proud to call her my sister. Then there was the accident. She, she saw the car before I did. She moved to protect me before I could. And in the end, she was hit before I was and she died for it. I'm so sorry, Violet. I- Oh my god, Violet! No! <laughs> Before then, I had no problem uh, being second place to her. But for her sake, for just that one time, I wish I had come in first. No! No! <laughs> That's so sad. I'm oversharing, aren't I? I apologize. It's It's been a... 
It's okay, Violet. Just say what you're feeling. You're kind, Tane. It's been something I adore about you, you know? After Viola died, I did my best to live up to the standard she set for my parents. You can probably guess how that went. I wasn't as good as running the business or appearing prim and proper or even things like finding a partner. It's a little embarrassing, really. That's the whole reason why I came here. My parents saw an ad in the show and thought it might help me. No! Oh, Violet. Huh. Yeah, I want to hug her. <laughs> Or perhaps they just want to kick me out of the house to make me make more room for my new baby brother. I couldn't resist the chance for them to support me for once. At times I feel like I can't do anything right. Look at how this show has developed. This is a nightmare in every regard. Violet. Yes. I held her. Yeah! We hugged her! Good! You're an incredible woman, and I and believe me, there's nothing wrong, nothing you can't do. I've seen you put the fear of God into the Brothers Five, and you make delicious meals that some people would probably kill for. Even if this is a nightmare, it's one we're going to get out together, and we wouldn't be able to do it without you. Oh, you are too kind. Thank you for the. I I appreciate it. But enough about me. Have you remembered anything about why you came here? Unfortunately, I haven't, but I'm hoping that the master key we, uh... Wait. Pilfer. Pilfer? Pilfer. Pilfered? I'll help with that. I hope so, for your sake. In the end, we're, uh... <laughs> Yeah, just to, yeah, to steal. <laughs> In the event where it does not provide any answers. My previous offer about finding you help outside of here to get your memories back stands. Thanks, Violet. I really appreciate that. It is the least I could do. I still fancy you quite a bit, you know? I know it's not the time or place, but maybe when we get out of here. Perhaps you'll join me for, say... A lovely, lovely cruise around what's left of the world? I'm looking forward to that day. As am I. We walked a few moments longer before retiring for the night. For once, I lay in my bed not worrying about being killed. For once, I was excited for what tomorrow would bring. It's only up from here. I... Tane. Ali, what, what are you... Never mind that, you've got to come down to the lab. What is it? We found something, and I know you'll want to see it. She reached for my hand and pulled me as we ran. Oh, oh no. Oh no. The other girls were already there, crowded around the table with a pile of folders on top of it. What's going on? I was just looking around the lab when I stumbled upon these. There are files. I didn't read anyone's but my own, but I have to warn you. Caution was the last thing um, on all of our minds. Most of us scrambled to find our own file, except Yui was already holding hers and Allie. Weird. There's no file uh, for me here. I double checked, but there was nothing for me. Guess I'm not getting any answers today. Allie slowly uh, walked to the pile and found her own, then opened it in one fluid motion. Interesting. What is it? Allie Major. Sent to the island for being suspected of committing treason against the government. Selected for the experimental show for fitting the sporty girl archetype. We need one of those. <laughs> ha. It's good to know this whole get up was a good idea. Did you know I actually fucking hate sports? <laughs> Whoa, Allie. I'd never seen Allie look so angry. Let's see. They all got the fake information I gave. That sounds about right. What? What is this? They've been uh, taking extremely detailed notes for me for every single run of the show for the past two years. Two years? Two years? What I've done, the things I've said in private or with others, they've got notes down here for how or when I brush my teeth, how I react differently when they change the show or tell me uh, 
different things or or nothing but lab rats to them it's true it's my fault what do you mean if i hadn't invented the machine in the first place none of this would e uh, ever have happened oh my god <laughs> you couldn't you couldn't have known yeah you couldn't have known scarlet you really wanted to help people and it was a great thing it's not your fault someone ended up using your invention like this if you say so tane my file says that they wiped my memories and put me on the show to make sure that no one else could build this technology? I can't even begin to understand how that could ever even be a reason for causing all this. I'm not sure we even want to understand the people who run this place. The room fell silent. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, you invented it, but like, you don't know that people are going to use it for evil. I wanted to crack a joke to ease the tension, but it was impossible. Thank goodness. Wait, what? I'm surprised to hear you say that, Yui, of all things considered. Oh, uh, sorry, I know that must sound... Uh, must have sounded... Sorry, guys. Mine's the same as Allie's. They tracked, measured, and commented on so many things about us so many times it feels so violating. But it's not all bad. Did I ever tell you why I came to the show, Tane? No, why's that? Uh, I forgot. It was, I wasn't allowed to tell you. That was one of the conditions. To be completely transparent, the reason was money. And nothing but that. <laughs> I kind of I kind of thought it was probably going to be like something. It was hard enough to take care of, uh, care of myself without my parents, let alone two brothers and a whole farm. I remember now. It was Kat who reached out to me. I told her that if I came onto the show, my brothers and the farm would be taken care of for life. I know this is all horrifying, but I'm glad that she held up her end of the deal. <laughs> Okay, okay. I mean, at least her family's doing okay. Even if I might die here and never see them again, that's too depressing to think, Yui. We're going to get you out of here and see your brothers again. Together. <laughs> Thanks, Tane. I'd like that. I'm curious, uh, Yui, what kind of archetype did they list you as? Uh, the girl next door. Damn it, that sounds like a lot better than gaming gremlin. <laughs> Tara. <laughs> Yui, Scarlet, Allie, and I laughed. At times like this, having a mood after like Tara was a wait. Having a mood lifter like Tara around was critical. I looked at Violet, who had been silent the whole time. She was trembling. Violet, are you? Please, God, don't let this be true. Violet felt her knees sobbed with her hands against her face. I rushed to her side. Are you okay, Violet? Violet threw her folder against the floor, causing the papers inside to scatter throughout the room. Nothing is okay, Tane! It doesn't matter if I get off this island or not. I'm not like you. I have nothing to go back to. No one, uh, no one to stand by me. There's nothing for me either way. Violet, wait. She ran to the stairs. Her sobs echo throughout the staircase and through the lab. I moved to follow her, but Yui stopped me. I think she might need some time alone, Tane. D did something happen to her family? I didn't mean to look, but after her paper scattered across the room, I... Maybe you should just read it? Yui handed me the papers that were in Violet's file. Violet Valentine, a special case. Otherwise unremarkable, but she's the daughter of Edgar and... V Vinny? Vinny? Valentine? One of our uh, primary investors. It is my understanding that they have they they have recently had a son and want for him to be their next heir after Viola passed. Edgar and Vane Vane? I don't I don't know how to say that. Uh, sent their remaining daughter Violet to us full well knowing that the show will show would entail. They gave up their daughter. They didn't they did Vane? Is that how you say that name? They didn't want her. They didn't want her. That's so sad. They paid us an incredible sum to make sure that she she does not return from the show. That's awful. That's actually awful. I want to I 
want to punch her parents in the teeth. Yo, it's been this long? Crazy. I'm named Preggers for you. You got star and succulent succubi. <laughs> Mr. Donato, thank you for the five months. Thank you. Time to time to lift the mood a little bit, man. Man, that's so sad about Violet. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Donato. Thank you for the five months. We got to a sad part of the game. Violet's parents didn't want her and they paid off the people to like, yeah. That's incredibly upsetting. <sighs> Even for me, this is too cruel. Mm, hello there. I hope you're doing well. Hello. Yeah. You know what would be amazing? If she went back to her parents and got revenge. <laughs> but like, I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what you would do in that situation. Man... I closed the folder and just stared open mouthed at Yui. There was no words. I knocked on Violet's door later that night, but the, but it was no use. Please just leave me alone, Tane. Violet was my first choice. I want to be with her. I'm here if you want to talk. I'm here if you want to talk. Even if she even if she opened the door, I would I would have no idea what I was supposed to say. What could anyone say? I was wrong. It's not only up from here. There's a long way down. Man. Yeah, the second option would have been showing that it's like you impl it, it implied that you read it, I guess, so. Uh, I'm just going to save over that one. It's hardly a surprise, but I didn't sleep. I didn't sleep well last night. Who could after what happened? And just like that, we're on day three. I gotta thank you, Tane. You're making my job easy. I actually get, I uh, get to spend my nights doing productive things now. I'm happy to help with that. However, that works. However, that works. You all right? You don't seem to have your usual energy. Careful, Tane. Once slip slip up with Cat, and this is all over. I'm good. Thanks, Kat. I just didn't sleep too well. Happens to the best of us. Anyway, it goes without saying that Yui's definitely a contender for the final ceremony. Hmm? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not so sure just yet. Oh, really? That's a surprise. Well, not my problem. Anyway, who's today's unlucky girl? Who am I dating now? So who should I be asking on a date tomorrow? Honestly, joking aside... I think you should ask Violet. No! I mean, I want to spend time with her, but is it too soon? Yeah. I feel the same way, Wolf. Like, it's... It's nice that, like, to tell the person that it's, like, you're available if they want to talk. It's exactly, exactly that, yeah. Only, only if they want to talk about something, yeah. I think you should ask Violet. Really? I don't think she's in any shape to put on a good show. I mean, we need all of us to be able to work together to get out of here, right? I don't think Violet would be able to, uh, to until she's feeling better. And what's better to do than for a date to make you feel so special? Tara does have a great point. I always make great points. <laughs> like seeing if I could arm wrestle one with the zombie Scarlet made. That, that went great. Oh, I remember that. Wait, I was the zombie. That was not a good idea at all. <laughs> Can I take my vote back? What do you think, Tane? I like the idea. We could kill two birds with one stone. I'm sure there's something that we could do to help escape that we could only do on a date with Violet. Mmm. I've got it. Tomorrow, you'll be going on a date with Violet. Here's what you go you're going to do. Okay. Violet. I've always wanted to spend more time with her, and there's no time like the present. We'll make it happen. I have one small request, though. What's that? 
and will it give me ratings? I think it will. Then let's hear it. I've noticed Violet being a little down lately, so I wanted to cheer her up. I hear that she really likes cooking, especially in groups. Would you mind if we cooked uh, with uh, the staff at noon? I don't see why not. Let's hope it goes better than the last time. Oh, hi, Tane. Why'd you bring me here? I'm in a... I'm a bit of a predicament. You see, well, I may have made an irresponsible bet. I did not take you for a gambler. Well, I'm not. But the thing is, I hear... I heard the cooking... Wait, the cooks bragging that they were the best chefs on the island. But hey, I've tried the food you've made before. I know nobody else could come close to how good you are. So I... Wait, so I may have challenged them to a competition in your name... You are ridiculous, Tane! <laughs> Violet laughed out loud. There's that smile I like so much. It was nice to see it again. Are you being serious? Dead serious. In a few hours, uh, hundreds of staff are going to come here. Some of them as cooking... Challenge... Challenging cooks. Some of them as judges and the rest of them looking for lunch. All of them hungry. Think you're up for the challenge? I am ready to crush the opposition. They will rue <laughs> ru the day they challenged me. That's the violet I like to see. Anyway, what is the theme of this contest? I can't tell you just yet. I'll be I'll be announced when it wait. Ugh, it'll be announced when it's cooking time. I do like a challenge. Would you care to stay with me as I prepare for the festivities? Of course, Violet. Thank you, Tane. I know why you're doing this, and I appreciate it. I'm not ready to talk about it just yet, but I feel happier already knowing that you are looking out for me. I'm always going to be here for you. I I want I want you. <laughs> I want you. I'm going to I babe, I'm going to be here for you. Even if you have nothing to go to go back to at home, I want to be with you. I'm always going to be here for you, Violet. And I for you as well, Tane. We spent the time before the contest just uh, talking about pleasant things until... Wait, completely unrelated to the show. Uh, completely unrelated to anything of consequence. Sometimes when bad things happen, what you need the most is just a semblance of nor normalcy. Okay, I have something that I just thought about. If they've been doing this to them for so long, would some of the things that they talk about be dated if they're airing the show? Like, does that, does that make any sense? Like, what? how many times... Like, if this has been happening so often, the things that they would be talking about would be so old... By the time noon rolled around, hundreds of staff members were filled up to the kitchen. There's, there's like, there's just things that I keep thinking about. Like, what if, what if this were to happen? What if this were to happen? <laughs> yeah, apparently it's been like two years. And they don't, they keep them like internet free, right? <laughs> Violet has a lot of hair. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like, when they said hundreds of times, I think, like, because they said this has been happening for, like, what, two years now, right? Mm. Oh, you're challenging me? Jojo pose. Oh, you're challenging me? Jojo! Jojo. You're challenging me, Jojo? Uh, sorry, I'm just looking at Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Just a minute. Wait. Dio bit emote. <laughs> you have my respect. Even it's too late to change sides. You're going down, Violet. We're the Brothers Five, the best ships on the island. What's that, too? What I meant to say is, wow, you really are the best chef on the island. That's right. 
damn it, bros. You can't let her intimidate you like this. What if... Wait. If we do, she's already won. Yeah, you can get a Dio emote. Uh, it's 50k bits, though. <laughs> I, I put it a little high. <laughs> I, I actually need to make more bit emotes, too. <laughs> I realized that things are a little a little higher and I need to make more bit emotes. <laughs> Say something for. We will meet on the culinary battlefield, Violet. You may have my brothers running for the hills, but not me and five. Come at me. Let us banish our forks against. Wait, brandish our forks against each other. <gasps> five, do you have anything to say? Wait, what's happening? No, no, no pressure at all. No pressure. <laughs> The only thing I'll say about bit emotes, though, because I've noticed this when Twitch introduced them, I think, what was it, last year or the year before or something? Uh, if you ever pay for, like, bit emotes, you keep them forever, even if you're not sub to the person. Um, like, for, for example, I have this one. I have this one because I did, like, 1,000 bits for a streamer. And even if I'm not going to be sub to them, I'll still have it. <laughs> I do hope that you'll entertain me, brothers. Violet raised a pen towards them. Let us begin. It's time for the cook-off to end all cook-offs. Each cook will cook their own variation of a mystery dish, a dish that I will soon reveal for the first time ever. The judges will be everyone who is not a contestant. You must be joking. There's hundreds of people here. How could we ever feed everyone, everybody? That's not my problem. And I definitely didn't come up with the rules for this tournament on the spot. <laughs> it's like the Soma thing where you have to do like something quick and easy to make and feed like lots of people. <gasps> Liar. Violet laughed at once more. Hey, Shokugeki no Soma time. Let's go. Cook off. Cooking tournament. That was enough to keep uh, the charade going. The mystery dish will be spaghetti and meatballs. Like taking candy from a baby. Not this again. Oh god, I think I'm gonna faint. I thought, oh my god, I thought he said... I thought he was gonna say, I think I'm gonna fart. <laughs> One collapse on the ground. One down, four to go. Bro! Bruh. <laughs> I knew we, uh, we should have uh, been accountants. Why are we fooling ourselves? You each have one hour. No late submissions will be accepted. Let the games begin. The contestants uh, that were still conscious rushed off to gather ingredients. How are they going to make that much food? I'm sure they'll figure something out. I watch each of them cook furiously at breakneck speed. Okay, they've mentioned breakneck speed a few times so far. I'm going to take a drink because I think that's been like three times they've said that. <sighs> Violet was hard to work. Wait, hard at work. Sweat streaming down her face with the biggest smile I've ever seen all day. I couldn't help but smile as well. At the same time, Four was trying to cook his a spaghetti with only a microwave. <laughs> Does anybody remember uh, that one reality show? Uh, what was that? What was that one? Was it? What was his name? Flavor Flav? Flavor Flav? And then there was like that one girl who cooked a chicken in the microwave. Microwave pa pasta. Disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> Just a minute. I'll find the clip. It has to be on YouTube. Flava Flav Chicken. Because he's like, I want to, I want chicken. I found it. Here. Just a minute. 
Bam. The purpose of you being here is to prepare my chicken. You know what a brother like is chicken? Now, I got your recipe right here. All your ingredients are here. I had a question. Yes. Can we call it, uh, like call and have it catered or no? No. Okay. Everybody ready? Yes. On my command, go. I know that my chicken is going to be the best because I was like raised like vegetarian with a lot of fresh vegetables, so I incorporated vegetables into my recipes. <laughs> Chicken. Chicken. I, <laughs> this clip is pretty popular on YouTube, so it made, me, it made me think of it. But this should be a good recipe. I think she'll like it. A hottie so dumb. I couldn't believe that someone would actually, you know, prepare a chicken like that. Do you like to try some? Oh, no. I, I'm not allowed, but thank you. Okay. I went to the microwave, put the chicken in, and there was a button that said, chicken. She thought the button that said chicken was to cook a whole chicken. I think putting the chicken in the microwave is like the most sanitary thing to do. Plus, it doesn't have all the extra calories from the grease. Ah! <laughs> this is crazy! <laughs> this is the final bell. She's so happy. <laughs> the judging process was nerve wracking because I was the final one and I knew that the vegetables, the fact that it wasn't fried in like heavy oil would win this date for me. It ain't cooked. Just because it's not fried, you can still microwave it, and it is cooked. I just want to say, whoever number eight was, that wasn't serious, was you? Whoever died, y'all was, that was. You know, it's definitely appalling that she would even, you know, attempt something out like that, to serve raw poultry to his mom. Ugh, she's nuts. It, it it made me think about that <laughs> for like the cook off and everything just like yeah you know have like a whole chicken yeah just just put it in the microwave oh it's so sanitary i grew up vegetarian i don't know if she was trolling or not i don't know <laughs> i don't know um this is why sometimes like reality shows are just like i you never know sometimes <laughs> One minute left, Violet filled hundreds of laid out bowls with spaghetti and meatballs in a matter of moments. If you blinked, you miss her, wait, you miss her finish a whole row. Each looked delicious and artistic. You would have thought a cook uh, would have spent much longer than an hour putting each of them together. <laughs> Five uh, settled on making about four and a half bowls. I guess everyone has their own uh, pace. Time's up. It's time to judge. The crowd cheered as they uh, stampeded uh, <laughs> to the laid out bowls. They were practically salivating. After everybody wolfed down bowls of each of the contestants, they submitted their vote. Yeah, I guess you can vote based on like plates, right? Just like they did in Soma. The people have spoken and with a resounding majority, our first ever winner of the best chef on the island in the middle of nowhere award is Violet! The crowd cheered, myself included. I did it! Me! I did it! Violet jumped up and down with joy. I, fe I felt like a kid in a candy store just from one look at her. You won fair and square. You should be proud of yourself. Yeah, your food was the best I've ever had. Though, if you consider our living standards, that doesn't mean too much. <laughs> Aww. Poor brothers. Hey, I just had an idea. 
What if we get Violet to cook for the staff at lunch instead of us? Seriously, it's been years since we've had real food. What's that supposed to mean? Honestly, I think it's a great idea. I know. <laughs> I hide it well, but I really had no idea what I'm doing in the kitchen. No way, bro. Violet and I took one look at each other and couldn't help but laugh. I would love to, you guys. The crowd's enthusiasm reached a level of uproarious applause. Violet, 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 Violet. Oh goodness, I you're, you're all too kind. I put my arm around her and smiled. Yeah, I put my arm around her. She's my babe. Yes, you've got a new job now, Violet. I guess I do. I... Violet leaned into a... Wait, wait leaned in and kissed... To kiss me on the lips. For a moment, time stood still, and the only thing you could hear was the crowd's cheering getting even louder. <laughs> Violet, Violet, Violet. We laughed together. I've had so much fun today, Tane, thanks to you. Care to join me by the beach after we clean this place up? Oh, yeah, I wouldn't miss it for anything. <laughs> I wouldn't miss it for anything. Ah, I think both are okay. I would miss it for the world. The world would pale in comparison. Hey. She reached out her hand uh, out to mine and held hers tight in return. Hey, Violet. You really gave them a great show today, you, uh, you know. I couldn't have done that without my ever-so-charming television host. We walked along the beach, our feet bare in the inviting water of the ocean. Really, I'm- I'm so grateful to you, Tane. Last night, finding out what my parents did, that was just the lowest point I've- I'd ever been to. I held her hand even tighter. Honestly, I- I didn't see a way out. Escaping the island or not, everything seemed like a dead end. But today, you helped me remember that even without them, I've still got me. And I like me quite a bit. <laughs> Same, we like you too. We love you. You're wonderful. You really are incredible, Violet. That was all you. With you. Violet mumbled something under her breath. Sorry, what was that? Uh, sorry, let me try again. I know I'd be fine on my own, but I'd like to be better if I was with you. When we get out of here, I do hope you join me for that cruise. She kissed me again. It felt like magic. Violet, I... She put, put her finger against my lips. Shh. I know it's not quite the time for this conversation yet. But please do remember what I said when this is all over. Do you mind if we walk just for a little longer? I... I don't want this to end. Same. <laughs> I'd like that. I'd like that. Yeah, I'd, I'll walk with you for as long as you want to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this seems the right time. For, yeah, this seems like the perfect time. Be like, babe, yeah, we're going to escape together and we're going to live together. <laughs> we can walk till the sun comes up. We can talk about anything and everything. Actually, I'm a little worried because, like, didn't she just talk about that in the open about her parents? Or was she being vague about it enough? I don't know. <laughs> like, don't you think they would be a little suspicious if they're in, like, recording distance, you know? So how about we start with planning our cruise together? That would be lovely. We walked together till the dead of night. It was nothing less than magical. There is something really magical about like nighttime. I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna refill my glass of water. I am gonna stand up because I've been sitting for almost five hours and I've been stretching my legs and everything, but I, I need to, I need to stand up. <laughs> I will, I will be right back. I, I kind of wonder if we can finish this game in in this sitting let we'll, we will see 
Okay, I'm I'm going to stand up and get more water. <laughs> BRB. Okay, I am back. I am back, I am back. And I have some water, and... Feeling good. Feeling good. <laughs> it 
So I think we have two more dates with the girls. Man, man, I I hope there's an ending. I hope there's an ending after we date the two two girls left. <laughs> So after we came back, a huge storm hit outside. We just missed it. Hope you two enjoyed your date today. I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's time we get this show on the road. Allie took out the master key from her pocket and sp span it around the ring with her finger. Span it around? Spin it around with the ring? I, I don't know. And then put it on uh, the locked door. And we're in. She turned the lock and then pulled the door open. Whoa, the door's a little heavier than I thought it uh, must be. Soundproof or something. Yeah, maybe spun around her finger? That would make more sense, I think. Yeah. Whatever. Let's go. Aw, oh, man. Not another staircase. They would have saved us- <laughs> They would have saved so much money if they just put this on the main floor. But it wouldn't be very secret then, would it? Secret schmeekret! I'm behind a locked door. It's behind a locked door. I guess you have a point. Though, there was another staircase. It wasn't nearly as long as the one in the lab. We'd better, uh, we'd be walking down the steps for only a few moments. When we saw there, wait, wait, oh my god, I can't, I can't speak. We'd be walking down the steps only for a few moments when we saw where the, where they did, where, where they led. Ah! <laughs> this has to be it. It, what's it? A while back, Kat told me that all the information on this island was stored in books. They didn't use anything digital or with the internet. I think I remember that too. Well, it's bullshit. They're they're an evil corporation intent on world domination through fear and control. Of course they have the internet. And I think we've just found a way into their closet, skeletons and all. Sounds like a pretty big deal. That's an understatement. The information in here could change the tide of the war. It could give the resistance a fighting chance, I think. But there's more than that. But there's more <laughs> than that, too. What do you mean? My dad, mom, and my brother got taken by these guys a long time ago. I, I don't even know if they're still alive. I was too young to really understand what was happening. If there's anything that could help me find them again, or at least find out what, what happened to them, it's in this computer. That was the real reason I came here. My whole reason I risked everything, I... What if it doesn't have what I'm looking for? What if... Allie. Yui ran to Allie's side and hugged her tightly. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, I wanna know how they escaped too. They're on a damn island. Like, how are they gonna pull this off? You believe in me, right? She took deep breaths. I I'm sorry... You had to see that. I'm, I'm okay now. Thanks, Yui. I didn't do anything. Are you... Are you ready? Let's do this. I looked at Violet and Allie, uh, prepared to turn the computer on. She looked at, uh, as concerned as I did, but we couldn't let it show. The secret lit up with a single message. Password required. Well, I did think it was gonna go a little too smoothly. <laughs> I'm not giving up just yet, though. She tried a few different passwords uh, on the keyboard, but none of them worked. Damn it, I bet only Damien and Kat know this. And there's no way we could just ask them. Silence fell upon the room. It can't end like this. It just can't. I've got an idea. Oh, Tara. Come on, Tara. You're a gamer, girl. It's not going to involve wrestling zombies again, is it? Hey, I've had better ideas than that. What I mean to say is, I think I have a way to crack the code. I'm a programmer. I make something that could try all the possibilities for the password. It would take some time, especially uh, if it locks me out to uh, too many attempts, but eventually I'd get the password. Though there's no guarantee we get the answer before the show was over. It's a lot better than a shot than I thought we had. 
Ellie ran over to Tara and hugged her tightly. Thank you, you awesome little you. <laughs> uh, this is nice. Feel free to compliment me more. In the meantime, the rest of us can tr uh, try to figure out the password would be as well. That reminds me, I need to tell you guys something important. What's that? I have our escape plan. Yo, Scar- Oh, Scarlet Alley? Whoa. She took out the master key and held it for us to see. There's a hidden hangar I found by the beach just a little further where I found the plane. So, so she can fly a plane. Maybe she was just memeing. Maybe she was just memeing before. Now that we have this key and we know how it works. We can use it to disable the hangar security command. Uh, commandeer a plane, then fly the hell out of it. We practically jumped for joy. I can't believe it. We're almost out of here. It's been a long time coming. Well, soon, but not just yet. With this storm raging, there is no way we're getting anywhere tonight. At least, uh, at least off the ground. But if there, there's clear skies tomorrow night, <laughs> that's where we'll be. What about the computer? Don't you need to crack it before we go? Yeah. What about your family? Well, that'd be the ideal case. But honestly, I've... I've gotten to know you guys and care about you guys, and I... Oh, we're the new family! Oh, We're the new family! <laughs> I've decided that it's more important to save the people I care about that are right in front of me than chase a pipe dream. Ellie! Ellie! No, I won't accept that. If I were in your shoes, I was looking for my um, and I was looking for my brothers, and I just gave up looking for them. I'd regret it forever, and I know you would too. But I can't ask you guys to stay here any longer. We're in danger if we stay here. Dewey speaks for us too. To have family that you care about and that care about you too, you can't give up on that. We're not going anywhere till we crack the code, even if it takes till the last day. You guys. No. I can't allow it. I won't take the chance uh, with your lives. I'm not backing down on this. What do you think, Tane? I don't know. Is that... Yeah. Safe. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work, but... <sighs> hmm... We need to take this chance. We need to take this chance. Let's let's do that. Yeah. Yeah, we can learn our about ourselves possibly with the computer too. We need to take this chance, Allie. I think you need this. Yeah. I Guys, guys. Take a chill pill for a second, <laughs> Tara. Huh? I'm a programming god, best of the best. I'm going to have this code cracked by tomorrow, and that's a promise. So don't worry, okay? I love you guys. Thank you so much, really. Why are you thanking all of us? I'm the one who has to write the code and shit, <laughs> Tara. <laughs> we laughed together, something that I thought uh, might have been impossible after initial bad news. We're both in this together, and we're getting out together. No one's gonna get- no one gets left behind. Okay. After we called it a night, I laid in bed deep in thought. Who'd have thought I could- I could have ended today feeling inspired after everything that happened last night. We got this. We- 
Tani, one more thing before we turn in for the night. What's up, Tara? I got caught up in the heat of the moment earlier and... Oh no. Oh no? I got no idea. Oh, Tara! No, 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 no. I did not... I don't like where this is going. How to do this? Because... I remember that all I know about hacking are videos of people typing really fast saying, I'm in. Tara, how could you? Take responsibility. <gasps> I practically flew out of my bed. Thank God. It was just, oh, it was a night. Okay. Uh, nightmare, I hope. Crossing our fingers. Crossing our fingers. Nightmare. What does it take to get a good night's sleep on a killer dating show? Come on. Please let that be a nightmare. What are you smiling about? Yesterday's day with Violet. Teehee. It just feels like things are going my way lately. Yesterday's date with Violet still has me feeling as giddy as a little kid. It's almost like there's perks to being on a killer dating show. Well, don't get too comfortable. You've still got a few more days left and then it's back to the regular. Wait. I'm looking forward to that. I bet. Better so sooner than later. You cost too much to keep around. You cost too much to keep... Okay, I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical. Because you've kept us around for two years now. Anyway. The million dollar question. Wh uh, who's today's lucky girl? That'd be... Probably Tara? No? It's gonna be either Tara or Allie. Mm, it's probably best if we go with Tara. But doesn't Tara need time to crack the code? Nah, I already finished making the code breaker. It's trying every password as we speak. Oh, see, there we go. We're safe. We're safe. Thank you, Tara. She's got this. No guarantee I'll finish before we're uh, both done our dates, but it's worth a shot. Thank you, Tara. Don't worry about it. Besides, I think it's better that we save your date for last. Why is that? I don't know. You're... Some super, super spy from some super secret organization. <laughs> you definitely got bigger heist potential than I do. I don't know about that, but sounds good to me. I'll use the time to prepare some contingency plans. Scarlet, Violet, Yui, I'm going to need you guys for this. I'm happy to provide assistance. You bet. I'll help you however I can. Sweet. All right. Uh, Tane, what's up? I didn't just build a code breaker. I built a game that works with it, too. What do you mean? She handed me her console. I just whipped it up real quick. It looks like a code breaking game, but really it works directly into the computer we found. If you get the password right in uh, this game, we'll have access to the computer. Makes sense. Amazing. I can't believe you whipped up something so fast. It wasn't hard. It was just... It was just a big middle finger to my mom who who thought all of my screen time was a waste of time. <laughs> yeah, take that. Anyway, I figure uh, we can play this game here and there during our date. Try whatever passwords come to mind. Obviously not for the whole date because ratings and all, but as much as we can. Sounds like a plan. Sounds good to me, Tara. <laughs> I'm a genius, Tane. She cackled maniacally. You are. I'd like to spend uh, today with Tara. Is that so? Well, we'll make it happen. Try not to spend uh, all of it playing games, though, believe it or not. That isn't what view uh, viewers want in a prime time slot. No promises, but I'll try my best. It ain't much, but I'll take that. Sorry, cat. That's pretty much the plan. <laughs> hey, Tane, you have to play some games? I'd love to, but cat wants us to do some other... Games it is. Sweet. There's no stopping Tara when she put her when she puts her mind to something. We started playing... We play you can't do that game! Playing together? You... You, you can't... You can't do that. You can't do that to me. 
while making pleasant conversation. Yes, we proceeded to play with each other. Yeah, playing, playing. Play with these nuts. <laughs> oh, Yozo. <laughs> Yozo, thank you. Wait, Yozo, you are continuing Fusion's gifted, gifted Devana contract to you, and it's been... It says nine months. Wait. On on my on my end it says nine months. We have a Twitch baby. We have a we have a Twitch baby. What are we gonna name our baby Yozo? <laughs> Thank you for the nine months. <laughs> Everyone, I'm so happy to see Yozo. Yozo's a wonderful friend. <laughs> Yozo is bimbofication monster raccoon girl. <laughs> I thought I thought about what you said more about like the monster girl is basically like bimbofication, and I I I, I love that. <laughs> Wait, what? Yozo playing with that squ squishy slime? Wait. Oh, Slime Rancher. I was like, what? I was like, what the? <laughs> bimbofication. Oh, don't, don't worry, everyone. You will, you will see my bimbofication very, very soon. <laughs> so, Yozo, this is a dating sim where we are trapped in a, we're, we're trapped in a dating show and we keep getting our memories wiped after we date the girls. And we think it's been like two years of like, they consistently wipe the girls' memories and they wipe our memories, which I like, I don't know. I don't know the enemy's motive really. Because it's like, I feel like there's several plot holes that I've identified in this game. <laughs> it's basically just like, you know, evil evil organization and stuff but it's I, I want there has to be more to that <laughs> also i hope you're doing well we're having a date with our gamer girlfriend right now <laughs> the girls are cute the girls are cute they have backstory they remember their backstory when we get their memories back <laughs> Normal enough to see like a regular conversation, cryptic enough to disguise what we were trying to do. So we're trying to uh, get a computer password uh, so we can access their main computer. But we're disguising ourselves as dating and playing a game right now. Or like disguising our date as just playing a game. Even if Tara and I never went on crazy adventures like I did with Allie, it didn't make moments with her any less special. If I forgot that we're trying to hack into some confidential database, this really is like a fun day at home with your partner. Oh my god. Okay, Yozo, Yozo, Yozo. Um, the favorite ones that I have, I like Violet because she's like very cool, prim and proper girl. Uh, and she has an exposed forehead. <laughs> um, and then I I I like Scarlet because she's like the nice mature woman. Uh, she's like very elegant, but she turns out to be like a scientist. And Allie was growing on me. Uh, Allie was growing on me because like I was kind of like, mm, I don't know how I feel about her. She's like, huh, sporty girl. But but then there's like more to her, like when she talks more in her story. <laughs> it's worth a shot. Allie is Allie is cute. Yeah, Lind. Yeah. <laughs> Nope, doesn't work. The nerve of them. <laughs> Terra rules? That's a miss. Was the T capitalized? Allie is your like favorite design. She like has like that streetwear kind of like thing going on. Yeah. Maybe add a 0123 at the end of it. Thank goodness we have the code breaker running in the background. <laughs> Time to switch gears. Let's give Kat some footage to work with to keep us alive. Also, we were betrayed by our girlfriend before our memories. 
<laughs> that's your that's your type, the, the cool girls with the streetwear. Oh, streetwear is so cool. <laughs> Good God, Tane. Why the sun? Uh, no. Uh, go on without me. Sad, sad face. <laughs> okay, maybe this wasn't the best idea. Some way or another, we always uh, we always end up back in the mansion, huh? And there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, take care, Alum. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for tuning in. Take care. <laughs> Have a good weekend. Yes. Oh, I'm really excited. There's there's quite a bit of stuff happening this weekend. I guess you're right. <laughs> Up for a few more rounds of uh, that game we just played? Sure. How about Damien Black sucks? <laughs> David Damien's the main villain. Can can I can I just get a can I can I can I can I get a that face in chat, please? Take, takes me back to MSN. Nope, but nope doesn't work. Cat black sucks. <laughs> Winky face. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Give me give me those faces, chat. <laughs> Not that either. How about Tane? No, my name cannot possibly work as a password. Oh, come on. Now you're just guessing. Like I wasn't before. Well, I'll try it. <gasps> Why? Wow, I'm such a special main character. Wow. Ding, ding. The two of us looked at each other like deer in the headlights. What? We cheered as if our favorite team had just won like a like wait won a sporting event. Wait a minute, why would the password be your name? Yeah, yeah, our ex is the villain's daughter. She betrayed us. That bitch. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. My guess is as good as yours. Maybe we'll find out tonight. I hope so. Well, I think I've had enough of games for today. I never thought I'd hear you say that, Tara. I'm full of surprises. We can spread the good news after. How about we try something new today? Something outside? Sounds like a plan to me. Awesome, let's go. See, here, this is the other thing. They're talking about the password like out in the open and everything. They're still in the recording area for the, for the dating show, you know? You know what I mean? <laughs> We ended up going back inside a minute later, but the rest of the day with Tara was still a lot of fun. Like, they're not being really subtle about trying to crack the code for this computer, like, when they're supposed to be, like, filmed right now. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're back at the computer. And we're in... <laughs> sneaking zero. <laughs> Bad at sneaking. The password prompt closed with a satisfying ding ding. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff in here. Stuff these nuts. <laughs> Fuck. Why would there be a folder called homework? Whoa, that is definitely a porn folder. <laughs> hey, hey everyone. Do you name your porn folder a homework folder? I'm look I'm look I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. Is your porn folder your homework folder? <laughs> Saving porn in 2022. <laughs> uh, I just name it what it is. <laughs> Tara was about to open until Allie intervened. Do you mind if I take a look? Ah, uh, forget what... Uh, wait, why we were here for a second. Sure. Let's see. Ali started going through folders, databases, reports, anything that could be useful. Okay, okay. I have a story, actually. And I'm going to go on a small tangent because I've told this story on stream before. I was watching a documentary, like a very short documentary that was on YouTube. And it was like... Uh, it was when Ellen Page identified as Ellen Page at the time. And um, let me see here. And she, 
uh, at the time when they identified as Ellen Page, they did a documentary about Japan. Uh, and they interviewed this one guy who had an ono hole of his mouth because he was the number one gay guy to have an ono hole of his mouth. And I soon stumbled upon that guy in a jav after. If anyone doesn't know what a jav is, jav is it's a Japanese adult video. Um, so I found him in a jav after and he was doing a competition with other jav girls to see who can give the best oral. <laughs> And I thought it was such a weird coincidence that I watched that documentary and then I watched a jab after in that same night and I found that same guy. And what are the odds? Because there's so many fucking jabs out there. <laughs> he gave the good suck. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, any yeah. Yes, yes, the porn folders. At the same time, Tara started downloading all the folders to her console. If you're a guy, you know- Yeah, you know how to please- Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I just thought it was interesting, because it's like, you could just tell he was having, like, a competition with, like, the other girls being like, Yes, let's see who can give the best oral. <laughs> uh. But, like, it's really weird to be like, watching a documentary of like this guy getting interviewed and then i suddenly stumbled upon him in a jab and i was like what the fuck <laughs> doesn't look like there's anything here about why my name was uh the password hmm all the rest of us uh could do was give ali and tara the space they needed seems like it's only going to be uh up from here team I was worried for Allie, especially if we couldn't get to the computer, but it looks like we got it, uh, after all. Oh, reading is hard. <laughs> reading out loud for five hours. <laughs> it's too soon to say anything, but I do hope you're right. Let's not jinx it. So, what's the first thing you're going to do when, uh, we're out of here? Oh, I don't- Oh, two best girls! And this- Garbage girl. <laughs> She's so boring. <laughs> or but but she might be a bit demonic. I don't I don't know. <laughs> I thought we two best girls and worst girl. <laughs> I thought we weren't gonna jinx it. I'm gonna get straight back to um helping people the way I know best. Nothing changed in the regard. <laughs> She, maybe she might be a part of a cult. We need to know more about her. If she reveals more. Nothing changed in that regard. Okay. Uh, that is a lovely aspiration. Do me a favor and uh, make sure uh, your invitations uh, don't get used on yourself. Wait, oh, sorry. Uh, invitations? Inventions don't get used on yourself. Oh my god. I mean, it's not like I was trying to. I admire how you can be so sure. As excited as I am to leave this place, I'm not uh, quite sure what I'll be doing after. That's totally okay, Violet. That's part of the fun in, of life. Just figuring out as you go. I agree. Yeah. Trial and error. <laughs> I... I suppose so. A Violet looked at me and smiled. That's per pretty much my plan at this point, too. Yes, who's back? B... <laughs> Bitch. Bitches. Uh, what Tara wants to say is we did it. I got everything I need to help turn the tides of war and... I know where my family is. And they're like, see? Oh, good. We took the chance and she, she can find her family now. I've never seen Ali so happy. She jumped towards me and hugged me. Oof. That's fantastic. That's such a relief. I'm so happy for you, Allie. Good job, Tara. You cracked the code. Not all at once now. Wait. 
Not all at once. Okay. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Thank you so much. We didn't uh, have to wait this long to leave, but you guys did it for me and my family. I can't ever thank you enough. She pulled out the master key from her back pocket and swirled it around in her... Don't! Don't swirl it! Don't, lo don't lose the key! Don't lose it. You guys ready to get out of here? Actually, I was thinking of staying here for the rest of my life. <laughs> Tara, no! Not having internet is the best thing ever. Oh, You know what? Maybe the pressures of social media got to her as a streamer. She said she was a streamer before. Maybe she can just... not use the internet anymore. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. Uh... Let's get out of here. After you, Allie. <laughs> Okay, aren't they going to be suspicious that we're all just, like, together, though? We followed Allie out of the mansion through the forest into the hangar. Whoa, I didn't see this. Granted, I didn't- I don't go outside. I don't blame you. It's pretty much out of the way. Not that we have to worry about it now. Allie pulled out the master key and swirled it around her right hand. She walked to the door in the hangar and put the key in the lock. Oh, it's not going to be the right. It's not going to be the right one. She tried to turn it, but it didn't work. She tried a few more times, but the lock refused to budge. I, I don't understand. I've seen Kat use this key everywhere, including here. They must have changed the locks. Does this mean we're stuck here? I don't. It was rare that Allie tripped over her words. It hurts to see her so defeated. I don't know. An uncomfortable silence fell over us. Am I am I going to die here? Are all of us? No, we're n we are not out of this just yet. I refuse to give up. Again. Oh, Violet. But we can't get into the hangar. There's no way to break in without triggering the alarms. For now, yes, but getting it later is a different story. If I remember correctly, whenever you went to, uh, on a third date with Tane, you would fly in a plane together. Well, I'm assuming the plan was you two. It's just like you to try something crazy and drag, uh, drag in Tane. I can't refute that. That was definitely us. How we never died on this plane rides, I'll never know. That means the staff don't mind if you take the plane during the date. That means we should be able to ask for the key temporarily. We'd still be able to get the plane. It'd just be during tomorrow's date. There would be way more staff around than usual, but we'll, uh, we'd still have a chance. Exactly. The rest of us can be relatively close by, perhaps at the beach to avoid suspicion. Then why... Uh, when you get the plane, we run over, you pick us up, and we are out of here. And we're out of here! <laughs> it makes me think of, like, Bendy and the Ink Machine. <laughs> and if this happens, I'm out of here! <laughs> this could work. It's better than how, uh, my plan turned out anyway. I was worried for a second there, but it was for nothing. <laughs> I've got this. We've got this. We'd be in a tight spot without you. It's a team effort. Without each of us here, we would uh, be stuck here with no choice of escape. No chance of escape. Oh my god, I'm sure. Cough. <clears throat> Speak for yourself. I'm sure I could get us out here on my own. You would shut down the second you reach the beach, Tara. On second thought, maybe teamwork makes a, 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 the dream <laughs> work. <laughs> We laughed together. The mood was infinitely better than uh, it was just a few moments ago. We spent the rest of the night talking about the details of the plan, including uh, what we do if the unexpected happened. Like, shouldn't they already be suspicious because, like, they're all, like, together right now? You know? One thing was for sure. We weren't giving up on getting out of here. It all ends tomorrow. Yeah, I think they already know, too. I think they do. I think we're getting close to the end game, everyone. 
I, I say that like a few hours ago, but... <laughs> what do you know, Tane? You actually made it to the last one-on-one -on -one date. How are you feeling? Pretty, pr pretty, pretty good? <laughs> Honestly, pretty good. I'm excited to see how a day with Allie will be. Oh, you got a real surprise in store. She has all of us in the crew working extra hard to prepare a special day for you. And by all of us in the crew, I mean the Brothers Five. That's true. Oh, that's true. Four is doing like all the recording uh, at nighttime. That is true. That is true. How about you go find her? Spend some time together while we set things up for you. Sounds like a plan, Cat. Let's see. Oh, looks like she's by the beach. <clears throat> Guess that's where I'm heading. Beach episode. Don't do anything. We can't air. Murder is okay. But God forbid someone takes their top off. I waved to Cat as I went on my way. Just as Kat said, Allie was by, uh, by the beach. She was looking out at the ocean. Morning, Allie. Tane, it's always nice to see you. The difference between Allie's voice during the day and night was like... <laughs> Wait, what? The difference between Allie's voice during the day and night was like day and night? You could have came up with a different simile. That could have been a different comparison. Anyway. <laughs> maybe they, yeah, maybe they did think they were trying to be clever. Who knows? I guess we do have to worry about the cameras, but still, it takes some getting used to. I know it's going to be tough to top your previous uh, dates with all the other girls, but I think I have a good shot. I'm looking forward to it, Allie. You better be. We've uh, been saving the best for last. She reached for my hand. Walk with me? I reached uh, for her outstretched hand. It'd be my pleasure. The two of us walked around the beach for a while, getting to know each other. You can't... Okay. Getting to know each other? Okay, I understand. They're trying to, like, create a ruse for, like, the, the evil people. But... But... You can't say getting to know each other in, like, quotations. It's, it sounds dirty. <laughs> yeah, are they- yeah, are they fucking? <laughs> so- so we- so we know how she sounds at night. That's what they're implying. Thank you for the follow. Hello, hello. <laughs> so, what will you be doing when the show's over? First thing I'm going to do is to say hey to my family again. Say hey to my family again? Say a hi That's so casual. Say hi to your family again. <laughs> oh, you like my horns? Thank you. Thank you. I'm sure uh, that they've they've gone sick with uh, worry in the week since I've been gone. Okay. Has it been a week? Has it been two years? I thought it's been two years since they've like all been here doing the same thing over and over again. I wonder what they are thinking now. It's been at least two... Yeah! <sighs> two years since then. Oh, did she... Is... Did she... <sighs> what is this timeline? Worried sick in the week since I... Wait. Worried sick in the week since I've been gone. I wonder what they are thinking now. It's been at least two years since then. This timeline is fucking me up. Cat was right. Sometimes not remembering is a blessing. Yeah, that... Okay, that's what I'm... That's what I'm wondering. Yeah. Okay. We have different time perceptions, I guess. Yes. Yes. Okay. Ali doesn't have that luxury. Anyways, I've got a surprise for you. Come on. She pulled me along uh, the hand, uh, wait, along by hand into the forest. I have to say, Ali's really impressed in me. Uh, this this is my feeling in the game right here. Ali's really impressed me. I agree, game. 
Ah, oh, that is smart. Yeah, she's probably just saying. Yeah, she's probably just saying that. Um, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was deliberate plan to come uh, into the forest and get to the hangar, but she made it seem so spontaneous. You're going to love it. Ah, <gasps> I saw it the same moment she did. Oh no, what's happening now? It was all we can do was stand and watch. No. I bet the plane's not there anymore. She staggered and almost fell. And who could blame her? <gasps> no! No! <laughs> Can I get some Pepe hands? I don't have my hands today, everyone. I need Pepe hands. <laughs> color this was our only escape from the island color uh, it's good to see, it's good to see you <laughs> but no uh, <laughs> the point of the game no the hangar was engulfed in roaring flames the heat was incredible there was no way either of us could take another step towards the hangar without being burned alive the stench of burning oil assaulted me with mercy. Oh, sorry, without mercy. Can we get a shadow for color? Oh, color, it's good to see you. <laughs> um, color, uh, I commissioned color for uh, a BGM, and also, uh, color is, uh, I commissioned a jingle for our podcast from Color too, so I'm really excited, everyone. <laughs> yeah, we need we need Fs, we need Fs for the plane. A stench of burning oil salted me without mercy. We were uh, at a loss for words, and in front of uh, all those flames was her walking away from the flames. Somehow, I just know it was her. Sorry, Allie, Tane, there's been a small change of plans. <gasps> you bitch! I hate you! You played with my heart? You played with my heart? And this is what you do? I'm sure you can tell, but we've hit a few snags with the hangar. How about you two spend the day on the ground instead? Oh, if I had my hands today, I'd, gi I'd give you the biggest middle finger. The biggest of middle finger. I want to scream. I want to attack her with every bone in my body. She's, she's hot, but she's a bitch! <laughs> I... <sighs> I... I don't know what the right course of action is. <laughs> I am livid right now. At attack? Yeah? Hey, here's the thing, everyone. This game lets you pick your pronouns at the beginning. I'm a girl attacking a girl. Therefore, it is okay. <laughs> As soon as I took one step towards her, I could feel a hen pulling me back. It's Allie. One look from her says everything. You can't do this. Why can't I? She's a bitch! <laughs> and she's right. I can't afford to put everyone in danger. Ugh. Oh. Ugh, oh, I guess like me attacking her is like... Knowing that, them knowing that we're, we want to escape, but it, I mean, at this point, they already know it, you know? And she's right. I can't afford to put everyone in danger. 
To hold myself back from giving away what this play meant to me took all my strength I had. Yeah, it's like, but they already know. Like, why can't we just, just attack her? I need to calm down. Cat might be able to read my face and see that. Sounds fine to me, Cat. I'm just glad you're safe. What happened? We're still looking into that. Looking into it. Well, either way, there's nothing we can do about that. How about we go somewhere else, Tane? She reached for my hand and held it tightly. Oh, Alec! Thank you so much for seven months! Thank you! Absolutely amazing. You're amazing. Thank you for the seven months. <laughs> Thank you for the support. Thank you. <laughs> you are breathtaking. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Oh, uh, so sad about this plane, though. What are, what are we going to do? What are we going to do, everyone? How could she smile like this at me? Hmm. Of course, Allie. For the rest of the day, Allie and I put on the performance of a lifetime. Though our faces were all smiles and laughter, we knew now more than ever that we were trapped in cats. Sounds like Macabre, right? Macabre. Macabre. <laughs> Macabre. Oh, I hope. Yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. I keep, I keep thinking it's like, this is going to be the end of the game. This is going to be the end of the game. But it's not. Yeah. Macabre. Macabre. <laughs> Macab. <laughs> Puppet show. And Kat loved to make us dance. She must uh, have known that we were trying to escape. But how? Did we make a mistake? Did four give us away? Should we have ever trusted him in the first place? Hmm. Who can I trust now? Time is ticking and the end will show... Wait, the end of the show looms closer and closer. It's you. You eat that bitch. <laughs> it's time. It's time I suppose... Wait, I'm supposed to meet with the group, but what would we even do? There's no way we can escape. Our last chance died with the hangar. Should I just... Make a break for it? No, I'd never make it, and the others would suffer for my mistake. What do I do? You don't look so good, Tane. Fuck you, you... Ugh. I've been bad. Mm. What do you want? <laughs> I'm not in a great mood right now. Can we talk later? You're not much for acting, are you, Tane? Oh, fuck off. Look, I already know about you and your plan to escape. My blood ran cold. You know, take the plane, fly away from here. It wasn't hard to figure out. I tried to say something in my defense, but my voice wouldn't come out. It was all I could do to stand wide-eyed. I know you and the others found the lab, got your memories back. Well, at least the others did. And I know that every night you all work together to find a way out. I mean, of course I'd know. How? I'm the reason why you got this far. What do you mean? Just follow me. You'll save all of us time. We walked to the lock room near the games room. She took out her master key and spent... Wait, and span it. I don't like... No! Spun it! Spun it! It's not span it. Ugh. <laughs> you never really thought um, a bunny could take a key from me, right? <sighs> Honestly, I don't know what to believe anymore. She opened the door. Hello. The others were inside looking as surprised as I was. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't kill you right now, cat. Do you th Okay, new twist, everyone. New twist, she wants to escape with us. 
How much you want to bet? One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. She, she probably wants to escape with us. Okay, let's 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 see what happens then. Give me a good reason why I shouldn't kill you right now, cat. How about two? Oh, what? Uh. First, your inside man was n never four. It was me. Okay. I mean, come on. He wouldn't be smart enough for something like this. Second. You only ever had a chance at escaping this island because of me. Newsflash. Allie, those tanks never just bug out. You're the one who let me, uh... You're the one who let me out of my tank. The one and only. Allie was, uh, at a loss for words, and I was no different. What do you want, cat? Honestly, the same thing. See, I ca I called it. I called it. She wants to get she wants to get the fuck out of here. I want off this crazy train. So What the plane would have helped us, cat? The plane would have helped us. Do you not understand? Unless of mm. I want you guys to include me in your little escape plan. Okay. Okay. What? Do I have something on my face? <sighs> ah! As hard as it is to believe the list of people who want to stay on this island is pretty short. Yeah, Scarlet and Violet still best girls. <laughs> Hell no, we can't trust you. I I'm not sure how, but I remember... I remember I tried to- yeah, I tried to escape with you before, you bitch! And you betrayed me! Ex-girlfriend! I trusted you, I even fell for you! Yeah! What do you have to say about that? Even five girls isn't enough. Unbelievable. And then you betrayed me and shot me! There's no way we could ever trust you. You're going to stab us in the back. Isn't that true, Cat? I'm ashamed to say it is, but I didn't have a choice. Yeah? Why didn't you have a choice, Cat? You know how it is with Damien. It doesn't matter if you share the same blood. He'll take the people you love hostage and use them to force you to dance to his tune. Uh, I don't... I don't... I don't buy it. I'm sorry I betrayed you, Tane. I, no, you're not! You shot me. I could have died with my blood loss. <laughs> but if I had to do it again, I'd do it again in a heartbeat because there was someone someone I need to save. Oh, who do you need to save, cat? I know I must look like the villain to you, but believe me, I have people I care about too. If you're so uh, compassionate, how come you burned up our only way out of here? You're lucky I did, Tane. If you actually flown the plane, uh, you'd all be in the bottom of the ocean. Wait, did they rig it? Did they, like, put a thing on the plane? What do you mean? It's a cruel trick of Damien's. He knew there was a chance that people on the show would recover their memories and try to escape. So he made us build the hangar and the plane. It's the one place anyone trying to escape would go. Exactly. I've told you in the past, Ellie, never fly that plane or take the boat out of sight of this island. If you did, you'd have blown up like fire. That would make for good TV entertainment. People would wonder about the consistency of the previous, um... There's so, there's so many plot holes here. The, if there was truly an audience, they would wonder about the previous contestants, wouldn't they? That Ali and I were in the plane, which was a little more than flying death trap, sent a chill down my spine. Oh no. Look, the simple reality is you need me to escape. Without me, 
you won't even make it past the barrier. What barrier? Exactly. <sighs> and though I hate it, I need you guys to help me in my... My... My us... Ex escape. She reached her hand towards me for a handshake. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's it's just for Damien at this point. There is no audience. Allies? Let's discuss first. Cat leaned uh, against the wall while the rest of us debated what to do. Can we really trust her? This might just be another trap. It's not like it'd be the first um, by her you'd fall into, Tane. You're right. That said, it's not like we have much to lose. Man. <sighs> Even if she's done terrible things to us in the past, we still need her to escape. You all right, Allie? I'm fine. I'm just angry at myself. Hey, don't beat yourself up about it. We're still alive. That's what counts. She's right, you know. I, I'm not sure how I'm feeling right now either, but we're alive. <laughs> yeah, she could have just shot her father. She didn't have to shoot me. She could have shot her father. Good point. Good point. Actually, it's kind of funny that you mentioned Dead, Dead Men Wonderland. I've only watched a few episodes of it, and it was kind of like... It was kind of hard for me to watch after a while, because I was like... Nah, this wouldn't fly. I mean, I'd like to give Dead Men Wonderland, like, another chance. Because I think... I, I did watch, like, three or so episodes of it. Ah... Oh, oh, man. Maybe Damien has, like, friends. <laughs> Maybe... <laughs> That counts for... Okay, so we're alive. That counts for something. You're right, Tane. And as much as I hate to say it, I think we'll need Kat's help, trustworthy or, or not, Um, if we want to stay that way. Okay. Ugh. I don't know if, if this choice actually matters. We got to keep an eye on her or we have to trust her. Does it even matter? No trust? <laughs> no trust? Ugh, okay, yeah, we'll keep an eye on her. Here's the thing. It's always good to be skeptical. <laughs> it's, it's always good to be skeptical. <laughs> Skeptical and critical. Yes. But the thing... The thing is, like, when it comes to anime... Anime is always, like, 100%, right? It's always like, yeah, we gotta trust each other, friendship, etc, etc, right? But... Real life? Nah. Skepticism. Critical thinking. <laughs> but we'll need to keep an eye on her. I couldn't say it better myself. All right, Kat, if you want our help, you're going to need to answer a few questions. Ask away. What the hell is this sick show for? They, that's what I want to know. And why have you been forcing us to repeat it over and over? As someone from the Resistance, uh, it should be obvious to you. This is just one of hundreds of killing shows we air. Shows that keep people scared, that keep people from organizing against the government. That just makes me even more confused. Because why... Why and how? <laughs> what? Like... My, my mind is just going through... Man. We, you want to paralyze people with fear. You broadcast exactly what will happen to you if you, if you rise up. You're monsters. You know what? You know that? I don't disagree with you, but we're not in charge here. Some of us still have families to lose. Allie. Okay. Okay. Continue. Before we air each show, we test them internally on test audiences to see what kind of ratings they bring for the fortunate and what kind of despair they bring for the less fortunate. Okay. 
if they test well enough, we error it, we error it, but it wasn't efficient. But we couldn't just film a killing show over and over again to see which version of it uh, rated best. You can't bring people back from the dead. It was the same for the test audiences. You couldn't just make them watch multiple versions of a show as they'd remember pre previous versions that would influence their opinions. There was no way to test multiple versions of a show without losing the feeling that lives that 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 lives were really in danger. But my the memory rewriter should have changed that. It did. We were able to reuse everybody, our volunteer actors, the test audiences, since we could just make people forget what happened. We could film a run after run of the show where each was as if it was this is so convoluted. As if it were the first time to all of it. Ugh. What a mess. And that's exactly what we've been doing here for the last two years. So it has been two years. And it was a lot to hear. It was a lot to hear. I had a feeling, but to know that people looked at us like we were nothing but lab rats. Well, I genuinely was afraid. I, I genuinely was afraid for my life. It's sickening. We were silent for a while. If you've been testing the show this long, when's the real? Th yeah. So when's the real show? There is no real thing. It's only what version tests the best. So let me get this straight. Let me let me get this straight. They have a test audience. They have volunteer. We we are the the volunteer actors or whatever. So they make the audience forget everything over and over again. They make us forget everything over again, and they're testing what the best scenario is. The oh my god. Wow, the things that people will do for those YouTube views. <laughs> that said, there's only so much time Damien is willing to spend on this show, and the time is almost up. This is the last run of the show. If you don't escape before the end, you're all as good as dead. I know Damien and I have said that we'd let you and your chosen partner go if you um, achieve good enough ratings, but yeah, that was a freaking lie it's a lie isn't it yeah 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 it's a lie it's a lie of course it's a lie i'm sorry i've waited this long to try to help you guys yeah w maybe you should have helped us sooner cat it's been too s <laughs> i've been too scared to risk it all but i've nothing left to lose now yeah you have nothing left to lose now yeah she extended her hand to me for a handshake allies at least till we're out of here i don't really have a choice this time either huh if you wanted to, you could report us right now. That's true, and my word would count for more than all of yours. But that wouldn't save the person I need to. Like it or not, we have to work together. <laughs> oh. Then it's a deal. Ali shook uh, Kat's hand. Kat, are you sure you don't want to... I'm fine, Scarlet. It's not important anymore, and we don't have any time to waste. What? If you say so. What is she concerned about? Something about... Oh, no. Anyway, because, like, they know each other. Somehow. Ugh. The only time we can escape is the last day of the show, between midnight and just before the sun goes down. That's when the boat comes to welcome the newly engaged couple, and that's the only way off the... Uh, off the the island alive it also doubles as a supply ship we use it to replenish uh, between each run of the show are there no other plans on the island a boat would be far slower unfortunately it's not so easy there's a protective shield around the island which uh, performs two functions first it renders us invisible to satellites it's the reason why your people couldn't find us Allie. second if anything bigger than a human tries to get um, in or outside of the barrier, it'll get fried. Unless it's emitting um, incompatible 
IFF signal? The only way off the island that will have that signal is the boat. I'm betting it'll be heavily guarded. Well, yes, but not from people on it. The ship itself will be run by a skeleton crew. It's the staff on the island who will have to watch out for. That still leaves the question of how we'll deal with them. Last time I checked, there's hundreds of them and not and not even 10 of us. Actually, it might not be so hard after all. I've got a plan that just might work. Yui, really? Though, I have to admit, it's a little crazy. I like the sound of that. If it involves zombies again, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Yui explained her plan to us with a renewed confidence that could inspire anyone to believe. Luckily, we still have tomorrow, so we have just the amount of time we need. This just might work, Yui. You're a mad genius. It's crazier than anything I'd imagine. And crazy enough to work. Let's get to work. Wait. Were we even listening to the same plan? The others went their separate ways to help prepare for Violet's plan. But Kat stayed. Our business wasn't finished just yet. What's up? What's your game? <laughs> Here, I'm going to save that in a, a separate slot. Uh, I want to say this one, but like... Yeah, that's the thing. I, I was actually going to question that. I thought it was Yui's plan. I don't know why it said Violet's plan. How am I supposed to trust you? I want to trust you, Kat, I really do, but you burned me before. Yeah, you burned me. We were supposed to be lovers. How could I ever trust you now? That's fair. The only thing I could say to try to make you trust me is that we both have people we care about, Tane. And that if you don't, if you don't escape, then the person I care about will go down with you. I'm not asking for you to put your neck out for me. You'll never have to. I'm asking for you to help somebody that you never met and you never will. Somebody innocent. It's strange. This woman has put me through hell, treated me like a lab rat and more, and yet... Somehow I think she's telling me the truth. Ah! I'm so pissed. Honestly, it doesn't really matter if you do trust me. You'll see tomorrow that I'm going um, along with Violet's plan either way. Hey, was it Violet's plan or Yui's plan? I'll trust you, Kat. Oh, I hate that. No. I'm sorry for yelling at you earlier. No! Don't apologize. It's justifi- Ugh, No. Justifiable. Don't be. I literally- Yeah, I literally- Yeah, she shot the main character. No. I think it earns you the right to be angry and more. No. We- <sighs> Well, I've got to know you over the past year. Not for more than a couple of weeks straight, but I got to know you. <sighs> Did we get to know her? Not really. And I think you're rude and manipulative and have no problem lying to my face. Hey, can we skip the part where you were... You com uh, compliment me? You're also incredibly crass. You keep secrets from everyone and... You finished? But I don't think you're a bad person. Uh... Eh. Every time uh, the show ran, you always talk to me and make me feel like I wasn't alone. Yeah, because she had to. Because she had to. And you made sure I never lost hope. Because she had to. Bruh. Wow. I know that was never part of the job. You don't have to do that. Yet you did, over and over. It must have been so tiring to do that over- No! It's- No! Uh, <laughs> I was actually gonna say that MC is beta. MC is beta as fuck. <laughs> uh, or just like full on like- 
MC protagonist anime stupid. I'm seething. <laughs> I can I can fix her, man. Bro, I can fi I can fix her. <laughs> Knowing that uh, we were doomed. I don't know why you're doing this, but I believe that you do care about helping people. I'm flattered, Tane. But you've got me wrong. What do you mean? Everything I've done for you, the others, it's been for my own self. See? I could tell that she's just in it for herself. Come on, MC. Come on. I'll have a good night drinking, buddy. Night night. Night night to you. I'll have a good lurk. Have a good lurk. Also, I want to say the person she cares for, I just, I just think that's her lover. Pro probably. I don't, I don't know if it's family or something, but, um, we got, we got, we, we got friend zoned pretty hard, everyone. She used us for sex. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it just happens, it happens to line up nicely. Though I appreciate the compliment. Unlike before, I couldn't tell if she was lying she was telling the truth oh we went our separate way shortly after i spent the rest of the night helping the others with preparing for the plan i was exhausted when i went back to my room but i still couldn't fall asleep for several hours it's as if something's on the tip of my tongue but i can barely uh i but i just barely can't grasp it yet somehow i know i'm closer than i've ever been Kat was, uh, true to her word. Instead of having another date on the sixth day of the show, she planned a huge party for the staff instead. A thank you for all the hard work party. As soon as she told the staff that Violet would be cooking for the event, all of them dropped everything and, uh, helped prepare for it. While the staff prepared the party grounds during the day, each of us, uh, were hard at work making sure that other parts of, uh, parts of it went well. Violet cooked mountains of food as if her life depended on it. In truth, it did. Yui was planning gifts uh, with the staff outside. Oh, I was just hoping for such a better twist than like... <laughs> Time to drink. I agree. I almost want to like get myself another drink. <laughs> man. Man. Holy crap, it's almost four in the morning. It's kind of funny because like when I started the stream, I was kind of like, you know what? I maybe I'll do a short stream because like I'm feeling tired, but like I just want to know more of like what's happening with the story and everything. <laughs> uh. Um, it didn't take long for her to become the fast favorite for them. Good morning. Good morning, Lindy. <laughs> oh boy, I'm pretty sure half of the staff were uh, playing the games just so they could uh, get her to notice them. And she sh wait, wait. And she knew it. I have to admit, I'm really impressed by Yui. Her plan um, is really coming together. Tara and Scarlet joined forces to make uh, sure all the staff joined the festivities. Tara used Kat's producer room to find any stragglers who hadn't joined the festivities. As Tara found them one by one, Scarlet turned on the charm and made sure that they came with her to the party. I like her little sticky tongue out thing. I like that. I, I like that a lot. Then when it was time for Scarlet to switch to her other mission, Ali took over, though I'm told she employed more force than charm. Meanwhile, I ran around like a chicken with its head cut off, trying to make sure every part of the plan was going smoothly. And for once, it did. A few hours later, we had every staff member on the island partying their lights out. What kind of dating sim is it? Uh, we are dating to fight our life. <laughs> or to stay alive, I guess. Fighting for our life, but dating. <laughs> Everybody here? Everybody's here? You bet. You should have seen the ones that tried to run. I made sure everyone uh, who came stayed too. Perfect. Everybody's eaten? As they should have. It's fine food. It is fine food. Looks like it's all going according to plan. I'm just going ahead uh, to get... Wait, get to the fun part. 
Scarlet pulled out uh, a remote from her pocket and pressed a button. A few seconds later, fireworks start shooting out into the night above the party grounds. The cheers of the staff were like thunder. And with that, the plan is going as smoothly as can be. Great job, team. We owe you one, Yui. Right, back at you, Allie. We cheered as fireworks after fire firework after firework lit up the night sky. Whoa, are fireworks supposed to be this bright? Come to think of it, those fireworks are practically blinding. I have to say, I did a pretty good job with those fireworks. Though there might be some side effects uh, watching them from so close. Hmm. Let's worry about that later. The fireworks were the uh, signal to those trying to escape that there was nothing left to do except wait. It's going to be a long night. I know what we said before, but it'd be such a shame to spend tonight just worrying over what may happen tomorrow. We might live, we might die, some as same as any other day. How about instead we just dance the night away? I would say I'm not finished I'm not finished the game yet, but it's a free game. And I have been entertained. So I I'll probably wrap up my thoughts like at the end of playing it. <laughs> you know what? That sounds great. It's a free game on Steam, so that sounds lovely. Let's do it. Come on, let's dance like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, yes, girls, let's dance. <laughs> Yuck. Don't be like that, Tara. It'd be good for us to blow off some steam. Dancing sounds like exercise and exercise. Allie picked up Tara over her shoulder and away we go. Come on, come on. Scarlet grabbed my hand and pulled me with her to where people were dancing and the others followed close behind me. You sure are carefree, huh? Some things never change. Maybe we'll get out of here tomorrow. Maybe we won't. I hope we do, though. I like... I like to think that one day... We'll look back and remember this day. Why would... Why, this is, like, traumatic. Why would you ever want to remember this? <laughs> I would have PTSD from this whole experience. I would not want to remember any of this. I would probably use one of those memory-forgetting devices that the game has already established to wipe my memory of this experience. <laughs> We lived like there was no tomorrow. This is not a happy moment. <laughs> and we'll find out if there is a tomorrow for us. It's like the whole like Final Fantasy X thing of Titus going. <laughs> we don't know if we're going to live. We're going to die. <laughs> we waited in the dark for hours waiting for the boat to come. The plane, the, the plane, the plan was simple. Boys. The plan was simple, <laughs> yet... <laughs> oh, I need water. <laughs> yet yeah, had no room for air. First, we need to make sure the boat was... Uh, the boat really is coming. It's later than usual. You think they're on to us? No, it'll just be a little longer. It's cold. There's no point worrying at this point. If they're onto us, we're already dead. Also, if you are like in a boat in the ocean or something, uh, you need to like be warm. <laughs> Go take some things. Like it's probably gonna be cold out there. Mama Tani says wear a sweater. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my god. I have to keep clearing my throat. All we can do is wait. Okay. We waited for an hour or more. Then another. Then another. We were losing hope. I guess we're... It's here. Cat pointed towards the ocean. We all looked in unison. Just as she said, the boat was coming. It looked huge, despite how... Oh, it's huge, baby. Uh, despite how far it was. It must be massive from up close. Oh, okay. So it's a big boat, then. It's like a ship. When they said boat, I'm thinking of, like, tiny boats, but is it, like, a ship? All right, it's going to be a few minutes before it reaches the shore. Let's, uh, book it back to the mansion. 
Second, we need to get back to the mansion before the boat reaches the shore. From what Kat told us, the staff will physically inspect the mansion to make sure we're there. We can't rely on overriding the feeds. If we're not there, they'll sound the alarm, and our chance of escaping go from slim to nil. According to Kat, it's how I got caught last time. Hmm... Maybe you should have just escaped with me, Kat. Maybe you shouldn't have shot me. Maybe you should have shot your father. <laughs> Maybe you should have shot the antagonist. Instead of betraying me. And we could have left together. We made it back to the mansion and rushed to our respective rooms. I turned off the light and jumped into the bed to pretend to be asleep. A few moments later, I heard the sound of somebody opening a door. It must be them. There was a mechanical rhythm to it. Footsteps, a door would open. More footsteps, a short pause. Footsteps again, a door would close, repeat. Over and over, closer and closer till it got to my room. I tied, wait, I, tr I tried my best to make my breath sound natural. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. Footsteps, a second later, my door opens. I can tell there's probably about five people. Breathe in. They're walking closer to me. Breathe out. I can tell two of them are in front of me. They're muttering uh, somewhere under their breaths. You have to pity her. Come on. She could do better. Rude. <laughs> Breathe in. Hey, something's wrong. It feels like my heart stopped. Breathe out. They're moving closer to me step by step. What's that? Breathe in. I think. It takes everything I have not to move. When every nerve of my body screams to run. This is it. They're on to me. I can't help but ball my fist in my hand. I... Never mind. We're done for the night. Let's head out. Sounds good to me. I heard them walk further away from me. Then outside the room. Finally, they closed the door. I breathed out like never before. On to the next part of the plan. We regrouped downstairs. That wasn't so difficult, was it? Like tracking- just Taking candy from a baby. Wait, where's Tara? I'll go check on her. As if on cue, Tara came running to, uh, down the stairs. I'm good, don't worry about it. And I definitely didn't fall asleep just now. Tara, we're trying to escape for our lives! I didn't buy it. The rest of us didn't either. Alright, back to the problem at hand. We may have avoided detection for now. But now... There's going to be upward of a hundred guards on patrol between here and the boat. My god, they must have paid so many people for this. There's little to no chance we can all make it there without being seen, but it's a chance that we'll have to take. Actually, we have just that the thing for that. Courtesy of Scarlet and I. What's that? Well, we went through the trouble of preparing such a big party for the staff. It would be a shame if we didn't give them a little extra to chew on, no? You didn't! Oh, she did. It was like an absurd scene from an art house movie gone mad. Laxative? Laxatives? Oh. Oh, okay. She made them zombies. Brains, banana! Brains and bananas! I thought she could just give them laxatives or something. Hundreds of zombies litter the field. You know, I can't believe we ever let you make shit, Scarlet. You better be glad that you did. Now that I think about it, we could have just put a sleeping agent or something in. Where's the fun in that? Well, we still have to go past them to get to the boat, right? Don't worry about it. I've got a fair share of experience taking down zombies. Something about that rubs me the wrong way. Don't worry about it. Let's be on our way. We managed to sneak out of the mansion without much of a fuss. As soon as we got to the forest, it was smooth sailing. There were just a few zombies in there, to be honest. How much Scarlet enjoyed herself taking them down was more concerning. I'll worry about when we get off this island for now. I'll focus on getting out of here. For a few moments later, we made it to the beach. The boat was clear in sight. Wow, it's huge. 
Let's not waste any time. We rushed into the ship and ran straight for the captain's deck. Yeah. Yeah, MC bad. MC is bad. Very bad. Um, you guys wait here. It's practically guaranteed that the engine's been tampered with and I'll need to fix it. What? Why is the engine tampered with? What? If I know my father, he'll do it just the way uh, it was last time. You know what? Tane, come with me just in case. Maybe it's where the crew members are. Lead the way. And there were crewmates. It was pitch black inside. Cat had had to shine a light to see anything. Strange. Where are they? Oh, well, let's not look a gift horse in the mouth. Found it. Chalk it up to my dad outsourcing everything to the grunts. This is child's play to me now. Cat got uh the uh, got to work fixing the engine. Watch my back. We still don't know if we're in the clear, and this is gonna take a minute. Got it. I turned around. Uh, and kept a lookout. It was almost impossible to see anything, though. Since when were you a mechanic? Honestly, since my first failed escape. I had to teach myself there isn't exactly a trade school on this island. If I hadn't, I'd never been able to um, help anybody escape uh, this island. I'm sorry I didn't trust you before, Kat. I, I, I get it now why you did what you had to do. Keep talking like that and you'll raise a... Death lay for both of us. Jeez. We can talk more later, if you'd like. In the meantime, there's a the bo this boat is fixed. Nice. Let's... T <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's tell the others and get uh, the hell out of here. Looks like a pretty fancy boat. I don't... I think this is more of a yacht. I thought it would be like a shipping boat. But it looks like a yacht. <laughs> we ran back uh, to the others and told them the good news. At the same time, Kat revved up the engine in the boat. We were good to go. We literally jumped for joy as the boat started to move. We, we, gosh, I, I can't believe. No, you don't say that until you're almost out. No, no, you don't prematurely celebrate until you're almost there. We're really doing it. We're finally getting out of here. It's hard to believe, but it's true. We did it. Now, now, you don't have to thank me all at once. We really did it. Thank you, Kat. You really saved us. You did. We wouldn't be able to get to this point if it weren't for you. There's no need to thank me. I actually should apologize that I didn't do any of this sooner. I... Ah, there it is, everyone. They prematurely celebrated. Cat turned white as a sheet when we heard the voice that was all too familiar. No. Damn it. Damien. Ding, ding, ding. I guess you learned at least something in school, Cat. Not it cl enough clearly, but hey, it's something. That's got a win in participation ribbon somewhere. That's got to win a participation ribbon somewhere. You knew what I was planning. Of course I did, dearie. I made you. I know exactly how you think. And I have to thank you. Your mother would be proud at the show you've given us these last two years. Oh, was she trying to save her mother, maybe? What? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I forget to tell you? While you were busy filming Tani and those other bitches, my team was filming your brave attempts to save these idiots. Yeah, of course they were. Yeah, I was kind of figuring it'd be something stupid like that. Gives the audience a little bit more reason for why they should stay in line. You know, after all, if I do this to my own daughter, imagine what I'd do to someone who wasn't. You asshole. You're a monster. Flattery will get you nowhere, Kit Kat. Well, it doesn't matter now. Do whatever the hell you want. We're getting out of here. We fixed the bone. There's nothing you can do to stop. Uh, you No, you can't say that. No, don't do that. We're getting out of here. Saying garbage like that is just playing with fire, love. The earth started to shake. Even though we were on the boat, I could tell the island was rumbling. What? Is he 
he trying to take the whole island down or something now? In the distance, a metal barrier slowly rose out of the ocean and all around the island? What? It climbed higher and higher till it cast a shadow over the boat. Higher and higher till the only day we could daylight we could see was just from a circle above us. We were trapped. How about we play a game, little rats? Damien spoke down to us uh, from some kind of holographic scene on the walls. He gestured to some kind of machine behind it. It looked like a strange kind of stadium. I got myself a little switch here that controls the barrier. One push of this and you'll be free to go. It'd be easier for you to waltz on in and flip it. You've gotten rid of all of our security. But this switch is the only... Wait, this switch is only going to work if you have two people's hands... Wait, handprints? With producer level clearance? Oh my god, this is so stupid! Sure, you got cat, but you'll never be able to get mine. He pulled out the same gun I'd been shot with before. Though, don't let that stop you from trying. The hologram disappeared with a click, leaving us in an uneasy silence. <sighs> Our hands are tied. We have no choice but to go back. Hello, he's got a gun. He'll take us down before we even have a chance to grab him. We've got no choice, though. Can't the zombies just get at him? You produced a whole bunch of zombies. If we wait here, um, it's only a matter of time before they can send people after us. I guess we have to head back to the beach. Let's turn this around. We got... We, we got an ass to kick. No, that's exactly what Damien wants you to do. The turning around part or the ass kicking. I'll leave that to your imagination. Damien has a script that he wants to see play out. People try to revolt, fail, and get killed. I guarantee you, if we do just that, he has a plan for it. He'll find some kind of way to turn us against each other, and then none of us will be making it out of here alive. Even so, we can't just stay here until we're out of time. Tanya and I will go uh, flip the switch. Besides, we're the only two people here who could do anything about it. Huh? What do you mean by that? I thought the only... It's only you and Damien. I'll explain on the way. There's no time. Tane, are you... Oh my god. It's probably something to do with my computer password being the name. Like, my name being the computer password. Are you ready to run? I won't allow it. There's no way we are letting Tane go back there without us. You said it, sister. I'm not letting you all lose your one chance at getting out of here. Yeah. it's pro I was probably a producer. Uh, that's yeah that's probably why because we don't know our past icky 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 <laughs> you know exactly what Damien is capable of I don't like this cat I know let's l let them go believe me I hate this I hate this to my core but cat's right cat didn't waste a moment she reached for my hand let's go Boys, the plan is simple. We <laughs> Before um, I knew what I was doing, we ran to the boat uh, together and back to the mansion as fast as we could. I was running on pure instinct. Like my body had done this before countless times. I looked back to the boat just once, but I couldn't help but linger. Wait, how? I couldn't help but linger for a moment. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Boys, the plan is simple. We fuck her for a second time. <laughs> I could tell from the uh, faces that we wanted uh, to be... Wait, they wanted to be running with me, not waiting for us to come back. I'm going to make Damien pay for making them suffer like this. We went back to running. I followed Kat's lead. It's earlier than I planned, but there's no time like the present for exposition about your past. It would be good to know why I'm running with you. I would... Wait, would I happen to be the resist... Wait, to be resistant to bullets? 
We'll find out if you are if you are together. Oh fuck. Though if you look at your history, I'd say I'd say no. Hey, I survived the time you shot me. I'm pretty resistant. Touche. Before you came into the show, you were pretty <gasps> We called it, everyone. We were a producer, son. Wow, amazing. Wow. Sorry, I hit I hit the wrong one. Bruh. Wow. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> We were the producer all along. Wow. <laughs> we we used to work together. We we were partners. In more ways than one though. That was forever ago. Living and working on this island was the the only life I've ever known. It sounds awful, but I don't have a problem with running these shows. There was nothing different to compare it with. But then I met you. I got... I've got no idea what would bring someone like you to this island, but you. Meeting you changed me. She smiled like I'd never seen before. You got your beta. You got... You got your beta. You got your beta. Thank you for that. Thank you, Red Dragon. <laughs> you may see that there is a world out there that was beautiful. You made me hope that I could have a part of that world one day. Hmm? Wait, did something? Oh. Oh, okay, so, Scythe, I saw that- I saw that your message got deleted. That was an accident. <laughs> that was an accident. <laughs> and you helped me, uh, realize, uh, that we needed to shut this place down if we wanted to- Wait, if there was a world out there at all. It's okay. Sometimes- sometimes misclicks happen. It's okay. <laughs> For years, we worked together uh, to free as many people as we could from this death tra these tra death traps. Death trap shows. We'd ship them away to safety, fake their deaths, everything. And we did just that for a time. Then Damien started to suspect something was up. Each day, he got closer and closer to figuring out until I knew we couldn't stay any longer. But it was too late by then. Damien caught us. You mean you betrayed me? I can't remember much, but I remember you and I, we were together. And then you sold me out right uh, when we were trying to escape. Why? It's like I said before, I didn't have a choice and I still don't. I know you have no reason to trust me anymore and I don't expect you would. But we need each other's help to get off this island now. <laughs> Since both of us are technically still producers, we can activate the switch if we work together. Ha Do I have like a clearance card or something? Hello? We don't even have to take Damien down, though. I doubt uh, he let us use it that easily. Can you trust me enough for that? Honestly, I don't know. Uh, but uh, with the, with main character, this is this is the only opportunity we can do, I guess. MC. Yeah, they did, like, did they not think to- There's so many plot holes! A part of me wants to trust Kat. The same part that unconsciously remembers uh, that I did for years and years. But how can I forget, uh... Wait, how can I forget that betrayal, even if she had her reasons? Sure, I'll keep an eye on her. 
Then we get back. Wait, when we get back to the mansion, Cat made a beeline for the lab. I ran with her as fast as I could. Our footsteps on the winding metal staircase echoed like a thundering drum. You're about to see the real reason why the show is on this island. Cat took out her master key and slid. Oh, the master key <laughs> and slid into a hidden socket in the wall behind uh, one of the tanks. Click. Don't say I didn't warn you. The same wall split into two doors, slowly revealing another hidden staircase. Oh my god, there's staircases within staircases. Shut up! <laughs> oh, you think you guys can get an elevator instead? You said I said the same thing. As soon as I took one step down the staircase, I could tell you something was different. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Something was telling me that I shouldn't go down there. St it's st yes, it's staircaseception. I hate this. Come on, we don't have time to waste. I've got nothing to lose. With each step down, it grew darker and darker. Eventually, I couldn't even see my uh, my hand in front of my face. Then light. Thank you for the follow. Hello, hello. Blinding light and apples. Wait. <laughs> Okay. You know that I'm tired because I almost re I read that I almost read that as applesauce. <laughs> I almost read it as applesauce. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's almost 4:30 in the morning. <laughs> Applause. Applause. <laughs> okay, welcome, welcome. You finally made it. Damien's face was plastered over countless screens on a stadium that could fill tens of thousands of people. Countless cameras littered the seats all focused on center stage, a battleground sprawling with maze-like walls of a uh, all shapes and sizes and littered with guns. Thanks to the walls, we couldn't see Damien directly, but we kn we knew he was here from the screen. Ugh! It's a rat maze! We wouldn't have a show with you idiots, so I'm glad you actually came back. Aw, oh, man, you couldn't even bring back the others. You're no fun! You just really gotta make me work, huh? Anyway, congrats on making it this far, etc, etc. I gotta say, I'm proud of you for making it here, daughter of mine. I'm impressed that you remembered your old ha hunt? Haunt, sorry, old haunt um, from a few seconds of video. No thanks to you, you dirtbag. Is that any way to thank someone who gives you room and board? You gave Tani a way nicer room than I ever got. Blame your mom for that one, kid. What the fuck is this? Anyway, how about you be a deer and explain the game we've got going on here. The switch we're looking for is somewhere here. The problem is, so is Damien. He's got a gun. <gasps> so we're going in the maze and he's just got a gun? And more ammunition than uh, he needs to kill both of us. What about uh, the weapons on the ground? Maybe there's something we can uh, use to level the playing field. It's all we can do, but the odds aren't in our favor. Most of the weapons laying around are useless. They're meant to make people lose hope that they could fight back. Most is better than all of them, at least. Oh my god, it's Hunger Games! Oh, well, yes and no. There's no hope to lose if we all... It's Death Games! Ah! Okay. Uh... That's Damien's MO. He gives the people trapped on the, on the shows just enough hope for escape, and he'll use that to trap you. Real guns among the fakes, boats and planes. I, I need to know how it finished. I need to, I need to know how this finishes. Hello, everyone who is joining. Hello, welcome, welcome. <laughs> I keep saying the game's probably going to end soon. And then I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> boats and planes when you're trapped on an island. Uh, if we're going to make it through this, you can't fall for his game. Understand loud and clear. Then let's go. There's no time to waste. Oh. 
We ran uh, from wall to wall, taking cover beneath between each time. Whenever we had the chance, we'd pick up what looked like a gun and see if it was real. We only had seconds to check each one. Damien was hot on our trail. <laughs> have a good night. If you if you need to sleep, have a good night. Thank you so much for spending time uh, here, Aaron. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. A gunshot rang out, blowing a hole through the wall Cat and I were hiding behind. <gasps> Yeah, D I was thinking about that. Yeah, Damien was hot on our trail. <laughs> What's the matter? You're like two rats in a in a lab. He fired again. Sh shrapnel from the wall uh, scraped my arm. Fuck. It was uh, it was my arm. Wait, ah, it was like my arm had been on lit on fire. Tane, you okay? I'll live. Don't worry. We need to find a weapon. And we need to find the switch. We ran behind another wall, narrow, narrowly dodging another shot from Damien. It dawned on me that he wasn't even trying to hit us. He was trying to make us scared. And it was working, but why? He's reloading. Come on. We dashed from behind the wall and ran past Damien, looking desperately for the switch and for any weapons we could find. I managed to pick up two pistols. Cat did the same. Damn, looks like they are they are fake too. How's yours looking? I took a look at the first one. Upon further expe expe eh, inspection, it was clear that it was no more than a plastic toy. But the second one, Kat realized the same second I did. It was real, with a single bullet loaded. All right, that's good. Let's... Another two shots rang out, blowing a hole in the wall, just next to where my head was a second ago. Fuck. How come he gets that fucking hand cannon? The budget's gone. The budget's got to go to somewhere. Fuck the budget! Where does he have all this money? Fuck this guy! This is why we shouldn't let billionaires exist. Anyway, we got the gun. That's probably the only real one in the stadium. We need to find the switch now. Even with a gun, there's no match for him. Sounds good to me. We ran further through the stadium, opposite to the entrance, until uh, we were square in the middle of the stadium. And there it was. The switch. You'd think uh, they'd have hit it better. Damien's laughter echoed through the arena, and he reappeared on the screens above the arena. Congrats, you found the switch. It's a damn shame I forgot to mention uh, something about this switch here. It won't do jack shit, even if you both have access, as long as I've got a heartbeat and i plan on sticking around but i'm not heartless in fact i think i'm a pretty decent guy for what i'm about to do cat looked like she had just seen a ghost cat tane i got an offer you can't i got an offer you can't refuse <laughs> but only one of you can claim it if either of you kills the other one i'll let one standing go oh my no you won't you lying sack of shit you won't <laughs> Liar! <laughs> we'll forget this ever happened. Just call it a, a rap, a rap on find love or die trying. I'll even let the survivor leave the island. I can even guarantee I'm telling the truth because it's airing live to the world right now. No, it's not. No, it's not. I wouldn't think it would be. People bow down and get in line because I tell them the truth. Because they know I keep my word. They, would, they wouldn't believe me for a second if I ever went back on it, you know? Not, that a, not a bad deal, huh? Especially considering that if no one takes that offer, I'll just kill both of you. I'll give you five minutes to decide, then I'm coming for you. The screen shut off. Kat and I looked at each other, a mix of horror, fear in her face, and there was no doubt... That mine mirrored hers. Tane? I can't imagine what's racing through her head right now. You probably think that I'm going to betray you again, right? I was at a loss for words. <laughs> you don't have to say anything. Look, I can't blame you for doubting me. And honestly, if you just shot me right now, I'd be okay with it. Because then, you'll go free... <laughs> 
he'd be free to go. I know Damien will keep his word. No, he won't. He won't. But if there's even a slightest chance that you want me to be able to escape from here... Oh. Then I need to ask you something that I know sounds insane. What's that? Oh, have a good night, here. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. Take care. Oh, I'm gonna hydrate. Thank you. Ah. Ah. Okay. I need... I need you to give me the gun. The only real one you've got. Look, I'm not stupid enough to know how that sounds. The simple reality is, I've known you for so long now, and the one thing I know about you... I was, I was just saying goodnight to Crunch. <laughs> and telling him I hope the game ends soon. <laughs> Okay, okay. The simple reality is, I've known you for so long now, and the one thing I know about you is that you're a terrible shot. Me? I'm as good as you can get on this island. I think I'm our best to take him down. But I understand completely if you're not willing to trust me, if you think I'm lying. I I, I get it. Oh, everyone say goodnight, Crunch. Good night. Good night, Crunch. <laughs> She closed her eyes and pressed her fingers against her forehead. Then, please, just make it quick. I'm getting like a weird sense of deja vu because I feel like I've had like a dream of this or something. <laughs> the gun uh, in my hands never felt so heavy. On one hand, I guarantee that I can make it out if you're alive. On the other, trusting Kat? Can I trust Kat after all she's done to me? Can I really believe her words when the memories that can prove or deny them are lost to me? I've got no time. I have to choose. I... Oh! Is it actually going to give me a choice? I... I'm not going to... I'm not going to kill her. She... She's probably still useful. I trust you, Kat. I held out the gun to her. You- you do? After everything I've done? After everything you've done, yes, I still trust you. I know you've been forced to do something off some awful things to people that didn't deserve it. But I know there's good in you, and I believe uh, in that good. Take it. Thank you, Tane. She took the gun from my hands. It's probably relevant to the plot. Come on, we're in an anime. <laughs> we're we're in an anime. I I have to. Friendship is magic, you know, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. <laughs> ah, true. And plus, we don't want to trust Damien. I won't let you down. Well, if you do, it's not like I'd be around for uh, long enough to regret it. Let's hope. Don't worry. I saved it right before the decision. We can kill her another time. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Let's do this. We decided to seek Damien out and try to get uh, the drop on him rather than waiting for uh, him at the switch. My heart was practically beating out of my chest. I couldn't tell that. I tell. I couldn't tell if Cat was nervous, as uh, I was. If she was, she hit it with the same poker face she always had. We dashed to another wall for cover, looked around, and repeated. How much time has passed? It feels like uh, we've been uh, looking for him for hours with the pressure, though I know it can't be more than five, a few minutes. As for the minutes passed, I could tell Kat was growing more and more impatient. She trained her gun wherever she looked, her trigger finger ready to shoot on our only bullet at any time. Left, right. I glance around, then look at her and back again. Her hands were shaking. Look left. Look right. I've only got one shot to make her break it. Or oh, sorry, we've only got one shot. Look back to Kat. She's checking a corner ahead of us. She looks left. She looks right. She takes everything I have to... Wait, it takes everything I have to... S to stay focused. Don't think about dying. Not even the possibility. She turns to look back at me. Oh no. 
Damien's walking closer and closer from behind her, with the gun resting on his shoulder. He can't be more than 10 meters away. He slowly lifts the gun off from its resting position. Before I know it, I'm running towards her with everything I have. Something is making me run. Something I've forgotten. Amai! Amai! Hello, Raiders! Hello, I hope you're doing well. <laughs> hello, hello! I hope you're doing well. And thank you. Oh my gosh, am my 11 months? Holy. 11 months. Hello Raiders. My name is Tane. I'm a Succubus VTuber. I'm an artist. I play games and do ASMR. Am I? I hope you had a fun stream. Oh, you're playing Muse Dash. That's fun. We are kind of at like a climax at this moment. Um at this part of the game. Also, um, I thank you so much for 11 months. Um, I's wonderful. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> Where were we here? Something is making me run. Something I've forgotten. Something. I'm, wait, some, something? I'm just starting to remember. It's the two of us at the beach. I can see it now. How many hours has it been? We made it to the ship, but it wasn't enough. The alarms were deafening. Security was going to be there any minute. And our only saving grace, our ship wouldn't start. That, that's, that's it then. I'd never hear Kat sound so desperate. Well, at least we tried, right? Who else can say that? She lowered her head and leaned on me. No, we're not giving up just yet. There's nothing we can do, Tane. The engine's broken and the guards will be here any minute. We got, uh, at least some weapons. It's not over yet. I grabbed my precious, uh, few firearms we had and split them between us. There's two of us and hun hundreds of them. There's no point. Not to mention you're a terrible shot. You're right. Taking them head on would be suicide. But that's not what you'll be doing. Me. I'm just some nobody. But you. You're the big man's daughter, after all. Your word means a lot to them. She was horrified. I would be too if I were in her shoes right now. No, I, I won't let you do this, Tane! <gasps> we don't have a choice. Look around! Look, I'm not happy either, but both of us dying here would be worthless. But if you live, you get a second chance to make it out of here. A, ch uh, a second chance to see the other side. I know, but what's the point if it's not with you? Wait, did she actually like us? Did she actually... Uh, like, did we, did we... Did we tell her to shoot us? You'll have to find that out yourself. You're almost they're almost here. Come on, we're running out of time. Her hands were shaking. It looked like she was going to drop her gun any second. I hate you for this, you know. I know. And I'm sorry. Oh, she didn't want to. She didn't want to shoot us. Man. She slowly raised her arms and trained uh the gun's uh sights directly at me. I'm so I'm sorry I called you a bitch. I thought she uh, I'm sorry I called you a bitch. She slowly raised her arms and trained the gun sights directly at me. And now we wait. Can you do me a favor? What's that? Don't shoot the face, please. I'd ra I'm rather proud of it. <laughs> okay, I guess MC has a bit of an ego, I guess. I don't know what I do without my supernaturally good. Wow, MC. Supernaturally good looks, huh? Okay, okay, okay. She laughed through through the tears. I would I would have still loved you even without them. Right back at you, cat. She kissed me for the last time. I love you, Tane. I love you too. Sorry, but uh, it's going to be the face. What? Let me just take off the safety. What, wait, wait, I didn't sign up for this. I heard my I heard my favorite sound one last time. I can hear the guards coming now. Uh, we've only we've only seconds left on the bright side. I won't owe you 10 bucks. Oh, oh yeah, they were talking about that. Our bet. She laughed. 
I think it's pretty clear who won the bet. I could see the guards now. My time is up. What makes you say... You did it. I'm alive? Everything hurts so bad, I almost wish I wasn't. The shock, the shock must have knocked me out cold. I coughed up blood as my vision flashed in and out rapidly, too fast to tell if, it's, if, uh, if I'd been fatally shot. It was all I could do to try to stay conscious. It's, uh, it's as you say, Father. Anyone who breaks the law must be punished. I could just barely make out her voice, but it uh, brought comfort to me. You really do take after me. You must... Wait, you made your old man very proud. Oh, well, you look at that. Looks like our little hero's got some life left. You know, Tane, you're in luck. See, the the whole escaping thing, I'm afraid I'm going to have to fire you. No severance. I tried to make a witty com <laughs> comment, but the only thing that could come out of my mouth was coughed up blood. But you're in luck. A new opportunity just opened up, and I think... He kicked me in the stomach, then rolled me over uh, with his foot. You'd be the perfect fit. He laughed as he crushed my palm under his foot. You might think I'm going soft on you by not killing you outright. He looked down at me and then back at her. But mark my words, you'll both wish I had. Do whatever you want. I don't care about Tane anymore. He laughed maniacally. I never did like Tane much. Oh, wow! Rude! Wow. Well, excuse me, princess. Damn it. My vision fading, his words turned to vapor as I could feel myself crumble into nothing. The last thing I saw was her face. She was holding the river, uh... Wait, holding the river back with everything she had? Who are you going to fool with a poker face like that? Cat. I love you, always have, always will. I'm sorry for what I forced you to do. Even more so, I'm so sorry that you'll be alone now. But I hope one day you'll understand. Flashback to- Flashback to reality! Oh, there goes gravity! Oh, there goes gravity! Oh! <laughs> Oh, I almost reached. Uh, I almost uh, reached cat. <laughs> I I pushed myself to run faster and faster, faster than I ever ran in my life. Cat doesn't see him, but she sees the alarm uh, going off in my eyes. Damien points the gun at his daughter. He's preparing to take the shot. Cat starts to turn around, but there's no time. Damien's finger pulls back on the trigger. What am I doing? I see the world turn into slow motion. Why am I throwing away my life for Cat? These memories, they're mine, yet not at the same time. What do you mean they're not your memories? Who can say if I'm the same person as before or loved her so much? Who can say if these memories form a complete different me compared to what- Ah, oh, That's the old me. There's no time for answers. Even if I've forgotten you over and over, somehow I remember you, and I know that I would do anything for you. I run past Kat and throw myself in front of her because I love her! A gunshot rings out. It's like my body is struck by lightning and set aflame. He fires again and again. Undescribable pain ripples across my body as shot after shot rips through me. It's not like the movies where someone just can stand after being shot over and over again. The firing stops and my vision starts to fade. I can barely hear him reloading over the sound of my body screaming in agony. You gotta go. Oh, take care, big daddy. Have a good night. Pleasant dreams. Take care. Take care. I'm, I'm gonna try not to stay up too late. I hope I can finish this. <laughs> Or at least we can try to do, like, see what happens if we try to kill her, maybe in, like, another save. My knees buckle, I start to fall. <laughs> hey there, Yuki! Yuki, hello! As I fall, I can see Kat with her gun trained on Damien. There's no fear in her eyes. Her hands aren't shaking, but she's biting her lips so hard I can see it bleeding. And the last thing I see before the dark takes me is her finger pressing down on the trigger.
Wake up, Tane. Please, please don't die. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Aw, thank you, space. <laughs> What's happening? A am I alive? I never heard her sound so desperate. Please, please just wake up. I can't lose you again. Not, not again. It took me every, it took everything I had just to open my eyes and breathe. Kat was cradling me in her arms with tears streaming down her face. Thank God. Don't pass out again. You almost gave me a heart attack. How many times was I shot? Sorry, sorry, Kat. I... I coughed up blood. Save your strength. Did you get him? We did. That's great. The switch? We should be able to get it now, but you're in no shape to walk. And to be honest, I'm not the best shape either. I looked up at her, felt my heart drop. You've been shot. She laughed. Yeah, now I know what it feels like. I'm... Even more sorry about shooting you back then on the beach. There was nothing else you could have done, Kat. That didn't stop me from regretting every second of these past two years. That day, I made a promise to myself. It didn't matter how many people I've hurt or how much um, I would have to hurt. I would get... Wait, I would get you off... <laughs> yeah? Yeah, you would get me off. Sorry. <laughs> I would get you off this island alive and well. <laughs> I'm getting delirious. <laughs> Even if it was the last thing I did. <laughs> Even if I had to see you fall in love with someone else a hundred times. Even if I knew it meant I could never be with you again. I made a promise back then and I'll keep it... Uh, even if it kills me. Slowly, Kat tried to lift me from the ground and onto her back. She screamed and coughed up blood as she tried to lift me. Stop. You're going to get yourself killed. Then that's exactly what I'm going to do. She lifted me onto her back and uh, took one step forward to the switch. I told myself back then. She stopped forward again. Her legs were trembling. That if you weren't leaving this island alive, neither would I. Another step closer. Because I love you, you know? I'm probably the special person that she wanted to save. Probably. One more step. I know you don't. Remember most of our time together? Her breath was getting ragged. She took several steps and, um, and then have to pause for, uh, breath. Honestly, I'm glad you even remember bits and pieces. I'm grateful for what I can get. The switch is in sight. And maybe... The you I fell in love with doesn't exist anymore, so we're close to it yet so far. But I'd like to believe that it's still you, Tane. That you're still the same Tane that I fell in love with. We were just steps away from the switch. That I'm still the one you love. She laughed bitterly. It's just wishful thinking, I know. We're here. We made it. You just... She coughed up blood again. Need to put your hand on the scanner. Can you do that? Got it. <laughs> Could you imagine all this time they like took my clearance away? <laughs> I used the last of my strength to reach for my uh, reach my hand forward. With every inch I drew closer to it, my vision grew darker. I pushed harder and harder with everything I had. Got it. My turn. Done. All that's left is to pull the trigger. Sorry, Tane. I'm going to have to put you down for a second. No problem. No, no problem. Cat gently rested me on the ground. Fuck, I can barely stand now. She tumbled towards the switch. She managed to catch it with her hands and use it to keep herself upright. Here we go. The moment we'd all been waiting for. She pulled it with the last of her strength. A second later, she fell to the ground by my side. The cacophony of uh, machinery filled the stadium that must be the barrier opening. We did it, Tane. I'm sorry, Tane. What for? I, I don't think we're getting out of here after all. I, I can't even move. It's okay. We had a good run, you know? I guess you could say that. At least the girls will be able to get out of here. They deserve better. 
than to die here. Yeah. I... I love you, Tane. Always have and always will. For these last two years, I, I dreamed of us starting a new life together somewhere far from here. But I guess life's not like the movies. Dreams don't come true. What? Ah, oh, Fuck off. <laughs> I wish we could have met in different a different place, a different time. Maybe. Just maybe, Tane. We... Cat? Cat! Her eyes were closed. Streams of tears ran down both of uh, her eyes. My vision blurred. Even more tears welled up in my eyes. If we could have met in a different place, in a different time, I'm sure our stories would still be so different. I wish we could have Cat. I tried to move closer to her, but my body refused. It was all I could do to move my head around. I looked around. Uh, in futility for some kind of a miracle that could save us both. This is too sad. An ending. I looked to Cat. I looked to the heavens, which had all but abandoned us. I looked behind us, and I saw what we could only be what could only be described as angels. I tried to speak, but no words came out. Come out. Wait. Come out. Come out. I must be dreaming. I must be. I. The world turned to black. Am I dead? If I keep asking myself that, it's bound to be right sooner or later. But somehow I think there's more to come in my story. And I know there's one person that I want to spend the rest of it with. I love you. Oh, come on. Come on. Chat. <laughs> ah. So here's what I'm th here's what I'm thinking. Here's here's what I'm thinking. <laughs> the answer is whiskey. I I agree. <laughs> I agree with that. We're we're 7 hours into the stream. This is what I propose. This is what I propose. I choose one girl for tonight. And during the next stream, I will do all of the endings. But I think I only have it in me to do one. Is that fair? <laughs> oh, spiked Arnold Palmer. Nice. And? And? Ah. I am feeling conflicted. Because Cat is the canon one we should go with, but my favorite is Violet. I love Violet. <laughs> I love Violet. Fuck. Ugh. But I know Cat is the one that we're supposed to go with. I want to do Violet. I... I, I want to do Violet. <laughs> drink some... Thank you. I will drink some water. <laughs> okay. So, everyone. I did save it. it. It is right here. The next time I stream, I will do all the endings. And I want to see if it makes a difference if you kill her. I want to see if there's actually a difference there. If there's different endings. 
Oh, thank you for the stretch. Oh, okay. I am going to pick Violet because I liked her throughout the whole game. I feel bad for not picking Cat because she's the canon ending. Because we were, well, I assuming because like she's like the main love interest, you know. Ah. I'm going with Violet. <sighs> next next time I stream, I'm doing I'm doing all of these. <laughs> Violet. Violet. Who recovered my damn body? <laughs> Who did this? <laughs> uh, I woke up I woke I wake up in an unfamiliar room. Is the room shaking? I tried to get up. Oh, fuck. I looked down at my body. It's been bandaged up. Okay, I've been shot several times. How? No. I've been shot several times. <laughs> but I'm alive. Welcome back, Tane. I knew you'd make it, but you had me for a, for a second. You know me, I like to keep things interesting. It's great to see you again, Violet. Likewise, Tane. I'm not sure what I would uh, have done if I had lost you. I've grown a tad attached to you, you might say. Ah, uh, I'm sure the others want to know you're all right. A moment, please. Violet left the room and came back a few moments later. Oh, hello, girls. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're okay. I'm so glad to see you're all right, Tane. You really did make it uh, easy to save you. Either wait, wait. It oh, you did make it easy to save you. Save you. Oh, I'm just happy it worked. If you died after all we've been through, I'd kill you. But I'm really happy that <laughs> you're here for me to say that too. What I think we're trying to say is. We're just glad that you're okay. You know, the resistance could use someone like you, Tane. Besides, it doesn't look like you have a real job anymore. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I I don't have a I don't have a severance pay anymore. I'll have to think about that. I think on that. Thanks, guys. You really Stuck out your neck to save Cat and I. I could never thank you enough. It's what you would have done for us, Tane. We ran after you two just moments after you left. There's no, There was no point in us escaping if it wasn't with you, Tane. Yeah, I know Cat said not to, but hey. I didn't remember that. Uh, wait, I don't remember that all the time. So it's all good. By the way, Kat's doing well, too. She's resting in the room next door. We even managed to save the Brothers Five, too. I couldn't just let them be st stranded after, well, all that we've been through together. That's great news. Thanks for letting me know. We should be thanking you. None of us would have made it off this island if it wasn't for you and Kat. It's true, despite whatever you... May I uh, wait here, Tara? Say, I'm just saying. I have a pretty, wait. I have a pretty mean right hook. It's so good to see you all. I've got no idea what the world ahead has for each of us, but whatever it has in store, we'll face it together. You bet. I'm surprised you can say that with a straight face, but yes. I wouldn't have it any other way. I could really use you as a PR person for the resistance, Tane. You've got a thing for speeches. <laughs> Wait a minute. If everyone's here and Kat's next door, who's driving the boat? Everyone looked at Tara. Oh, and, th and that's a series exit for Tara Bite. Oh my god. Bruh. Wow. 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 So 
that was her last name. <laughs> she ran off like a cartoon character. We laughed together. It felt like it's been so long since we could just laugh. No cameras, no fear, just friends foot fooling around. <laughs> It's just friends fooling around, everyone. Tee hee ha ha. <laughs> yeah. We're just... We're, we're ending the game with fooling around with each other. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, it's good to see that you're okay. That said, team, we need to give Tane some time to rest. What do you mean I misread something? They're friends f fooling around. They're fooling around with each other. <laughs> Anyways, it's good to see you're okay. That said, team, we need to give Tane some time to rest. Once again, I'm not trying to quarantine you because we we didn't use a zombie virus, uh, virus's unique properties to save you. Oh, 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 that's okay. Apparently, taking multiple bullet wounds to the body, the zombie remedy saves all. I- I understand. I understand how it is. <laughs> Thanks, Scarlet! And thank you, everyone, for coming to see me! Don't mention it. <laughs> uh, okay, we're all in this together, and- and all that, right? See you later, Tane. All right, all right. Enough with the cheese. Get out before Tane turns. I mean, before Tane needs rest. Yeah. Oh, maybe they turned me into a zombie and then they unzombied me. You know? Yeah. Sci Scientist Scarlet does what she wants, I guess. Oh, okay, okay. And with that, I was alone. Oh, I thought you never leave. I thought, hey, Scarlet, what's up? Nothing, I- I just... She was hiding a syringe behind her back. Need to give you a shot for good luck. Right. Can you- can you give me a, a shot to make my pee, pee go up so I can bang Violet? <laughs> I put my arms out forward. Well, the doctor knows best. I'm not a doctor. She injected the good luck into my arm. <laughs> I just wanted to say thanks again. I- my life- went off the rails back at the island even before uh the show that's putting it lightly she laughed i know if i stayed there i never would have been truly happy for the rest of my life i never would have been able to help people ever again so thank you again tane you you've been out there and there's no other way you'd know but Today's the day that we would have been the last day of the show, the final ceremony where you asked one of the girls to be with you. Now, I'm not saying anyone's rushing for a proposal, but... <laughs> I think there's somebody waiting for you up on the deck. She's a keeper, so you better treat her right. Thanks, Scarlet. I will. She kissed me on the cheek. Don't mention it. And then I was alone in the room. It's time to go see her. Wait, I can walk? <laughs> I reached the door <laughs> and the second later she opened it. Hey. Hey. <laughs> oh, let's go fuck. <laughs> hey, Tane. Uh, should, should you not be resting? Probably, but uh, I won't stand for it. Here, let me help you. Yes, please. I I need... Uh, please help me. <laughs> I'll help you get back to bed. Thanks, Violet. I put my arm around her. And she walked with me to the bed. I wanted to talk to you. At first, I wanted to wait until later, but I learned something just... Wait, some things just cannot wait. Yes. Oh, oh, she's so cute. Look at her. Oh, look at her. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. I do. I know. I want poly endings too, but it is what it is with dating sims. <laughs> Why is that? 
First, I, I wanted to thank you. If it wasn't for you, Tane, I know I would never have left the island alive. Right back at you, Violet. You gave us hope when we'd all but given up. Compared to that, I don't... I, I didn't do too much. I could not have done it if it weren't for your... For, bleh, for you supporting me all this time, Tane. You've helped me through so much. I'm more grateful than I could ever express. You helped me realize that there's no such thing as a guarantee. The world we live in, the things we believe in, whether or not we will survive another day, they could all be taken away in an instant. Uh, 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 it's a little dark, but okay. <laughs> I'm positive none of us would ever plan to be on a show like this, no? I'd like to think so. And if this is the way the world is, then there is nothing more important than making the most of every moment. That's all we have. That's true. <laughs> she took a deep breath. <laughs> more than anything, I want to share all of my moments to come with you, Tane. Like, you've been there for me. I want to make you smile when you want to cry. I want to make you happy uh, as you make me every day. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I love you, Tane. Oh my god, stop, stop, stop it. <sighs> Will you be mine and only mine? I love you too, Violet. It'd be my pleasure to be yours. Will you be mine? For, for always, if you will have me, I couldn't help but smile. You beat me to asking you. I was going to find you and ask you out. I suppose gray minds think alike. Now kiss! Kiss! Perhaps I am making a little more of the... Wait, more of the moments than you are, no? I laughed. I don't know about that. I pulled Violet close and kissed her on the lips. She kissed me back passionately as if I were out last. <laughs> if I were out last. Wait, our last. Oh, if, if it was our last. Oh my God. <laughs> For a moment, time stood still. All that mattered was Violet and I. It was bliss. I'm looking forward to the moments to come with you too. Wait, come with you. Yeah, I'll come with you. I'm looking for the moments to come with you. <laughs> <sighs> okay, okay. I couldn't be happier. You took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> Here's to the moments we'll share. Violet. Oh my god. <laughs> I love you. Mwah. Oh my god, it's over! It's over, it's over. I have no idea what's gonna happen with the rest of the world now that that, like, killer island is still there, but... Oh... That would have been nice if I got, like, a kissy kiss illustration, like, at the end or something. That would be nice. Thanks for playing. Ah. <sighs> oh, wow. Short credits. Oh, my God. Okay. I was entertained. I was entertained. But there's a lot of plot holes in this game. <laughs> I was entertained, though. Uh, maybe the cat ended? Yeah, I'm wondering so, too. Uh, thank you for the follow. For, for all of you who have been with me for like seven hours of this game, You've been here for so long, thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Because I think we had we had two other play sessions. One was a while ago, and we started the game, I think it was mid-January? Man. It is 5.06 in the morning for me. 
It is 5.06 a.m. My plan is that I will stream this game again and we will go through the other endings. And I want to see if we actually kill Cat at the end. I want to see if that's actually a choice. <laughs> uh, will I stream after? I was thinking, I was thinking about it, Zilla. Yeah, because um, the Mommy collab is going to be on Heiwan's channel. And uh, I was thinking, I was thinking I could stream after that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, I'm just trying to like, I'm trying to gather my thoughts about the game. Oh, you know what? Here, I will, I will, sh I will show you. I will show you. Let me see here. If I can find it. It is going to happen on Sunday at 7 in the morning, uh, West Coast time and uh, 10 a.m. my time. Uh, let me see where, where is it? There we go. That's that's going to be on Sunday. And tomorrow I'm going to be playing some Splatoon on Marina's channel. Uh, I believe that's going to be three o'clock my time. I don't I don't know if Marina posted a picture, but I will retweet it if she does. <laughs> oh, man, I feel like my brain is just like full of goop because I can't form words anymore. Imagine, like, being in class or something and the teacher tells you to read out loud for seven hours. <laughs> uh, but yes, um, this is going to be on uh, Heiwon's stream uh, on Sunday, so look look forward to that. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I feel like... For a free game, for a free game, it's good. It's good for a free game. It's on Steam. Find love or die trying. I think um, some of the twists were interesting, but just like how everyone, like w how we were all talking, I think a lot of us discovered when the twists were going to come. Like, I knew that cat was going to join us. I think there was like moments of the game that's like, yeah, this is going to happen. This is going to happen now. It, yeah, exactly. Like it. <sighs> I feel like it'd be fun to try to find like more like free Steam games too, just to be like, hmm, let's see. <laughs> but this this was a good recommendation. I I enjoyed it. I don't know if I can play another dating sim for a while because that's a lot of reading. <laughs> and I feel like it's kind of ass if it's like the streamer doesn't read the dialogue out loud. Because like what if I'm reading at a faster pace than like somebody else can or something? I don't know. <laughs> But I would say, like, overall, a lot of the writing is pretty sappy, but but it was fun. It was fun. I think there was, like, lots of, like, tee-hee-ha-ha -ha moments. Holy crap. Tara's name. Tara Bite. I thought her name was Tara because she was green and she looked like the Earth. <laughs> I wasn't- I wasn't thinking her name would be Tara Bite. Oh, man. Man. <laughs> okay. I, I'm trying to think. Uh, I look forward to seeing what the other endings are. I think that's what we can do on Sunday, everyone. I think Sunday, we can just, like, check out the endings. Yeah. Yeah. And then- and then we can play something else, I'd say. Uh, streamers doing VN collabs and that helps with- Yeah. Yeah. I feel like VN collabs are pretty helpful. I just wonder if it, like... I wonder if it, like, if you can get through the story quicker that way, though. Or I, I kind of wonder if everyone would overact things, though. I, I usually like it if, like, things go through, like, fast pace enough. <laughs> Hell oh, Helltaker? Yeah, I'm, f I'm familiar with that one. Oh, baby, I'm familiar with the devils. <laughs> Okie dokie. Let's see. Let's see who we can uh, pass the love onto for tonight. This morning? Tonight, this morning? Holy crap, it's five in the morning. Um, 
This is very rare. I don't really do this as often anymore. This this used to be like always like my Friday nights, like streaming until like five in the morning or something. <laughs> oh man, I was just just having so much fun with everyone. <laughs> I I am getting to I'm getting tired and getting delirious. <laughs> for everyone who has been here for seven hours, thank you, thank you. I hope you had fun with the whole experience. The whole, the whole experience. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see who we can uh, pass the love to for tonight, and who we can, who we can raid. Um. Let's see. Oh, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good morning. Good evening. <laughs> Good afternoon. Wherever you are in the world, <laughs> I'm glad that you enjoy. I'm I'm happy. I'm happy that you enjoyed it. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Oh, you know what? Let's go raid Savvy because Savvy's having a marathon, and I think she just restarted her stream a while ago because it says an hour and thirty minutes. Yeah, let's let's go raid Savvy because she's doing like a like a Savvyathon. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, a dead pixel! Oh, I'm so sorry! Oh man, yeah, I'm sorry. I've been streaming for like seven and a half hours. Next time, it's okay. Next time, next time, next time. Oh, you know what? You know, here before before I go, everyone. Before I go, uh, let me see if I can find it. I commissioned a uh, dead pixel to um. Uh, you you guys saw the Discord the Discord stickers. They're so cute. Let me see if I can. These are the I got some for crunch too, everyone. <laughs> uh, let me see here. There we go. Aren't they cute? The meltdown? I love it. This is Dead Pixels work, everyone. Next time on Tonic Ballsy, yeah! <laughs> So that's the meltdown. That's Crunch's meltdown, and we we Pepe dancing, we dancing everyone. These will be on BTTV uh, very soon. <laughs> I mean, oh, I love I love your work. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that they're they're so cute. I love how my horns look. <laughs> That's dead pixels work, everyone. I, I always love to show off like artist work and everything. <laughs> um, okay, one one more thing. One more thing I'm gonna do before we raid Savvy. Go, go check out the giveaway. I will be giving away some merch and I will be doing an art illustration for a lucky winner. I will be pulling a name at the end of this month. And this is to like show thanks for like the subathon and everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, if you are new to the channel, you can check out my socials. I I do artwork. Wow, amazing! VTuber does artwork. <laughs> and um, go check out the podcast for very yeah bye. Go check out the podcast. Uh, we will have our tenth episode out, I believe, very soon. Crunch is editing it. And if you would like to get a mouse pad, go check out the merch store. There, there is my shilling for the night. <laughs> go get yourself a nice ergonomic wrist um, mouse pad. <laughs> Let's go raid Savvy. Savvy. Although I don't know what kind of raid message we should do for her. What do you guys think? What should the raid message be for Savvy? <laughs> there we go. Let's go see what Savvy's up to. Oh, you're welcome. I'm have I'm happy that you guys enjoyed. Hmm. I'm trying to think if like there was anything like noteworthy in the game. But you know what? Actually, you know what? We could say happy birthday to Savvy. That's what we can do. 
because it was her birthday a few days ago. It's kind of funny. We're both February babies. So we could say happy birthday. I think that would be nice. We can do that. Uh, we can replace it with a heart. I was born from the flames of hell. <laughs> Let's see. And if you want to use like any party emotes, if you want to have it like that, do it. <laughs> have a good night, everyone. I will see you on Marina stream on Saturday and I will see you on Hey One stream on Sunday and we will continue. Find love or die trying. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.